Hey, everybody, welcome to Drunken Disorderly Election Night Talk Show. We're hanging out. Hey, man, we're uh, uh, Caleb, Dre, and I hanging out and talking about election, getting back into the swing of turning on this internet box and seeing what kind of trouble we can get into. Caleb, how you doing? I am fantastic. I uh, went and did my civic duty today, so... I, I voted for Joe Biden because maybe when Trump's out of office, people will stop taking or pretending COVID's more serious than it is. So, <laughs> oh boy. find a way to get mad at me about that, cunts. <laughs> All right, yes, straight out of the gates. Love it. <laughs> what about Dre? Dre, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing fantastic. I went and did my civic duty today. You know, there's this jackass that we actually had come speak at the LP in Nebraska convention a couple of years. He keeps posting pictures of the uh, election commission and how there's a line wrapped around the building. You know what? You can go vote right across the street from your house in most yeah, places. Literally, dude, literally, I was in and out in, in five minutes. There was Not literally even. no one in front of me. Not a person. No. Also, I didn't reason why. It took me a long time to vote, but only because I knew people at the polling place. So I'm hanging out, John, with them a little bit. I was the only one there. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was. I could have been in and out. And I, of course, I take the time to read the ballot. You yeah, know, yeah. but man, there was no line around the building. There was no. Yeah, no. Yeah, and the lady that checked me, and she's like, "Oh, you're from the same condo." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, just give me my form, please, please. Thank you, because yeah." <laughs> Yeah, that's like you keep seeing these pictures of these like lines around the buildings. I'm like, that's early voting. Like, y'all, y'all wanted to go out a day early. That's your own damn fault. That's just fucking right? stupid. Or right? you know, there is one central location that you know, you, yeah, you can vote there, but your polling place is typically a school or a church or some building in your neighborhood. <laughs> right, and they they have the polling places are are sparsed out, you know, on purpose. So that there's a, not all or not 100 percent, but essentially roughly the same amount of people going to be going to each polling station. You know what I mean? And they're open from like eight to eight. So it's, and if you're in line before eight, they have to take you, man. So no yep. matter how long the line is, there's yeah, yeah, there's 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 no there's no such thing as voter suppression oh. with poll lines. You just don't have the you don't fucking care enough, which is fine. I wouldn't have sat out there for three hours, but. You know. Yeah, no, I'm not sitting out. Well, so if that's what it took to vote, I would probably stand out there for three hours. You know what I mean? Like if if I had to do it, I I would do it. Yeah. Um, I'm uh, with you guys because Caleb, can you hear me? Yeah, I yes. can hear you. Okay, so I typically vote by mail and early by mail because it's easier, and I don't like having to go to a church and whatever. But um, this year, because there was such a hard push by the media, it seemed, and the media entities, I was like, that's really weird. And I feel like I need to go vote in person for some reason. Is that why you guys did it? Or why did you guys vote in person? How do you typically vote? I always vote in person because I do not care enough to look up the, the, the process for getting a mail-in ballot. And this year, it was the same thing. You know, it was kind of a fucking... Like, I ain't no bitch. I'll go vote in person. Fuck you. You're not going to push me around and, and scare me. I don't even fucking care about this election. Did you wear a My mask? My life's going to go to shit one way or the other because of the result. Did, Did you I wear, wear a ma mask? Yeah, I wore a mask. You know you don't have to, right? In Omaha, you do. Not when you're voting and not when you're seeking any governmental service. Really? Truth. Truth Truth bombs. Right. Boom, boom. Yeah. I don't care enough um, to look into that. That's that's all right, though. No, no I vote to me about a fucking mask. I uh, could you I imagine vote in that person that? every time. Same. Could, could you imagine that though? Like they're the like the governmental services. Like some woman just burst through the doors of the police station. Help! I've been beaten, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, I need you to leave and put a mask on now. You're a threat <laughs> to everyone. We're gonna have to ask you to leave. Yeah. <laughs> no, I. Uh, Thank you. No, fuck. Oh, God, I hate it. Please tell me that you guys think that this is going to end after the election or after this current mandate in our yeah, city. That's why, 
That's why I voted for Joe Biden. Because it'll be they won't have anyone to sabotage. Oh, I didn't actually goodness. vote for Joe Biden. I did not actually vote for Joe Biden. I know I look <laughs> like I voted for Joe Biden. <laughs> I have I'm not looking at comments. Oh. I also I forgot to comments. Shit. <laughs> there aren't any comments yet. I was just testing everything to make sure it works. So um no, no, I, uh, live right about now. Yeah, I'll take a drink, everything. The fake news lies. Yeah. The fake news does lie a lot. Um yeah, I vote in person every time. I'm such a political junkie that this is like my Super Bowl. Um, so for me, voting day is like game day. It's like, all right, we're it's it's suit up, man. Let's go do our thing. That's uh I'm into it. I'm into it. So yeah. I, I, so like I think it's interesting, you know, in a sense. Like I, I think the actual because it's almost a performance art, you know what I mean? And it's like a yeah. team sport. It's almost become like the fucking NFL, man. And I think it's just interesting to see like strategies and how they pay off or don't, you know, mm-hmm. and, and ju- people get cocky like Hillary did in 2016 or the Patriots in 2007. It's the same fucking thing. You think you're a shoe in and you go in and get your ass handed to you. So it's like, yeah. Wendy, I had planned on taking shots, but, um, target was out of Patron and I was too lazy to go to another store or later on. Oh shit. Sure. You, you should have came over. I, we have Patron. But I'm also, I haven't drank in over seven days, so I'm kind of nervous. The last time Uh-oh. I drank a bottle of wine, I was down for a whole day after that. <laughs> Dude, I haven't smoked in two weeks. What? Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't new to the show. She just asked if I'm topless. No. No, but she is well. shoeless. <laughs> <laughs> She is shooting guys. And anyway, so it looks like uh, they're calling <laughs> calling Trump in Nebraska right now. They're <laughs> oh, big surprise. <laughs> what about, <laughs> district, what about Bist- district two? That hasn't come in yet. So uh, yeah, Nebraska. What's interesting is it's showing forty seven percent Trump, fifty percent Biden. But it's calling yeah, for it's Trump with two electoral yeah. votes doing District One and t- District Two. Well, so Trump was up by like twelve in Rhode Island. Sure, you know, so it was Joe Jorgensen yeah, we'll has a two percent in vote in Nebraska. I'm smelling a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. Bam. Hey, hey yeah. my man, my man, Chris Janicek, chilling oh out. 34% motherfuckers. The man of integrity. Oh, I will not step down. Fuck yeah. Hey, Chris janicek has been in my house. Is this the one that you... Mm. Can I, I, I don't know if I can say this on... <laughs> uh, what is it? Save it for the post show. <laughs> what's, it, what's, it re- what's it regarding? Uh, a female relative. Female relative of his. What? Maybe that's somebody else. That must be a different politician. <laughs> oh, I know. I know what you're talking about. No, that that's on the other side of the coin, and he didn't run for oh. office. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good. So then, what's the deal with CJ here? Because you bring him up a lot, and I kind of <laughs> laugh. So, no. so Chris. Chris Janicek uh, got the nomination for Senate in Nebraska. He was not who they wanted. Um, an overweight, white, gay baker was not the guy they wanted. It's not like, let's be real. The Democrats got a chance to take back the Senate, and he's not the most exciting guy. Okay? It is what it is. But he won fair and fucking square. Jane Cleave, that dirty cunt that runs the, the DNC, um, wanted I, I don't remember the girl's name but i mean she was like an ex- the girl she wanted i if i were running the dnc I, in nebraska i would have wanted that too and yes i have used the word cunt twice in this live stream in 10 minutes so far so um but if, if i were running the dnc that's what i'd want to she was exciting she was young she was uh black uh every checked every box uh she's a businesswoman 
checked every box. So she didn't win. She lost by like three or four percent. Janicek won, and uh, <laughs> this Jane Klebe sends over a campaign staffer from Jane Raybould, who was the nominee two years ago, that beat Chris Janicek in the primary. Sends over a campaign staffer from him. Hey, we're and this should have been red flag number one. Hey, highly recommended. We'll pay for all her expenses. Don't worry about it. We think she'd be a great addition to your campaign. Red flag number one, that's your plant. This person does not like you. They offer to pay all expense trade right. or all expense paid employee. No thanks, but since you're offering, you can pay for me to hire somebody else. That's the correct answer there. Um, yeah. So she sends him in, or sends her in. Chris in a, a group text message without her, they're talking about how she's got to stick up her ass all the time. And Chris says, maybe she just needs to get laid. Oh, and this was the sexual harassment. Chris is gay. Yeah. The sexual harassment scandal was she just needs to get laid, which she fucking did from uh, by all accounts that I had heard about her. She needed to get laid. Uh, no, nice that, that sucks. Now I'm kind of, I feel bad. Um, but you know, hey, we got our first guest of the night showing up, ladies and gentlemen. We got what our first it? guest, Kent Mozlowski's in the house. Oh, man. Gonna, he looks like he's ready to come on board. Ready? Here, I'm gonna bring him up. Here he comes. There he is. The man, hey, the myth. Happening? Um, the man, mostly. But <laughs> he's in the car. What is up? He's in right? the car. He's driving. I'm he's not. driving. He's on the road. I'm not even a little. Uh, the alternator is out in this Volvo, so it's like my studio right now. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. We're hanging out, talking, uh, talking about uh, <laughs> politicians and our run-ins with the oh, with okay. politicians. Yeah, way to so, go. So, yeah, pretty loose show. You uh, so talk to us, uh, Ken. Uh, are, uh, your election? Are you watching the election? Are you? No. Are you a are you a betting man or no? I well, I mean. Poor, yeah, uh, shitty bets. Like I, I, I am a betting man. They just don't work out. Uh, but I haven't paid attention to really <laughs> anything all day, and I, I couldn't be happier. Really, I'm about to go host an open mic, and I'll just, I'll see the despair, you know, in the so eyes of the open mic tonight. Mm-hmm. Seller. Did you? Seller. Did yep, you uh, seller. Did you today in person. I did. Yep. I braved Murderer. the COVID. Murderer. You yeah. want grandma to die. Why do you want I'm my a grandma walking to die? Super, I'm super a super nice. spreader event. You, yeah. you should you should have killed her before the election, so I could have jacked her mail in ballot, god damn it. Hey, <laughs> funny story, true story. I'm pretty sure Debbie Wasserman Schultz killed my grandmother. So <laughs> Wow. Chris Janicek. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, we got another guest showing up, ladies and gentlemen. It's a party now. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I can't, I, I think I recognize this guy. I think I recognize him, but I'm just gonna bring him up anyway. Cause I can't, oh, there it is. It is that guy. Hey. Big 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 Bobby Bobby. Uh-oh. Hey. Uh-oh. It's back Bobby Why? I, I can't see the guests when they pop up. It's like Christmas fucking morning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to drink myself to death while this happens. Yeah. You're watching sure. live in a bar Wait. somewhere. Uh, no. Are you watching Alex Jones? With some other people. I've got Rogan <laughs> playing on one laptop. Got the news playing on a TV. Got some people nice. here to burn the world down with me. So, all right, I'm going. We are holed up Cheers. in our home right now to protect ourselves from election violence. Yeah. See, this is a this is the last night before the world ends. So I'm gonna enjoy. No. It. We've Before got a couple civil war starts. It won't. It won't. It'll be gradual. Yeah, the world's ending slowly. It's ending. That's fair. This is not all happening tonight. I thought Scott, we're talking. I'd also like to shamelessly plug Sheep's Dog Peanut Butter Whiskey. Peanut it butter might whiskey. be better than uh, Screwball, and it's cheaper. So, Sheep's Dog. Yeah, there you go. Plug there you it. Go. <laughs> did you uh did you hold did you hold true to your promise Zach, and vote for Kanye? I did hold true to my promise of voting for Kanye and I no did way. post it on Instagram. I posted a picture of my marked ballot on Instagram. If you don't believe nice. you can go check it out. Kanye <laughs> who? It's crazy to me. It's crazy for crazy. To me how many people think I'm illegal? I don't know who to respond to. 
<laughs> no, it's, it's kind of chaos in here. This is a bitch show already. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's what I was. The, my vision is coming true. Mm -hmm. right? Chaos. All right, Braviati, can you turn some of your stuff down a little bit that you're watching? Uh, you're making a bunch of noise over there, Braviati. Am I? Yeah. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pop in and out here because cool. I cannot control the noise. Because yeah, I'm you check you check in you check in when you can, dude. It was good to see you. Check in and out. All right, brother. We, we love you, man. Yeah, we'll see you in a minute. All right. Like a nice cool party. Gundy, you guys head. Who do you think wins tonight between Trump and Biden? Like, if you're betting. Hmm. Red versus well, blue. I like spend money. So I would have to say Trump. You said Trump. Yeah. I I don't see Biden winning, uh, like straight up. Uh, that said, it doesn't mean that you know there might not be some sort of like uh, barrage of legal briefs that uh, that changes the situation. But so I don't. I oh, go ahead. oh I just I I just don't think um, I don't think Biden is going to have the electoral votes like straight up. Right. So I, I don't think we're uh, – I don't think we'll know tonight at all. Yeah. No, I don't um, think we'll know tonight either. Um, North Carolina is getting close. Um, <laughs> Did Kamala I, Harris it, get, like, a good rate on that fake glass ceiling? Yeah. No, but someone's, she'll Someone's got to use that rate. at some point, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I'm riffing that one, so be careful. <laughs> well – if you put so, obviously I'm not a fan of either of them. I don't agree with either of them on on you know just about everything or trust them on, and I don't trust them on the things I do agree with them on. Um, if I had to pick, like if gun to my head, who I wanted to win, I would say Trump. Um, gun to my head, who I think is going to win, I would say Biden, and but I think it'll be close. Really. I think by unless we see it switch, and now Trump looks like he's going to win Florida. Um, unless we see, like, a, I, I don't know, man. I just like my gut tells me Biden's going to win, but that's, I don't know. I, I hope know. your gut. You hope my gut's wrong? I yes. hope your gut's lying. Yeah. I, dude, I, I, I'm not a political analyst. I don't claim to be. I know. I'm saying, I know. It's like a It's like a bad game of Mary Fuck Kill, though. You know what right. I mean? Right. And, 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 what, and what's unfortunate is that it is, I mean, it is it is legit. I like, mean, watching this stuff go on is, like, red versus blue. Like, and, and I've noticed, like, there's a, been a huge shift in voter voters, and they are voting for who they're betting on who's going to win, not yeah. who they want mm -hmm. to win. You they're know what I mean? Trying to guess right. Yeah. Trying to guess right because it's a gambling addiction thing. Like, so people are like, oh, wow. I voted for that guy. You know, and it's kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mary yeah, Kill. I, I'm going to fuck Biden because <laughs> Trump's got way too many STDs. He's been way too many porn stars. Um, kill. I'm not answering that question. Nice try, FBI. Um, Mary, Kanye. I'll take money. Mm. <laughs> oh, so man. Biden over the female candidate. Right yeah, no. Now. No, I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm, having, I'm having coitus with Jorgensen for sure. Good I'm marrying yeah. Biden. I'm marrying <laughs> Biden because that fucker's gonna be dead soon, and right? I want that. I want that. I want my right. half. Yeah, get that charisma money. Right. He's gonna get you way more money. Yeah. Yeah, but he's a douche. I'll marry Kanye. <laughs> I'll, mar I'll marry. I'll marry. He'll Kanye. probably beat me. Uh, Joe won't beat me. Won't he? Trump, Trump, Trump will beat, beat me and make me call him master. Butter. Trump will <laughs> <have> <laughs> <a> <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be free from molestation because you're a grown male. <laughs> That's true. You I want, just you imagine, want to get your I just hair imagine Trump in his solid gold living room. And just Butler, get over <laughs> here. Melania needs a smack. Come on. <laughs> Please, they probably don't even get, live in the same house. Get mouthy again. Get <laughs> mouthy yeah. again. She's in her wing. Right. Bravietti Tell him what happens just, next month. It's cool. <laughs> Bravietti just texted me, said he's going to just periodically pop in more drunk than the last time. So, yeah, you said a head start. Yes, I've, I've talked right. to Zach Bravietti before. Uh -huh. 
Wow. Yeah. So George Jorgensen's at uh, at two percent right now in Nebraska. Five thousand oh, votes. Yeah. On it. Nice. Five thousand hey, votes. Only can go up. I did what I could. Five thousand. Gene uh, Gene Sidex at six percent or at thirteen thousand votes. I was I was wondering yes. if he would if he would beat Chris Janice. <laughs> yeah, he might. He might. I don't know. He could be a difference maker. He's hey, only fifty thousand hey. behind. All all I'm saying is I want my senator to have balls. And there's no bigger balls than asking your intern that's clearly a plant to go skinny dipping with you in the middle of the night while you're drunk, okay? <laughs> I want my senator to have balls. Oh, right. yeah. That's that's I want balls to see traps right and walk right into them. <laughs> that's right, damn it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Yeah. So watching some of these other real well, and that's how we're supposed to do election night. We're supposed to do results, right? We're supposed to talk about stuff. Yeah. Who's winning? Uh, it looks like we're it looks like we're uh, removing slavery from uh, from the Nebraska Constitution. So well, well go. if that's the case, I have got some people I've got to let out of my basement. So I will be right back. Um, yeah, no. Uh, there's a difference between slavery and uh, hostage, Caleb. There's a difference. Damn it. Okay. Well, yeah. that is an effect. He puts them to work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Dennis Grace. Dennis Grace has got some votes. I don't see Hobbs on here. Where's Hobbs? Where's District Three? You mean the Boogaloo? <laughs> yeah. Hobbs was on my podcast, Bread and Circuses. Go check it out. We talked about uh, why we we talked about his new his uh, month old baby and why Antifa Nebraska doesn't want that kid to eat anymore. So. Oh, they may not have closed those polls yet. Different time you know, zone. When I saw that, I you know what we should do every time somebody tries to cancel somebody and the, you know they're calling their employer and doxing them, we should start a counter campaign and call them up and say, "Hey, I've worked with him on this and this and this, and he's really a great stand-up and person, fantastic customer service." Yeah, we should. I'm totally down for that. Like when that, that girl go. tried to go around because Justin Healy made a rape joke on Facebook, and that girl tried to go around. Uh, messaging promoters telling us not to book him anymore. I replied to that fucking bitch with a screenshot of me asking him to do the next show we did. I said, <laughs> fuck you, don't ever message me again. <laughs> Try oh, that information posted elsewhere. Yeah, thank thank God my homie, my the guy the elect the race I cared most about, John Lowe Sr. has a commanding forty percent lead. Forty percent. And nice. uh what race Nebraska District 37 for legislature. District 37? You know, oh, you haven't heard about John Lowe Sr., who he's running against? I do not know. <laughs> no. Against who? Do you see it, Scott? No, I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> so Go ahead. The, his opponent shares a name with a luxury car company from Germany. Hmm. First his last name, name is BMW? But... Oh, okay. No, first name. A German luxury car company, not BMW. Mercedes. They make the yes. <laughs> what are the odds? That's the race I strongly cared about the most. Was that one? <laughs> How's that one going? Can somebody look those uh, numbers up for my, me? My boy John Lowe Senior has a forty percent lead. That's how it's going. Forty. Forty percent. Forty. I feel we can call that one. <laughs> oh my God, Caleb, you're killing me! <laughs> I love how you can no just idea. you can feel you can feel the Caleb, like the rage in everything Caleb says, no matter how much he's smiling. It's just about to boil over all the time. <laughs> oh my God, you guys! She's got a good amount of votes, dude. That's eleven hundred votes. That's not easy to pull. She broke a thousand, so that's good. But neat. You know what? I'm 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 all positivity here. I don't talk bad about other people. Turning over a new leaf. Turning over a new oh. leaf. <laughs> Find something new. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, the one negative thing I do want to bring up because it pisses me off so much that we're all being affected by it so much the last week or so is the zucking of LP people. Yeah, talk about so, that. Somebody yeah. um, 
like I noticed my friend count go down by probably two or 300 in a day or two after I saw people posting about it. And I'm like, <clears throat> I didn't notice myself being shadow banned, but somebody mentioned a, the unfriend finder app. Look at this, you guys. Holy this, shit. Is from, this is from, ah, like a couple of days. People getting it's hard to uh, see. What would you say? That's probably twenty-five names, thirty names. Um, it's hold on. History. I just play one of my favorite Shit. apps for two minutes, and I have five dollars. Yeah. Play. All right. Yeah. Sorry, guys. That boom, was boom. pornography. All right. <laughs> It started playing and fucking Adam. Sorry. No, but I mean, it was just showing from today. But I was showing these guys earlier. It's pages and pages and pages of unfriending, friending, unfriending. And this is not me touching it. This thing goes off constantly. It's just telling me constantly. You're being unfriended. You're being friended. You're being unfriended. And that is people getting zucked. And then, oh, weird. Oh, well, let your account go back on because you didn't do anything fucking wrong. Wow. Wow. It's not porn. It's actually a TikTok ad. <laughs> All of a sudden, you hear you hear from you hear from Dre's phone. You hear from Dre's phone. Oh my God! You're my stepbrother. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, that TikTok video. Oh my gosh, well, you guys! TikTok. That that's even that's even worse than incest porn. I think we can all agree. I mean, it's pages and pages. Yeah. Anyway, they ain't calling shit. So there's some, you know, like the last few cycles, uh, social media has been super impactful on these libertarian campaigns. Mm -hmm. um, and I want, it makes you wonder, like, if somebody's caught wind of that and they're like, fuck, you know, we need to we need to stifle that shit before it gets out of control. Um, you know, that, that royalty class, they don't want to give up their power. No, and this is Fact. definitely not conspiracy theory. They are doing it, and they're not even fucking lying about it or even trying to cover it up. They don't even cover it up. The problem that we have is nobody cares. Right. Well, it's, you know, it's like today's <laughs> version of the TSA snatching up the Ron Paul supporters, you know? Yeah. Like, it's like, we're not going to physically accost you. We're just going to fuck with your, you know, your online uh, persona. But like that's Wait, a big piece of who we are now. For sure. That's almost that's almost under it's almost a hundred percent who we are right now. Yeah. Is, uh, this online persona because we've been locked down. Yes, we've, especially since COVID. Yeah, we communicate almost totally digitally, and if we don't have that, if we don't have those main channels of communication it's like getting cut off at the knee like i have yeah. finally got back into my myspace my minds i got a mind set up i've had mimi for two years i kind of forgot about it so my shit's all the same it's either andrea or dre liberator omaha dre yeah yeah I, I mean i use my my stage name so it's like whatever but yeah but hey we got another this? guest Who's, who's on? yeah so we got a guest we got we actually have a u.s senator candidate uh, coming on, Chris Janisek. Right <laughs> oh, his name two more times during the show. Uh, you're gonna summon him. He's gonna appear. <laughs> Caleb, you want him He's on like so bad? Send him. Send him an invite. Get him on. <laughs> Actually, I have his campaign manager's phone number. Maybe I'll text. Get him, him. on. Get him on right now. I'm gonna bring on. I'm gonna bring on Gene Sidek though, who's uh, currently hitting the six percent mark with fourteen thousand votes. Here he is, Mr. Gene Sidek. Welcome to the show. <laughs> it's great to have you. You've, hey, you've been watching. You've been watching the. You've been watching. Be the, you've been watch, yeah, you've been watching the election at all, or are you just doing other things? Or what? <laughs> well, I uh, I just uh, cranked on the uh, SOS website and uh, look at the numbers flowing. So pleasantly surprised, pleasantly happy with it. So nice. We got my vote today, and both of my Republican parents voted for you today. Well, that's I. That's a. I've heard nothing but great feedback uh, the entire campaign, and uh, my only regret is, you know, just not being able to be better at the campaigning process and raising more money. But um, it's a learning process for the party. The whole purpose of getting into it so libertarians can vote for me and libertarian leaning people, so uh, and then promote the party. And I think that's being accomplished tonight. I think. 
Well, Jeannie ran a very, very positive campaign. Everything that you have to say is on a positive note. And I think that that is something to be emulated, honestly. Well, I think, you know, instead of, uh, well, you know, I, I have to be honest, I one or two posts perhaps were a little critical of SAS, but, you know, I think, I think basically, uh, you know, you got to offer people solutions and, uh, you know, I'm not, I haven't bought into the, standard political uh, theory that, you know, n only negative stuff sells. I mean, I think we got to help. Uh, we have to tell people what we're about. And I, I think what's surprising is people who have seen my interviews, wow, I haven't heard that before. And, and so it's, uh, I was at an event tonight where a guy came up to me and said, I heard your interview in Sioux City. It's just, I, you know, really, it was solid and I just haven't heard that type of stuff before. So I think, I think that's what we're about is just, we're showing folks is something totally different and, and they're just not used to Liberty. I don't, I don't think they're used to Liberty. That's sad, but I'm glad that you have, you have a way of expressing it and espousing the principles and uh, policies of our party so well. I, I think you did amazing in Lincoln at the Spike event la this summer. Well, I just, I just want to also put a shout out to the party. And um, you, know, you mentioned the, the Spike event. I mean, we, I mean, there, I, I, for, for, you know, it was a hot summer day. Uh, the hay market was in lockdown. We still had what a hundred, hundred fifty people show up. Oh yeah! And I think it's a testament to the great—I I would say—great management of the party over the last several years. And uh, you know, I can't—I uh, can't help but uh, I'm—I've been in the party for a long time. And I can't help but. Thank everybody who, like yourself, Dre and Scott. I mean, you guys are warriors. You guys are um, uh, doing the behind the scenes stuff that makes parties successful and nights successful. And we're, that's why we're growing. And that's why I think we're maybe one of the class parties within the whole libertarian uh, establishment, actually. I, after I saw it, what I saw in Iowa, not to dog in Iowa very much, but I mean, we're 10 years ahead of Iowa easily, I think. Oh, are you talking about the Joe event this last weekend? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't able to attend, so tell me what you mean. No, just uh, I didn't see any Iowa representation there. I saw I saw their candidate. Uh, you know, they had, uh, they had a couple candidates talk, and I saw one small little table set up, and the gal... I talked to the gal. She wasn't. I don't think she was even part of the party, was she, Scott? So, um, which one? He, what's that? Who, which Myra one? or Myra? Yeah, yeah, she's part of the party. Um, not from Council Bluff. She's. So I think I think what we're I think what we're dealing with. I think Iowa deals a lot with what Nebraska deals with, which is we have there's a heavier representation east or, the further east you go into the state. Um, and then the further west you go, it's obviously a, a smaller population. So, I think uh, I think that's just the natural the natural flow of uh, humans. Um, so I think uh, you, you know I don't I don't want people to get the impression that the Joe event was a was a bust. By no, means, no, but, not not at no, all. But, were... but what he's talking about is that they they didn't like have a table set up. They didn't have a banner set up. You know, they didn't. Are you talking about in do... Iowa? Yeah. yeah. So. Fair. If that would have right. been in another city in Iowa, that would have been the case. It would have looked like the spike event. Yeah. If you like the Iowa folks have their their stuff in in a row, but I don't know many Iowa folks in Council Bluffs. And I, so I'm not here. I, to, I'm not here to dog on Iowa. Don't get me wrong. No, I'm, no, no. I'm just saying that. Uh, yeah. Well, we're in Nebraska, and that's what we do. We dog on Iowa. <laughs> yeah. Go so, big. Here's, here's my here's my thing is. Joe wants to end the war on drugs, which would in turn legalize methamphetamine. So if we could get that word to Council Bluffs, she could carry it by a hundred percent of the vote. She could <laughs> win the entire rally there? of Council Bluffs if we talk if we hit home that she wanted to legalize that. That's all I'm saying. I'll be right back. She yeah, should have no led with that problem. on the event, I guess. I don't know. If they you know it's wise. Not your audience. 
<laughs> but I think, uh, you know, if you're looking at uh, – I was. did you look at the other races, Scott? I mean, I think they're yeah, doing – I'm watching them all, yeah. I, I think they're all <laughs> doing pretty well, so. Yeah, they're all hovering around that 3% mark. Um, I really feel like, you know, it had life – been at a different time in a different place with uh uh dustin hobbs out there in district three i think he'd be having a, a greater impact um but oh we got yo coming in who's yo is that uh you another oh, one it's bravietti again hey. bravietti's hey. back i'm here with tori as well Howdy. fellow young oh he brought a guest tori what's yes. up our guest brought a guest all right yes guest brought a guest. Brought a guest. Brought a guest. anything can happen so oh, this is it's my okay. show now. He gave me he gave me no warning. Uh, I'm just here. <laughs> Zach, Zach just commandeered this fucking show. Yeah. I told Caleb, Alex Jones. I told Caleb every time I come in, I want to be more and more drunk. So you're gonna see a okay, new level up? every time I enter. <laughs> All right, I love guys, Fox, Fox fucking News just crashed you have on my that. YouTube TV. I think the liberals are trying to rig it. <laughs> uh, did you guys see that currently Biden is winning Texas? Not anymore. Really? They just Good. changed it. Oh, it literally <laughs> just changed? Trump, Trump just went up by like 0.1. Like it oh, literally yeah. just went across my TV. You okay. guys, I'm not watching shit, so you got to keep me apprised. Uh, my attention is focused 100 percent on you guys and our audience. If dedicated to her hustle. Oh yeah, believe me. If there's anything exciting to talk about, we'll, we'll I'm watching it. Okay. I'm watching it. We'll pop it up. Okay. So Tori's gonna good. say something. Now. I guys, I'm so sorry. Uh, Zach, <laughs> Zach sucks because he's like, he ruined Look at my phone for a second, and I just realized that you're actually like this little. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. This is awesome. Um, yeah, Zach dude. Sucks ass. It's basically the baseline of any lesson. Zach fucks ass, <laughs> not sucks ass. <laughs> Ayo. So, Whoa. This, this is staying at Comic Friends, right? Yeah, this is like. I mean. This is live on the no, internet no, right now. So, right so right now. Got, no, we're live like on the internet. So between is this the, like your podcast live yeah. cast or yep. what? What is this being? This isn't mine. As? I'm a guest on this podcast. Who, whose so thing is this? Gene, what is myself, it? and Kent, and then Gene okay. below me. He's a U.S. Senate candidate. Dre pretty much pulled all <laughs> the strings in this shit we're doing. So yeah, we're all over the place right now. It's like who owns this? Like what is the what moniker? Scott and Dre. Scott. Right. Scott and Dre. This is drunken disorderly. No. Nope. Okay. Gotcha. Drunken disorderly. The podcast election What's night. That? That's what? Awesome. I didn't know who owned it. What uh, was it happening? So, so, like, I, I kind of have to comment. Uh, Dre, I do not know you, but I, you're just vibing without a shirt on. And what that's is this? Cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> you're feeling yourself. You're vibing. Do I, I want see anything? You. You it's tell, appropriate. The is so small. <laughs> Guys, you know, what I get for on this show, so right now with cheese. Give me a mix. <laughs> Baby, you're vibing. It's all good, but I do not. Know. We gotta get a Royale oh, with cheese, Caleb. I'm seeing. <laughs> all right. Royale with cheese. I'm gonna eat it. Cool. Gene, what, what, what state are you a senator candidate in? Nebraska. Nebraska. Nebraska? Just the same. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What state are you in? I'm in Nebraska. I did not. Did I? Were you on the ballot? <laughs> or did you need to be written in? So he was on no, the ballot, dude. I was on the ballot. You, you're on, and you're running under what platform? Well, I'm on uh, U.S. Senate against Sass and Janicek. I know, but like libertarian, what is your plan? I'm the libertarian candidate for <laughs> U.S. Senate. Oh, well, then I, you got my vote, so... That's he doesn't even right. remember. Politics. You, you no, voted Libertarian, no. Zach? You voted yeah, Libertarian? Dude, of course. Nice. Except for President, I voted for Kanye. But everything okay. else was Libertarian. That's all right. <laughs> Ken, dude, how are you? It's been a minute. What's going on? Hey, what's how happening? <laughs> I'm just chilling in my Ken. non-working car. Is yeah. Seller yeah. studio. Yeah. tonight? It's Your mobile yeah. studio. Yeah, Seller's on tonight. Uh, Zach, you probably won't be down. We will not be yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Zach, I can dig it. Hey. Oh God! Well then, yeah, you're saying put. <laughs> yeah. Good 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 see you. You look great. It's awesome to see you. It's awesome. 
Likewise. Also, every time I jump in, I'm gonna have a different name. Last time I was Big Dick Boy. This time I'm Yo. Need to be so stopped. tune in to you see to what stopped. I am next time. I am the Alex Jones of this right now. You're right. <laughs> he is the Alex Jones of this. One hundred percent the Alex Jones of this. I can't right. wait till I see this little kid again. Alex Jones yeah, is going to pop off again All for right. a little bit Laters. and come back even more drunk. Bye bye. Don't go. give it, Bobby Eddie. I'll see you soon. Jesus. Out of gambling's control. Gonna pa- gambling is going to pass in Nebraska. This is looking like it. Well, hey, at least we made it onto the damn ballot, unlike cannabis. Yeah. 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 What is up with that? That, that was fucking, some dirty shit. What do you call it? Uh, canvas and. Got the signatures for. Yeah, and then the courts said it wasn't legal or some shit. So <sighs> so too many initiatives. In season, it wasn't good for the people of Nebraska. They the high the powers that be felt so it, we couldn't no, even it, be allowed to be voting for it this election time. We, we <laughs> used the same verbiage that they used in Oklahoma. They essentially said we're stupider than the people in Oklahoma, which I know oh. isn't true because we don't talk that can't possibly be true. Here. <laughs> I take offense to that. Just kidding, yeah. Aaron. I'm not even following the comments. I should go catch up on them. We don't uh, I think my I think my mom is watching. Nice. What's up, Kayla's mom? <laughs> <laughs> Someone said it's all about money. Who has more? Do you care about Pobertarians or do you care about Republicans? I have no idea what that means. I think okay, we're talking about Pobertarians and Republicrat. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I am no. not a Pobertarian <laughs> for the record. Look we're at talking the, about look what it takes. Do you think a Pobertarian could afford this $37 pineapple shaped lamp my girlfriend made me buy? I don't think so. <laughs> of course not. Absolutely not. It was on my credit card. I didn't have any say in it. That was a layup. (laughs) Damn. So do you think, uh, Gene, do you think Nebraska is going to be split again? Do you think Nebraska is going to go two two for one? Do you think Biden will pull a – Oh, I think think, uh, District 2 will go Trump myself. But, you know, I don't know. I mean, who who knows why this is going to go. You have to take that sticker off your head. You have to take that sticker off your head. Sorry. Caleb, you know we're on the internet, right? <laughs> yeah. my, my girlfriend, no, dude, Mia's been wearing the I voted sticker around on her forehead the entire day. She wants to be a different kind of Indian. Like, it's like Ash Wednesday, only switched, different. Yeah, she switched Indian types on me. Like It's, it's like Ash Wednesday. Time. She's got the freaking marks on her forehead. The mark of the beast on her forehead. I voted. I am Sorry, part he, of the machine. He, we didn't even have stickers. Mind. We didn't have stickers down here. We had pens. Uh, uh, so I, I saw some people posting about that. That was part of your mayor's initiative or election commissioner initiative because uh, awesome. stickers cause stickers cause COVID, right? <laughs> probably. Yeah, that's yeah. probably something our mayor believes. Yeah, yeah, that's. Uh, I think that that's a thing that happened in Lincoln, Nebraska. So oh, she's the best. May she reign forever. Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> no. Oh goodness gracious! So yeah, trying to watch some of these results coming in. It's fun. Uh, like I, we were talking earlier, Gene. This is kind of like my Super Bowl. Uh, <laughs> this is my my version of the Super Bowl. No, uh, I, I I'm with you, Scott. I I greatly enjoy this night. I I took yes, I I took tomorrow off just to stay up late and watch it all. So, I would have, but I've got uh, the districts providing breakfast for me tomorrow, so I get to ah. I get to cut I get to cut loose a little bit tonight and roll in at eight in the morning and go eat some free breakfast, and uh, then okay. I gotta then I gotta deal with meetings and uh, planning all day, but uh, uh, no students tomorrow, which will be nice. Okay. So, yeah. So I get to kind of cut loose a little bit tonight and have a good time. And so are you uh, take, taking the tour? Are you hitting any other podcasts tonight? Are you uh, kind of laying low? Would you, normally we'd be out at a pub, right? Normally we'd be yeah. out at a pub celebrating. You know, I actually, I got, you know, I did get several questions about uh, campaign or election night parties, but, um, you know, my budget's probably, as high as sasses and uh uh you know just with the whole COVID thing you know i went to ask 
you know, it's just, it's just a weird situation. And this actually works out pretty well. So uh, I'm all, I, this actually, I, I like this format. I don't, I don't have a, you know, it's fun to sit around and chit chat with uh, libertarians and, you know, see how the night's going. So. Wow. Right now, Biden's Any, pulling Biden's pulling one thirty one to ninety three right now. In, uh, uh, Trump, or, Trump just took. Wait, the oh, you talking about? Texas, though, I'm talking about, about the. I'm talking nationwide like Toronto, averages. Like He's Toronto, up in yeah. Michigan and Wisconsin too. Yeah, Michigan and Trump Wisconsin. Shit. Let me let me pull up a map and do like a scenario. I just want to see. Well, you guys can keep talking. I'm gonna. Yeah. You go do your analyst thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what. That's what I, I love do. it. I love right. it. Zoom and enhance. All right. That's what oh, guys yeah. on the computer can do in the team. Twenty twenty has been such a weird year. Do you think? Do you think all this? Do you guys think all this COVID stuff is leading up to this election? Like the whole reason why we got COVID was be, they wanted to keep us at home for these elections, or do you think? Or am I thinking too deep on that? Do I got to put the tinfoil hat on for that one? Oh, I got my tinfoil hat on, but I don't know what what it is that the goal was with it. You know what I mean? Like, there are so many things it could be. I'm open to any possibility, honestly. It could have been the election. Who knows? Yeah. Really, anything but, nefarious I mean, is uh, not outside of the realm of possibility. It just took uh, – it, uh, it took the ground game away from uh, politics. It took yeah. the ground game out of the, out of the, out of the political process. You know what I mean? You couldn't, people can't canvas. They can't knock on doors. They can't the do that guy. interpersonal no, connection. No, no, no. All the parades got canceled. You know what I mean? There's yeah. no, there were no, there were no touches. You know what I mean? Like when yeah. I used to manage a restaurant, we used to have to do table touches as a manager um, where you go to the tables and you check in and you see how you, you well, as a candidate, you have to do those things. And <laughs> that just, so it basically made it about who can afford the best, the best political ads. Yeah, you know what I mean? Trump, it really made it about the money this rally. cycle. I guess yeah. nobody like like local people couldn't do rallies, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. it kind of that uh yes. <laughs> so right as you, now, as you say this up... sorry, go ahead, man. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I was gonna say Biden's up big in Minnesota. Uh I, I was pulling up my scenario thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say Trump wins Georgia and Texas like that. That's going to happen. Um, yeah. If Biden pulls Minnesota, you're looking at 230 to 205 in favor of Biden. So Trump's path to victory, essentially North Carolina, Michigan, Ohio and Pennsylvania. He can win those. He doesn't have to carry Wisconsin, Iowa, Nebraska's second district, Arizona, or Nevada, and he can still win. Like, I think there's a bigger path to victory for Trump than people want to let on here. That was all I wanted to say. I was just looking at the, the analysis from my amateur perspective. Continue. <laughs> no, thank you. That was very nice. Yeah, good, definitely. Good update, Caleb. Thank you. Thank you. I, I figured yep. I needed to contribute something in a serious manner. <laughs> All right. You have met your quota. That's it. There's one. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> funny shit. Oh, man. I got, a, I got a Democrat friend I've been goading to try and come on the show. He won't come on, though. Who? Jason? Yeah. Tell That's him right. to come but on. Is that the guy that I met at your Halloween party last year? Yeah, and... he's a nice guy. I'm sure. Yeah, super nice guy. I'd love to have him on because I think he'd bring a really good. Like he he understands how this game works too. He just happens to play it for another team. You know what I mean? <laughs> but he's a real stand up yeah. dude, real honest guy. Yeah, I mean he's he's a blue team. He's he's on team blue. You know, and that like it goes back to what I was talking about the red versus blue, like people being a betting society and uh hedging their bets for who they think is most likely to win versus who they want to win um which is a weird like paradigm shift in the way people approach their weird, voting right? habit yeah. so yeah like i don't remember it being like that before like it was i don't know no, i mean no matter what it was going to be one war criminal or the other now it's like true you want no, to I'm, I'm war criminal like, or a tor total remember, line war criminal i don't remember people's mentality being more bet on a winner as opposed to this is the guy oh, that I okay. win. Yeah. That's the 
what I'm thinking is different, but that feels new. But look who it's bubbled to the top, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Look at their candidates. Look who they can look who they came up with that is the best they can provide. Who? Who? The Republicans and the Democrats. That's the best <laughs> they can provide. <laughs> oh, you're you're talking about uh, Cheeto Cheeto Jesus and Dementia Man, right? Okay, che yeah. Cheeto versus versus Dude, White Cracker. You, you know, I mean, did, did you see her. that video? Did Focus you see that from way back? Did you see that video of Biden today at the the, the rally? No, this which fucking, well, I didn't this, even click on it, but I saw the thing where he this this fucking guy goes. Now here's my my son, Bo Biden, who died five years ago. Holy shit! He goes, here's my son, Bo Biden. You helped, and there's a lot to unwrap here, so buckle up. He goes, here's my son, yeah. Bo Biden. You helped get him elect to the Senate, elected to the Senate. He confused his dead son with himself. <laughs> he confused his dead son with himself. And then, oh no, no, this is my. I'm sorry, this is my grand granddaughter, Natalie. Oh no, you're not Natalie. Wrong one. But now, like he didn't, and then he didn't know his grandkids. He confused his dead son with himself, and then he didn't know who his grandkids <laughs> were. Oh, he's fit. Yeah, well, he he's had, like, he's the reason that they're they're uh, uh, talking about using the Twenty Fifth Amendment. Like that's not for Trump. That's like definitely yeah, they want Cammy the president. Cammy the cop. Yeah. Which Dude, like she have you heard him terrifying? Him? <laughs> have you heard him? No, oh, she's worse than him. Have you heard him describe yeah. his brain aneurysm? He's had multiple brain aneurysms. And he's talking what? about how the type of aneurysm he had, only 20% of the people are even alive by the time they make it to the surgery table. And dude, don't get me wrong. I'm glad he's alive. I'm glad he didn't die from it. That's a horrible way for anyone to go. <laughs> but that man shouldn't be president. You know, you shouldn't be president if you've had multiple brain aneurysms. My God. Yeah. Yeah, this reminds me of uh, there was something like this in the West Wing. I think yeah. you had like ALS, dude, and they like dude, had to hide it. Yeah, it's the same reason my quadriplegic cousin can't run track in the Olympics. Not fit to do it. So you just like having multiple brain aneurysms. Your disability is not necessarily your fault, but it still disqualifies you from certain elite categories. Not anything to be ashamed of. Just a fucking fact of reality. It's not, yeah. Not back to you. Hey, yeah, he man. faced off against Corn Pop, and Corn Pop was a bad dude. <laughs> <laughs> he ran a bunch of bad boys, okay? <laughs> I, I, dude, somebody, 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 somebody <laughs> sells somebody sells t-shirts with Joe Biden on it, like holding a chain. It's photoshopped and it says, bring it on, corn pop. But I, <laughs> you know, no. you I need it. Take the razor and you'd put it in the rain barrel and you'd get it rusty. You get know. it rusty. Yeah, get a like, is Joe Biden a straight up gangster? I, dude, I want to know in this story who Bill Wright, the mechanic. What, like, yes. what authority? What authority did this guy have to just say if Take you don't want to stand chain. up with a chain, you're not allowed to come back to the pool that I'm a mechanic at? And like, he was what right. Authority did... <laughs> he was right. He was right. He was right. Bill Wright, the pacifist, <laughs> chain wielding mechanic. <laughs> and I, I learned about kids jumping on my lap and I learned about cockroaches I and they like to my, my leg lap. hair <laughs> they'd reach into the pool and they'd smooth out <laughs> my leg hairs and they'd watch them come back up what the watch fuck the hair back up in the sun or some shit I don't know oh dude North <laughs> Carolina just got real fucking close Oh, oh, Trump's really? in the lead. Dude, Trump's in the lead in Ohio, too. North Carolina oh, close. Pennsylvania's getting real. Dude, he might take this thing in a landslide. Holy dude, shit. Dude, wouldn't, wouldn't that be something oh, if that happened? People who, yeah, a lot of people lied in the polls, for sure. More than 2016. Oh, when like, they, yeah. I guarantee I, Yeah. 100%. People, well, no, I, Hobbs was on our show on uh, Bread and Circuses, and he brought up an interesting point. There was this uh, polling company that had the way they ran their polls was they would ask you who you were voting for. And, you know, people were ashamed to vote for Trump. And, um, and then they would ask, who do you think your neighbor's voting for? And that was mm. actually way more accurate state by state for who people thought their neighbor were voting. Cause they'd say, Oh yeah, my neighbor, that fucking racist fascist, you know, he's voting for Trump. You know, so th they're more likely to paint who their neighbors are voting for than who they're voting for.
That's just projection. Yeah, also, if your yeah. neighbor's got a sign in their yard and they're advertising who they're voting for, it's pretty helps. easy. Yeah. yeah, unless you got a Joe Jorgensen sign in your yard that doesn't say about anything that she's running for. It just says Joe Jorgensen. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I never, what a I never quite understood that. that. I got to mm, mm, I'll say yeah. until next week. Why? Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's negative. <laughs> I think we missed the mark this time. I think, you know, I'm just going to say it. I'm going to call it as a libertarian now that now that the damage is done. Um I think we missed the mark. I think we should have put Vermin Supreme up. I really Thank do. You. I think this was yeah. the election cycle. I think this was the election cycle we could have put Vermin Supreme on the ballot and probably garnered at least 10% of the vote. If not more, you know, I, I don't know why you say that. I don't know why you say that, Scott. I mean, he the guy is. I, I I've never met the guy personally, but just the optics is. You most still, people uh, are going to like the optics. optics. Yeah, uh, it's I not, don't know. I'm not cut up on it. It's it's the, so I think the and maybe you're right. You know, maybe I think you're 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 right. I think and your age demographic would be the market that would that. Not no offense, but would ruin so, the vermin supreme. You know what I mean? Uh, because no, I because we're not we're not ready to just say fuck it. The system is broken. Let's continue to break it even further. Uh, we're not there yet as a society. We're not there yet. People in mass haven't realized how broken the the duopoly <laughs> system is. It's not a system of the people by the people or for the people anymore. It's not. No. It hasn't been that way for well, for decades. And I think let, putting let a make- candidate like I think putting a candidate like Furman Supreme on the ballot firmly puts that in the face of America that if we were going to run two clowns at the top ticket of two of our royal parties, the Republicans and the Democrats, if we're going to run clowns, why don't why don't we as a libertarian party then just play suit and put a clown up as well? And that's what Furman Supreme is. He's a satirist. He is a, he is a clown. That is his persona for his running. So, and and I so, see where you're coming from, Gene, because I mean, you've put so much time and effort and work into this party and I'm, I'm with you. Um, but at some point in time, we're just going to have to burn the system down. Right. Um, the, uh, let me just, just, let me just make a case for uh, Joe in the sense that the, the one thing I like about uh, the one thing I don't like about vermin. And the other thing I like about Joe is I, in my opinion, vermin works for himself. And Joe, I felt like was working for the party. I think she made an appearance, and she actually said this several times in interviews that she's here because Iowa needs two percent to maintain ballot access. I mean, so uh, it, it, I, I, you know, I was pretty impressed with that. I thought Gary Johnson worked for himself. I thought, uh, uh, you know, I hear stories about other candidates that are in it for themselves, and party members that are in it for themselves. Whereas Austin someone Peterson. like Joe, but Austin Peter in for himself for sure. Hundred um, percent. You know, um, so, I mean, when you talk about candidates being in for themselves, though, I mean, when they did the membership drive, Vermin Vermin Supreme, hands down, handedly, handedly won that competition for who could bring in the most members to the Libertarian Party. If he was in it for himself, is that something that I mean? I, I've met Vermin. I he's a stand up dude. He's a hell of a guy. Um, and I, you know, I have a lot of respect for you and, and I feel like you've got a lot of respect for me, Gene. And I, I think we can agree, oh, yeah, to disagree, <laughs> agree to disagree at this moment. No, but for sure. I, I just reached a point this year where I was so fed up with the system. Uh, and I've always been, uh, a decade ahead of the rest of you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, you know, Scott, I, I don't, I don't know. trust me. Trust me. I, I listen and I consider. Uh, my, you know, I, wow, am I missing something here? But um, I, I think here's the problem with libertarians and uh, we live in a fishbowl and we talk amongst ourselves all the time. And I think if you, if we go out and talk to others more often and I have a certain people that I talk to, I bounce things off of because uh, they'll tell me the truth. They say, wow, that really sounds wacko, Gene. I mean, just stop saying that because that doesn't sound something I might say in passing to libertarians. Uh, that, that that really sounds strange to me. So, uh, like I used to say, for example, to we own ourselves and this these people that I bounce, you know, that just sounds weird. I, you know, 
I they would say that, that? so other people would say that that I sounds weird we own ourselves think we live that yeah that sounds weird to them yeah we own ourselves like, wow. know, and and yes exactly to me that sounds like a perfectly normal thing but when i say right. that to others they say well what do you that i mean what are you talking about so i think i think what it is is what i alluded to before the concept of liberty i think is just uh a di we we look at it a lot differently than others and I, I i i haven't figured out if people just assume that we're always free we don't have to worry about anything or if i, I my, my feeling is folks a lot of folks just live in in a different live in a different world you know they're worried about work they're worried about their family they're worried about the sh show on tv and they don't they, they they don't put as much effort in the the political process as we do i think we're phds of politics and we <laughs> worry we think about it. no seriously i think the common you know uh, most people on the streets but just uh hey dennis grace is on tv on fox Sorry. No way. It just just a picture right. of him. Just a picture of him. Oh, okay. I'm talking about him, right? I'm talking yeah, about they, him. They That's awesome. And yeah, that that Trump is good. just took the Trump just took the lead in Ohio and Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. Shit. Wow. Ohio. I better lock and load, I guess. So no, that's a question I wanted to bring up. Sorry, when you're done with that point, I No, no, go ahead. No. no my my questions. only point is my only point is I think we uh, think about, I, I know I do, I think about politics all the time. I think about freedom and how to communicate. I, most people don't even think that way. They're worried, like I said, they're worried about Nebraska football. They're worried about, you know, whatever the case may be. They have their, their issue of the day. Don't think about it. So the common phrases that we use as PhDs of politics and liberty just are foreign to a lot of people. So I, I think we you know, I, I, it, 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 it's a, um, and then I'm in it for the party. I mean, I, the only reason I ran is to try to promote the party. I, I didn't ex really ex expect to win. Obviously I wanted, uh, 800,000 people to see libertarian on the ballot that that's my, that was my only purpose in running. And it just so happened that two candidates I ran against were kind of poor. So, and I, that's why I'm pulling at, 6.22% right now, which is pretty dang good. I, I think that I, I'm Impressive. happy. With that. So go ahead. For sure. No, make, so make your my question, make your So my, my question was, I mean, what city are you in, Gene? Sorry. Omaha. Oh, you're in <laughs> Omaha. That's what I thought. I didn't know if yes. you were like out, out in the coast. Are you guys concerned right, right. about um post election violence? You know, we saw it in Omaha. We got our first real taste of it since like the 20s here. Um, it inspired me to spend about $700 on body armor, which my girlfriend can't complain about because she got, you know, nice gifts for Christmas. So just, I'm saying that. So she, I'm just making sure she hears me. I'm just making sure, yeah, you got a Tiffany bracelet. We're good um, for your birthday. But no, so like, like it inspired, like it's, I'm not going to lie. I was startled by the, the rioting and everything uh, back in May. I mean, do you guys think we're going to see any like post-election violence or how do you think that's going to go? Okay. My, uh, my thinking is opposite of everybody else's. I think if Trump's elected, I think we will. I mean, I, 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 I don't know. Same. If, yeah. I think there's a, a very vocal, active anti-Trump, crowd out there i think i don't know maybe it's going to happen I, I don't know i mean i but to answer your question about firearms uh yeah i've had you know I'll, I'll speak to my wife i mean she's not a big firearm i'm i'm i have uh i have some stuff let's put it that way and uh, she was asking me hey do you have ammo can you get ammo are you are you you know do you are you are you yeah. uh, so she yeah. would uh so uh you know to have her ask me that was kind of shocking yeah wow. so have you been stocking up no it's hard you can't find it it's gone. Oh, I'm looking, it's totally gone february i'm so. looking for uh you know ak stuff i can't find it anywhere i mean it's just, oh, good it just luck. 
Yeah, I mean, so, I was at Guns Unlimited, and the price gouging on AK, like the seven six two, is ridiculous right now. Yeah, yeah, like seven six two, you can't find, and and uh, I, I do, I I did have some, um, you know, I have some, uh, some stock, but it's not like, you know, it's not a lot, of, you know, it's not a lot. I mean, I have some stuff, but that's... so my uh, yeah, that's my a... son was running today, running around today with his airsofts. He was patrolling the neighborhood, and uh, he came up and sat down next to me on the porch, and I said, you know, son. There are li literally people walking around with real guns today, just like you are right now in their own homes, you know. And he's like, and I had to explain to him, I had to explain to him why that was the case and and why he should probably not be running around the neighborhood right now, uh, flashing guns, and he should probably just sit on my porch and be cool. <laughs> uh, but I had to explain to him, and that's such a sad state of affairs that I had to have a conversation uh, with my with my son about his toy guns. Um, Man, he would run down the street to his friend's house and be like, "Hey, do you want to go play guns with me?" Yeah. So, like, I I don't. So, I agree with Gene. I think that if you're going to see violence from either side, it'll be from the left. Before you uh, now, we can still see violence from the right. That's been proven. We there's still a chance. But I think more That's more saturated and violence and is going to be from the left. Yeah. Um. With that said, I don't think there will be a civil war. I think, like, you'll see you know isolated incidents and stuff like that but i think people on both sides it's one side more than the other though have more have too much to lose more so than they did 160 years ago you know you know back when everyone was about like now you, like you got a mortgage right you, you owe 120 you can't yeah. afford to go out and pop some dude and spend 25 years in jail over politics you know, if right, that dude right. comes to your house trying to riot and lose shit, yeah, then you're gonna pop him. Different, but you're not gonna different. The the average, you're gonna see extremists clash, sure, in, in cities like Portland and Seattle and and you know New York and places like that. But the the guy that lives in the suburbs in Tulsa isn't gonna go pick up a gun and start shooting protesters downtown. There's too no. much to lose these days. There's too many, and somebody on the Rogan live stream said it too. Yeah, there's too many. Exactly, the isolated incidents. There, 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 there's too many people with too many distractions. You know, you, you got kids dependent on you, a wife, stuff like that. I mean, I don't have kids, and I still would pick up a gun and go shoot someone downtown for a civil war. I got, I, I have too much to lose, and I don't have children, so it's like, dude, you know. ammo's too, ammo's so expensive. Like, like the recipient <laughs> of my ammo, like that is an honor to be a recipient of the <laughs> ammo that I fight because. That that should be a that is a gift. I am not. I'm not just gonna give that gift out willy nilly. That is the purgest thing I've ever heard anyone say. The what? This is a gift. It's it's the it's the purgest <laughs> angle. I don't Purgious? own any. I, love I don't own. It. I own one gun. It's a, a 38 special, and that's all officially that I own. That's all I own. The rest of them were sold a long time ago. I don't own any guns. Of course. No. I don't have any guns either. I just have ammo. <laughs> yeah, just lots. Yeah. Nothing illegal about ammo. You know, I, I, I just have ammo. I have to be perfectly honest. I, I, I kind of hate. I hate guns, really. I mean, when I take it to a range and I, um, you know, it's they're they're instruments of deaths, and I am not really into it. But on the other hand, I want to protect my family too. I mean. Right. Uh, I just uh, I, I put them away. I hope I never have. I hope I never have to pull them out. And honestly, if it first came to shove, I can't honestly say I can shoot anybody. I I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I never. You know, okay. I think about it. If okay, so think what? about it. You're 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 you and your wife are in your laying in your bed in. Gray's the gonna coach you on shooting someone. And some <laughs> motherfucker decides to, to break you into your somebody. house. He doesn't tell you why he's there. He just randomly breaks into your home yeah. while you're sleeping with your wife. We're good. So you get to either A, shoot him in the face, or B, deduce why he's there. I'm sorry. I have really strong feelings about this. Yeah. When he breaks into my house in the middle of the night, I have no, no go ahead. I'm, I'm, I I want to hear I have no qualms about shooting a motherfucker in the face who breaks into my house in the middle of the night. It is not my job to figure out why he's there. He is in my house unlawfully in the middle of the night. Bye bye. Yep. Let the body yep. sit the floor. That's reasonable. So everyone has um, what I feel like is a 
turning point. Everyone that's like that goes from you know yeah you know Second Amendment whatever to b- adamantly pro gun and into guns has a moment um, that really defines that. I went through, my high school. I went to Millard South. Um, twenty fourteen is my fresh or twenty eleven. Excuse me, is my freshman year, and um, that was when our school got shot up, and that was it for me. I was like, you know, I I had grown up in a, a moderately conservative family. Um, it was, you know, gun for hunting, and you know, we had a handgun for self defense and stuff like that. And that was really when it, it the tide turned for me, and I was like, holy shit, people should be fucking strapped. You know what I mean? Like. You got some maniac that's going to walk in that took his dad's police-issued gun. There's no amount of gun control that could stop that ever. Took his dad's police-issued gun and shot the principals and tried to come shoot up the school. Like, yeah, an everyday person is dumb not to carry one. You know, because the, like, whether you, regardless of your your moral opinions on, on gun control and stuff like that, the criminals don't give a fuck, man. So, like, you can either embrace reality or die of it. That's what it that's comes right. down to me i am a very very small person of stature i have zero upper body strength and if i am in a situation where someone is aggressing me in any way physically i'm fucked without a weapon and and that's that that's the argument i also use my mom's five three 100 pounds soaking wet she lives by herself do you want to go tell her why she's not allowed to have a gun to defend herself go fuck yourself you know that's my i I, I can never statistics yeah, I, I, ahead, sorry, man. I don't understand women who who are against us. Right I don't to either. Because they're the ones who would be, uh, take, you know, they're the ones who are of a, you know, can be most helped by a firearm. It's a great equalizer. So mm-hmm. I, I don't. You, you would think a woman would be greatly in favor of the Second Amendment and the right to defend themselves. Yeah, and a lot when of I, them are. A lot of them are. Stuff online freaking out about guns and whatnot it blows my mind because i want it they when they say that they want all guns outlawed i'm just like so you just want to be completely defenseless is what you're telling me right now have you ever been the victim of a brutal crime apparently not because it's not a fun situation to be in and there is literally nothing you can do when someone is physically aggressing you who's twice your size and weight and physical stamina like good luck with that you need the or, or, or if, like myself, uh, maybe I'm confronted with three or four people. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know that want to do harm. Yeah. You know, so the gun then would be a, a great equalizer. The case Absolutely. that comes to mind. You, you know, let me, let me. No, go ahead, man. Just, I want to show my age. You know what really drove me to buy my first gun was. This is going to show you how old I am. The 94 riots. When they pulled that dude out of the truck and blasted him with the bricks. Uh huh. Fuck yeah. I mean, my God. And and that's when I said, okay, I'm going to go look for something. So I asked someone who knew something about guns. And they said, they said, hey, go down to Saul's uh, loan. They they have a sale on AKs. And I bought one for like 200 bucks. I mean, it was the steal of the century, really. And uh, that's, honestly, that's what drove me to buy one. Yeah, you're lucky you you're lucky you found one at Saul's, man. When all this shit started going down in Omaha, you couldn't find anything at Saul's. So, well, it just got a long time ago. I'm an old yeah, shit, many so. moons, many moons ago. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, the that, yeah the, the case that comes to mind the most for me, um, and it's fucking wild. So buckle up. It was a couple years ago. There was this um, uh, girl. She was 14 years old. She had met this guy in New Zealand online, and it carried this a couple of years ago. I think it was in like Pennsylvania, Virginia, somewhere in the East Coast, like that. Um, she had carried on an online relationship with this sicko, right? This dude was in his forties. Um, she broke up with him, decided I don't want to you know, do this with this guy anymore. This guy buys a plane ticket, comes to the United States to this girl's address because he tracked her down, her and her mom down. Um, buys a screwdriver at a Home Depot. And busts in the window and comes to kill them both. Single mom living with her 14-year-old daughter. Mom shoots him six times and kills him. Now, if there's no gun there, there's zero chance they survive. There's no chance they yeah. live. You take a gun out of that equation, you'll say, we get the, 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 the utopian gun control that everyone's talking about. Guns are totally gone. Only the cops and military have them. 
You got a guy that breaks a window in two seconds with a screwdriver, busts in, kills, and rapes both of them. It's over. They stand no chance. Without the gun, those two are raped and dead. There's no way around it. There's nothing you can do about it. You, you remove. You, you want your gun control. You have to settle for the fact that those two are dead. Are you willing to die on that hill? That that's what I ask to the gun control people. Yeah. Well, well you also here, here's. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Can't I was just going to say, you also, so say you get rid of all guns. Okay, so then you're going to have to worry about 3D printed guns. You're going to have to worry about zip guns. Like, guns don't go away just because you make them illegal. Guns are, like, part of the culture. So it's going right. to be very difficult to get the idea of guns out of people's heads. Mm -hmm. and, and the only other thing I, I want to point out is the media, what, what Caleb just Describe there, you don't hear in the media. I mean, there's probably many, many instances where a gun saves someone or just drawing a gun would save mm -hmm. somebody. And, and you just won't hear that in, anywhere in the in the media anywhere. So never. It's sad. Not, not in Omaha, though. If you, get, if you get attacked by a group of people, you just have to die here. That's the rule. Those are the rules. Mm -hmm. That's the and the city will prosecute you to avoid riots, but that's there. we can't have people throwing tantrums. I mean, <laughs> you won't eat it. But yeah, that's any update, Scott. Uh, Joe is Joe is not polling as high as I'd like it in Nebraska right now. She's staying pretty <laughs> consistent. At so about one, everybody. about two percent, yeah. she's sitting at. Uh, I would have liked to seen her at Sorry, least at four percent in Nebraska, five percent in Nebraska. Caleb, did you just get kicked off that fucking couch by that little fucking dog? No, yeah. I dropped down to look at my laptop. The dog is chilling. The dog <laughs> hasn't even growled at me once. Look, yeah, he's well, to here, here's French the fry. You know, here's the thing, Scott. I think she's gonna be uh, the other guy. <laughs> I think she's gonna out uh, out uh, beat Gary Johnson in, in terms of total votes. So you think nationwide? You think nationwide? No, I think in Nebraska. Really? Okay. I was hoping. So far, I mean, I mean, Gary Johnson, I think uh, got ten thousand votes, and she's yeah, she's at uh, seventy two four. Seven, so seventy seven thousand right now. So yeah, it, it, yeah. It, I'm kind of hoping she at least gets you know. Fifteen, twenty thousand, but we'll see. We'll see if it's uh, two percent. I'd like to be... see her. I'd like to see her get as many as many votes as we have libertarians in the state, at least. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. Right. I think she should get right. seventeen thousand votes, right? But I haven't looked at the right. latest numbers yet because they send them to me on nineteen nineties technology. Wow! <laughs> and you don't have a device with a disk drive? I do. But I have to go dig it out of the closet and plug no. it in. Yeah, bust out the old walk, man. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so That's oh. funny, guys. I have to go uh, host this comedy open mic. So thanks right, so much for be, having me on. Go be your funnies, man. Go be go be funny and have a good time and thanks tell everybody drinking. tell everybody Mr. Z said hey. We'll do. Thanks so much for having me on. That was a whole lot of fun. Yeah, thanks, dude. I'll talk to you later. Hopefully. Take care. So oh, I think yeah. Ben is going to come on if he. Oh, good! Mm -hmm. he got to, my fi my message finally went through, and he finally saw it. All right. uh, ben is thinking about coming on. I think. Oh, cool! Yeah. So I, I just want to. This is kind of funny. Um, I had I had a goal of winning one county. It's not going to happen. But I sent a lot of lit to Wheeler County. Okay. And I'm four votes behind. I'm four votes behind Janice right now. So. I'm, in I may, I, I'm, I'm not going to win it, but I may actually be Janicek. I, I don't know. I, uh, that'd be, it was that'd a little be newsworthy. Yeah, I don't know about newsworthy, but it. I don't know. I was kind of hoping I might win one county. It's not going to happen, looking at the county results here. But uh, but it is kind of funny. I'm four votes behind Janicek. That, that cracks me That's up. Awesome, That's something to be proud of, man. Really. Yeah. Oh, you know. The, the best part of this was if you go to some of the betting online betting sites, I actually carried a line in some of those websites. That that was I was nice. 16, 16 to one and one uh, 
uh, one of these websites, it was like, oh, wow, that now that is to me, that was making the big time when yeah. you're on the betting <laughs> websites and you're, you actually have a line. So that's awesome. Yeah, I, I, I got into that. So that's funny. Yeah, you weren't uh, you weren't on yet when we were talking about my theory about people uh, being addicted to gambling and that's why they vote. You know what I mean? That's the only reason why they're voting now. They vote for the team that they think is going to win. So, oh, you know that may be because when I saw that, I thought of this uh, new slogan like "Bet on me, then vote for me, and we'll both win." You know, we'll both win. So, or something like that. Right. So, uh, right. I'm back. Bless Welcome you. back, Caleb Salvatore. I literally yeah. just went to I went to share it on my Snapchat and it made me quit out real quick. So nice. <laughs> I I learned something new today. Speaking of Snapchat, Caleb, I learned something new this week. You'll be really proud of me. I learned What'd how to link learn? my Facebook. I learned how to link my Facebook to my Instagram. Congratulations, you fucking Yay. <laughs> Yay! So Dude, look so, forward to that on Instagram at Mr. Z so, Comedy. Check this out, man. Okay, so trending while I was doing all that, um, I was pulling up on my laptop. Trending, we're at ninety-one percent reporting in North Carolina and Florida. Um, it, unless the trend changes, Trump's going to take Florida by at least three percent. He's going to take. He's probably going to win North Carolina. Um, the Michigan lead has not slipped. The Wisconsin lead has not slipped. Biden, Biden's holding Minnesota pretty tight. Um, Trump is fucking gaining. He's gaining ground. Like he's taking, extending his lead in Pennsylvania. Biden's losing his lead in Arizona. Utah is probably closer than Trump would like it to be. And Biden's winning in Minnesota or excuse me, in Montana. This is a weird fucking election. It is weird. weird. What's that? That's what, gonna be. What about Nevada, Caleb? What about Nevada? Nevada that Trump has Nevada, no, Nevada's not reporting yet. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'll let y'all know. Uh, I'm just re I'm sitting here on my. What about I I is Iowa reporting yet? Iowa's reporting. So you've got Biden is up, um, sixty to thirty-seven. We're only at seventeen percent report. 17% oh. reporting, though. And he was up like that in Pennsylvania, and now he's down by six. Um, I, I'm not taking anything for granted until it hits 30%. Again, I'm a fucking amateur. I'm not a professional here. Uh, you guys are relying on a semi-professional comedian to give your result. Uh, What's that? I said if somebody just commented that Iowa just closed. Is that true? Iowa just closed. And I, I guarantee you Iowa's going to be way closer than 23% in favor of Biden. Yeah. yeah. If anything Where's else. Galicia? Hi, Galicia. <laughs> Galicia's tuning in. That's awesome. So we're getting Arizona's more and more fans. Arizona's a good one to watch. Yeah, it is. Because that it's always been like, it's kind of been like a, a, a clo like a New Mexico type state where it's always been kind of close, but the Republic, you know, is for the Democrats that always win New Mexico, the Republicans almost always win Arizona. So it's kind of interesting to see how that one kind of slipped. Hmm. Um, it, I mean, you, what, well, I mean, the fact of the matter is you've got a lot of people that have come over, um, yeah. to the United States from Mexico and, and their, their children are voting Democrat because my, so, Hispanic, and the Hispanic thing about children, Arizona Will, will disproportionately vote Democrat. That's just a fact of the matter. So in about 10 years ago, there's there was a mass exodus from California to Arizona as well. And Texas. Um, and Texas. And Texas. And, that was, and they were all liberals that left. So... And, and that's my big thing, dude. It's like you fled California for, for high taxes. Why are you going to vote for high taxes in fucking Arizona and, and Texas? You're, you're just going to try to make it as shitty as the place you left. You know what? You voted for that shit. Stay there and reap the fucking repercussions that you voted in, okay? Don't go Dude, infect I, another state that's doing well and fuck with the shit. And again, semi-professional comedian here, not qualified to speak on this shit at all. My solution to that is when you move to a state, you should not be allowed to vote in state or local elections for five years. Five years. So you got to sit there. You got to figure out if you want the way you're living. Like you moved there for lower taxes. You, you chose to move there. It's not taxation without representation. You don't get to vote on their shit for five years. So you figure out if you like it or not. 
And then you can go back to California or you can say, you know what, I like the higher taxes we had in California. That's fine and vote that way. That's how I think you want to do at least some of that shit. You know, that's not a bad idea. I think you should look at that. Uh, five years is a while. Uh, but you know what? If you, like I said, if you are you voted shithole stuff into policy and you don't like the repercussions and then you decide to move to greener pastures, you shouldn't get to fuck up that new place. Right, right. So I did, my dad just texted me this. Um, take it with a grain of salt. We're going to call it reliable. I don't know if he's being sarcastic or not, but he said Chinese currency is currently tanking. So I don't, I don't know believe him. Means. I don't believe him. He's got coronavirus, dude. He's speaking fucking in tongues right hey. now. <laughs> <laughs> my, dad, my dad does have coronavirus right now. <laughs> he's doing okay. He's got some mild, mild aches and, and a little bit of a cough, but it's nothing, nothing he can handle. He's all crashing. Blah blah I, blah, uh, blah blah. I I gotta drive over to his house to drop off cat food for him tomorrow. <laughs> Can't leave. <laughs> oh, such a good son. Such a good. Your son. dad has a kitty. I didn't know that. My dad. My, he used to have two cats. He's only has one. He got rid of one of them. But but yeah, he's got two. He got one now. That's nice. Well, I'm glad That's he has one. Who else should we invite on, you guys? Who else do we want to? Who do we want to shout out to? You know what? Come on, I, can, I can't tell who's watching, but I'm gonna I'm gonna message Christian in a sec and ask him if he wants to come on. See if he wants Let's to pop on. We can yeah. we can have the two opponents on here. Gailisha, you want to come in live from the Libertarian Watch Party in Iowa and Des Moines? Uh, if you're still watching, yeah, we could have that happen. I can send you the link. <laughs> That'd be good times. You know that. Speaking of libertarian watch parties, that Joe Jorgensen event was quite, uh, quite a good event. I felt it was a good turnout, good crowd there. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Scott, you did a great job emceeing it too. But oh, thanks, man. I uh, I really enjoy that. I enjoy being able to get up and do those kind of things for the party. So yeah, um, yeah. Did you speak I in just, uh, uh, just a quick? Uh, did I what? Did you speak in Iowa this weekend? I did. Yeah, so I hosted the event. I was the MC. Nice. I introduced all the candidates. Yeah. Who spoke? Was, uh, so Laura Epke did, and then uh, Rick Stewart, uh, Brian Love Jack it. Holder. Uh, Brian oh, Jack right. Holder did, and then uh, and then of course Doctor Doctor Jorgensen. Yeah. Love those guys. You know, uh, something, a little tidbit out of that event. I gave three television interviews and none of them aired. Not one. What? Yeah. And so this, this odd uh, Omaha media blackout thing going on, it was, it's been uh, strange. They kept me out of the voter guide. Uh, the paper hasn't mentioned my name. Uh -huh. Um, just, just a bizarre, I don't know, a bizarre, I, I don't know how to describe it. No. I know when Jim Schultz ran two years ago, the paper gave him like a Sunday spread to like almost two pages with a big picture. And he had and, a whole Q&A uh, on KTV, didn't he? Yeah. And then he, KTV has a Sunday morning show and he spent, you know, they gave him the entire segment at 30 minutes, but when they ran the Senate, candidate segment they didn't they didn't include me so it That's bullshit kind yeah, of a bizarre baker have you on no oh. uh chris baker scott Voorhees. i i confronted scott Voorhees personally and gave him some of my lit um wouldn't uh wouldn't play wouldn't uh so i i i it i don't quite get that but uh what are you gonna do i mean just gotta keep what are rolling. you gonna do Chris Baker will usually, that's weird because maybe he's not doing it anymore, but he used to host like all the local, like Omaha, Nebraska candidates on this uh, show for at least. He hosted Janet for, uh, he hosted Janet for uh, like uh, almost uh, two or three segments, you know, so. Well, that, that's, um, that's because Janet just has so much integrity. Yeah. <laughs> that was, yeah. That, uh, well, so. 
I remember him hosting the guy that was running for mayor of uh, La Vista under the marijuana party. And I was like, really? You, you had that guy on? Like, okay. Wisconsin's getting close. Yeah. Speaking of the marijuana party, that dude, uh, mm. that dude's out there making a making a bunch of noise in District Three. Elworth, how's uh, he doing? Yeah, so he's got 22 percent of the vote. Oh boy! Yeah. So, I'm like I said, man. Points. Yeah, if if yeah, I think if things had been different. I think if, if Hobbs had been in a position to run a, a solid campaign, you know, life happens, right? He found out he was going to be a dad. Yeah. He was going to find out he was going to be a dad. Totally a game changer, right? Uh, yeah. But he was already signed. But he had already signed on the dotted line, and he had already committed to running for for Congress. So he stuck to it and kept his name on the ballot. He didn't bow out. So kudos to Hobbs for that. I know he's running his own other show tonight. We we tried to get him to come on. Um, he got uh, he got some attention though from the other side. A little bit, um, which maybe helped him out there in District Three. <laughs> maybe it did. I don't know. So, so we, you know, that is a crown or a feather in your cap if Antifa is coming for you and trying to dox you, and uh, that's who we're talking about, right? So you, yeah. yeah. So you know, it's as we had him on our show um, uh, on Bread and Circuses. We had Hobbs on. And I asked him, I'm like, have you had anyone actually contact your employer? Because I've, I've always heard about that happening, but I've never known anyone that, like, legitimately has happened to. Um, and he said, yeah, like, a couple people called, and he said I had, there were five total emails. Two of them were people saying, hey, he's great. You know, I worked with him, blah, blah, blah. Awesome. And the other three were saying, I will never buy a product from your company. Well, they're a machine company that sells to other companies. So the chances are, it's not like it's fucking Walmart, right? Right. Yeah, like, you're going to buy their, their fucking product one way, probably well, later. You just won't know it, you dumbass. Yeah. And he said his boss just laughed about it. Like, it's, right. and, and honestly, so like, I, obviously, I won't even tell people what I do for a living where I work, nothing like that for obvious reasons. But I'm in a management position. If someone messaged me, saying so you know one of your employee like i'm in a position where i fire and hire people if someone messaged me saying one of your employees is doing this and that online they're associated with this group as long as it's not affecting work i don't care you know what i mean right like, people like the, the idiots that send those messages it shows how low and unimportant they are in life because they don't realize how difficult it is to fire someone you know, like, you know, it's you can't just snap your fingers and make them gone. And companies don't want to do that because it costs money. It costs production. If I fire somebody, not only do I have to waste my time and the company's time and money to go out and hire someone new to replace them. Now I have to hire when I hire that person, they're going to be training. I'm going to have to take another employee off the line to train them because I can't babysit them all day. I got to manage other people. It's, it's it costs companies so much more money to hire someone than just their initial salary and people don't realize that they're not going to find unless you're using a hard r n word on you know on social media your company's not going to fire you for sharing a boogaloo meme nobody fucking cares dude. right and the right fucking cares right so i am updating this election map here that's We've cool got... dre are you going to okay. leave us and go to another podcast are we getting a guest in return are we is that part of the exchange I'm not sure. Uh, my messages better, are not going through. You got to okay. negotiate. You got to negotiate. We need a guest That's in return. We need, Hobbs. we need Hobbs in return. So <laughs> so I think Georgia is safe. To, I think we can call Georgia for Trump. Okay. Um, I think we, I think we can, we can too. Call, I think Georgia is safe for Trump. Um, Florida, I don't, Florida and Texas, I don't want to do it yet. But I think like that. Florida is going to be going Trump, down. dude. Florida's going to be Trump, dude. I don't want to call it yet, but I think Florida, I think you can say it's safe for Trump. Uh, or I don't think you can say it's safe, but I think it's close. Um, it's close. The way Pennsylvania and Ohio are trending, I think you got to say Trump. Same with North Carolina. Um, let me see who else I got here that we haven't called yet. So Michigan. I'm going to say, yeah, Michigan's, enough. Michigan's close. I'm not going to call that one yet. So let's say... So I got Trump's going to win Utah. He's going to um, – Biden will win California, Oregon, and Wa Washington, and Hawaii that aren't reporting yet. Trump will win Alaska. Um, 
uh, right now. So let's say Biden wins Minnesota and Arizona. I think you can like if I was gonna like, gun to my head, I'd call them there and New Hampshire. So that puts you at two fifty four to two thirty eight in front of in favor of Trump. That's not including Idaho and Montana. So then you're at two sixty one. Trump needs nine electoral votes, which means he needs to win either Iowa and Nevada or one of Wisconsin and Michigan, and he wins. Like, he only has to win Michigan, and it's over. Like, that that's the numbers I'm looking at right now, and that's giving Biden Arizona and Minnesota as battleground states, like handing and it I, to him. I spent time in Michigan, dude. That's Trump country up there. It's So, I, I mean, you can – you can hand over Minnesota and Arizona battleground states, one of them a Republican leaning state in Arizona, to Biden right now. And I still don't I like I'm changing my prediction. I don't know how Biden wins this tonight. Now it's gonna get taken to court. There's gonna be a bunch of bullshit. We're not gonna call it tonight. But I don't see how Biden can win tonight. I, I'm not seeing it. I, I I think his odds of victory are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And if I like you know, I had to bet I would put it on Trump. I'm changing my bet. So that's me. That's Caleb Salvatore right now. That's where we're at. We'll, Caleb, we'll are, in a bit. Caleb, are you following any of the Senate races? I am not, but I can pull them up real quick. Well, I can, I'm, 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 I'm winning. I'm second place in one county. How about that? There you go. In Rock County, in Rock county I'm ahead of Janicek, so. <laughs> All right, in, in, in Rock so, County, I'm ahead, 47, 43. He's beating Janice. No. So, so Senate races. He asked um, Tom Tillis. That's close uh, in North Carolina. Mitch McConnell's going to pull it out. That was never close. People wanted to masturbate with him and Lindsey Graham, saying that was going to win. It was never going to happen. Um, Sass is. I'm sorry, Gene, but Sass is going to win. Um, <laughs> sorry, man. Uh, I mean, he's really like pulling the numbers the right now. <laughs> it, it looks like Marshall's gonna pull it out in uh Kansas. I want to pull up a, a map here and see where that'll put the Senate. So we've got Joni Ernst is like 25% behind Teresa Greenfield. Again, Iowa, we're not even gonna fuck with because it's so close. Minnesota, yeah. I think you can call. Call for the Democrats. Montana, keep an eye on that one. I could see the Democrats stealing that. Arizona, it looks like Martha McSally is going to lose that one. Uh, looks like the Democrats are going to flip Arizona. Um, wow. Maine. Flip the yeah. Senate? I'm not sure. Yeah. So let me, let me pull up the map here. Let me pull up my, my pseudo map here. So Maine it, Maine, it looks like oh, the Democrats are going to keep the House. Maine, Susan Collins is out to the lead. So let's say um, Kansas. Let's God damn it, computer. So let's say uh, Republicans take can so right now this map's got us at 41 41. Republicans take Kansas or so, sorry Democrats take Arizona, uh, Montana and uh, but they lose uh, really, they lose and, and Iowa. They're Iowa, gonna lose they're Alabama. Gonna lose, they're gonna lose Alabama. Um, that, that they had to flip state, so. they, they had to flip Alabama. four seats. They had to flip four seats. So hey, Nathan said he's trying to join Scott. Oh, look, and we got Myra too. Look at did, this. Did we got Nathan? we got all kinds of people. We got all kinds of people joining on. Sorry, I was looking at results, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Hey, we got a couple of guests. We got Myra. Nathan. We got Token. We got it's a party now. Everybody, welcome to Drunken Disorderly. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, we had to lose oh, Dre. Yeah. We had to trade. Yeah. We traded Dre. We traded Dre away, Myra, on you. So you walked in here and you're all, I only know, like, some people. Now, <laughs> this, this is the affirmative action that's wrong with this country. Okay. Uh, so. No, I've been, I've been on three podcasts tonight. So That's awesome. Yeah, that's I'm just awesome. hopping back and forth, um, just waiting for results for my election. Yeah, how is your election going? I haven't been following Iowa, no offense. But, uh, yeah, how's your election going? Um, it looks like I have about 17% with 0% reporting. So wow, okay. How does that happen? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that is. Um, but that's what, what's being reported. So That's awesome. 
That's seventeen uh, percent's good. So, so your polls. What time do they close in Iowa? Nine. At so nine. Can, hey, yeah, hey. Nine. Guess, guess who just agreed? Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, will you send Not me the link real quick, Scott? I'm gonna send it to Chris yeah. Janicek. He's gonna join us. Chris Janicek's gonna join us. Chris right. Janicek's gonna join us. I'll be right back. I might, I might have to jump off to join Dan Berman again. Okay, so. that's fine. Tell Dan we said hi over here. Oh, we okay. uh, we were just hanging out talking about we were talking about the Joe event and how uh, successful that was and like I don't know like I don't know how involved you were. I mean I know you, you were like my go to person for that. No, you did an amazing job. You put together a top notch event, right? It's about putting people in the right places to do. Uh, to do the jobs that need to get done, and you did a good job of putting people in the right places, and everything went off really smooth. So, yeah, it went really, really well. Thank you for that. I know right, it was I a drive it. for you. You, it was a drive for you, a commute, right, to come to those events. I, I feel the vibe though, because we do that here in Nebraska too. Like, there's no, such a I long hate, drive to different areas. I hated that drive. Yeah. You said it was a drive from hell. You said it was a drive from hell, didn't you? Yeah, no, I'm not a good drive. I'm not a good traveler in general. So to travel four and a half hours by myself through Des Moines as the halfway point, like I Oh yeah. I literally stopped in DeSoto, Iowa, which I don't know where that is. And I had a meltdown. Did you really? Yeah, I did. Aww. Like, I and I was like, I don't know if I can keep going. And he was like, do you want me to come get you? Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, driving in the direction of Nebraska will have that effect on people. You would have... You would have sucked on the Oregon Trail, man. You <laughs> died of dysentery day one. Day one. <laughs> but no, I've been there. I've made that drive a hundred times probably. My, my my family and I, we love to vacation in Michigan. That's one of our favorite places to go. So we make that drive all the time. Is and I... I absolutely know exactly what you're talking about. Usually by that time in the drive, though, I'm so zoned out. Like, I I blink, and it's like, there's Des Moines, and then, boom, I'm in Omaha. There it is. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I sleep through the whole thing. Maybe I, I just zone do out. Do you know where DeSoto is? Cause I do. Like, I don't even know where that is. And I'm like, that's, where the, that's where the forest is. I got to Google map it. I don't know where that is either. That's where the forest is, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, no. I'm so not good. I was so better off. I, I went to um, St. Louis. I drove to St. Louis. That was my first long drive by myself on a campaign on for Dan. Facebook. Okay. And I was really nervous about it, but I did it, and that was fine. But for some reason... The was not okay. Yeah, no. So, so from from where you're at in Iowa to St. Louis, most mm -hmm. of that drive is that through Illinois or is that Missouri? No, Cedar Rapids to St. Louis is just a straight shot through agree, just corn so country. Like just corn. So yeah. But Iowa is different for some okay. reason. So. Well, having to go through Des Moines was bad. Sure. Is Des Moines under a bunch of construction too? Yeah. Whenever yeah. Gets pulled up, well, and sometimes you have to exit in the left lane, and I hate yep. That. Why do you have to exit in the left lane? Because it's Iowa. That's stupid. You should always have to exit in the right lane. It's Iowa. We know they're super progressive, right? So they want to give every equal chance to the right and to the left. Yes, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop off for a little while. All right, Gene, man. It was good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Peace out, Gene. Uh, good yeah, luck it was in a pleasure race. having we'll, you here. And... We'll keep watching the race, yep. and and we'll see you when we see you. So. I think. All right. Have a good night, Take Gene. care. Take I care, guys. Later. We've got to see you later, Gene. I think we've got one of Gene's opponents coming on here pretty soon, and it's not Ben Sass. No? Maybe yeah. that's why he ran out here. We don't got Ben Sass coming on here. We it's, don't got, it's, we don't got it's, Ben Sassy. Okay. That's a shame. It's not, it's not 
It's not that's Trey Sass, but it's it's one of other uh, one of uh, Gene's other opponents. He said he'd, he'd join. I just texted him, so I sent him the oh. link. Uh, I bet I can get Gene back on. Wouldn't that be fun? There's Chris oh, Janicek God. right there. No, he's Gene on? is coming on, on my podcast, guys. All right. oh, is he going he's to your bro. podcast he's right not, now? He's going to our show, so you're going to have to wait on that. That's right. Look at that. We got Chris Janicek in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Janicek, oh, boy. Everybody. Welcome to Drunken Disorderly. Chris. We're having a good time over here. <laughs> How is Chris, everybody? how's it going, bro? We're, We're doing good. good. How are you we doing? We cracked 100,000 and then counting. 100, yeah. In Nebraska? 102,000. In the, the last uh, election, 2018, when we, our other senator was up for re-election, uh, Nebraska had about 800,000 votes um, between the two candidates. And right now we are at about 200,000 between us two. So we've got about 600,000 more to go more than that because of the uh, fantastic. We don't have the Castor Nebraska yet where we did extraordinarily well and where we found the most dislike for our, our current Senator Ben Sass. So we are ready to accept win in this, but you know, never say never. It's 2020. Anything can happen. If there's anything I mean, we've learned in 2020, anything can happen. That's for sure. It's been a it's been a wild yes, year, yes. man. And I I gotta say, I, I really admired how you stood up to uh the Nebraska Democrats and basically gave them the finger. I really appreciate how you you weren't gonna back down to that railroading, in my opinion. <laughs> Right. Well, you know, we made a mistake and it, the mistake was basically made on on conversation that had happened with the people that were on staff. And this woman had quit and left and tried to get her job back. And I repeated some things that she said in a text message, which I shouldn't have. We immediately apologized and she apologies and then uh, turned it over to the state party. We didn't give her her just Yeah, no, definitely. Definitely. And I podcast real quick. Myra, are you going to leave us? Bye, Myra. All right, dude. <laughs> For a second, I will be back. You got the link. Come back on. We'll be here. Yeah, yeah thank you. All right, all right, Myra. We'll see you in a bit. So was that your first negative interaction with Jane? Because I had heard about some other uh, candidate, a candidate who will not be named, um, whom she called the Secretary of State on his behalf, trying to drop, drop out of the election to replace him with another candidate of her choice. But Right. They wanted to put the third place finisher in our place. And uh, we were pretty much blackmailed by our uh, state party chair. She wanted me to drop out because of health reasons and uh, endorse the third place finisher and not give the other six uh, primary uh, runners a chance at becoming uh, the Senate candidate nominee for the Democratic Party. And it just had corruption written all over it. And I'm running on, I don't know if you can see my shirt, but it says enough. Right. And uh Enough. We're just tired of the corruption. We're tired of the cover-ups, and we won't stand for it. We we are running an honest and open campaign. I'm 100% transparent, and we intend to keep things that way. Oh uh, yeah, a, a Democratic primary with corruption in it. Who would have who would have foreseen <laughs> that coming? Total shocker to me. That never happens. Shocker. <laughs> right. What? Well, right. So, pe people here in Nebraska, the crazy and they thing think right now is my. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, guys. No, no, you're, you you go ahead. You're the guest. My communications director just came in and she wrote down a number. Nebraska right now is only per reporting 39% of the vote. So we've got 60% yet to come in. So we're not going to concede anything, uh, even though I think AP called it, until we would see what happens comes from the western part of our state. Right. The, just, just take your cue from the presidential elections and don't ever concede. Just, just, just keep saying... <laughs> I won. Like, like ne into <laughs> next year. Just keep being like, guys, Ben Sass, he's a loser. He's a cheat. Voter fraud. <laughs> voter suppression. I'm the senator. I'm going to Washington and just kick down Ben, ben Sass's door and be like, get out of here, bitch. I'm the senator <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm the senator now. <laughs> and then you, you and Gene can have, can have a duel in the, uh, in the Capitol building about who gets to be the senator. Well, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in this to, to win it, and I'm in this for, for the people. 
uh, it, it boils down to healthcare for me being a small business owner and having people that work with me to build my business, to, to try to affordably take care of them in the healthcare marketplace. And this for-profit system that our Congress is enabling has got to do an end. It has got to, and you guys all know this, we, we're all self-employed. We work sometimes for an employer and we still have inadequate uh, health care through the number. And then when, when it comes to it accountable for another 30 40 50 percent and this is unacceptable so you uh you're uh it's with the, the health care thing sorry you wanted to to keep the private option available correct did i just drop say that again or you broke up a little sorry yeah i saw my feed go down you want to keep a private health care option available right because i actually kind of like my health insurance i don't mind paying for it we definitely have health care option available. I have a good friend who's an OBGYN, you know, and she makes six, seven hundred thousand dollars a year and she can afford private health care insurance. And she wants that option to uh, buy the best because she has the money to do so. The rest of us schmucks that are making 40, 50, 60 thousand a year don't have that luxury. And, you know, you usually do us in and that is one of the big are we are we losing chris kind of overturn hey, he's I, on a cell phone uh, come november 10th exactly yeah. and if that goes away you know i i uh, can't hear anything he's saying i think we're, yeah we're it cut out completely chris Someone... chris we lost you a little bit buddy there you are you hear us chris you hear us I can hear you now. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. That's, uh, let's see. Um, are you having a so beer? You, I love it. Yeah. It's drunk and disorderly. Chris, where's your, uh, you joining us for some drinks? <laughs> I, I'm not we're, having we're having a good time. I brew, I brew locally, my friend. I already, um, I already drank all mine. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I've got a so, and, and that was the, with my, the worst thing about this this whole thing um was uh I, I people attacking you personally on your personal page and going after your business i'm like that's that's not cool at all you know i saw people who you posted a picture of a kansas city chief's birthday oh, no. cake and somebody went after you telling you to drop out i'm like that's classless man that's a personal post a kansas city birthday cake kansas city chiefs why would you no. go after someone for that? That doesn't even make sense. Right. Like now, now, if he was posting an Iowa Hawkeyes cake, <laughs> that I can understand. Yeah. Oh, so Chris, uh, are you with us? You, you're hearing us real time? I know you kind of had some lag over there, but uh, you, you having a watch party somewhere? You hanging out at home? You, uh, What's going on? We, I've got this big old man mansion that I bought five years ago that I've been restoring back from six apartments to single family and done. We made it our campaign headquarters. So tonight uh, we just had people stop by. We got pizza where we don't have got, we have pizza and some snack dips. And so everyone's wearing their mask in the other room and we're just watching the results. Only time that just mask comes them. off is to get that food in our mouth. So nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. So we're we're asking everyone prediction. How do you think the? I mean, we're not going to know. Who up wins the bar. Tonight, so. But, <laughs> we're, we're, so we're not going to know who wins tonight. But we're asking everybody. How do you think the uh, presidential election? Who do you think is going to end up winning it? Preston hasn't even received any votes to even publish. He's got to get. Oh no! Six percent. Pre presidential. Publish. Presidential. So. Not not Preston Love. Sorry. Trump and Biden. Say again. Tr Trump and Biden prediction. That's the president. A, hear the question. Yeah, sorry. I don't know who's who's lagging. Both of you guys are lagging. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the one that's lagging. I don't know. Chris, he was asking about your prediction though on the Trump Trump versus Biden race. You know, the president, the big the big Kahuna. What's uh what's going on there? If what now? Uh, presidential, presidential ticket. Who's going to win? Re repeat that. The presidential ticket. Trump, Trump versus Biden. 
I think Biden's going to pull this one off. Um, I voted for Biden this time around. Uh, uh, I did not in 2016. So I gave the guy four years. I think he's uh, done worse for the country than he has done good. Um, a lot of this is not his fault. You know, again, let's we can go right back to the Senate. It's the Senate's job to pass legislation and create policy and put it on the president's desk to, to sign. And Trump ran on health care. Trump ran on uh, infrastructure, has failed to uh, get this policy and this legislation on his desk for him to sign. And you, you, we all know he'll sign anything. He loves holding up a piece of paper with the signature. Yeah, he does. I think the president is a failure as I think the United States Senate is. And that's one of the other reasons they got in this race. They're ineffective. Yeah. For sure. I certainly I certainly appreciate you, know, you, you got, running running a race, man. That's uh to get stuff done. Yeah, so I uh I appreciate you hopping on with us, man. Was there anything else you wanted to plug before before you take off? I know you got a busy night ahead of you. If the guy ahead of me water. What's that? I think we're I think we're losing Chris. Yeah, I think he's, he's uh, got a lot he of people on his again. Wi-Fi. We're, yeah, no, I, I asked if there was anything else you wanted to plug. I know you got a, a busy night ahead of you, uh, so we're going to let you go pretty soon here. But if there was anything else you wanted to, to mention before we take off. OK, if I wanted to plug, say again, anything, uh, <laughs> anything you want to mention to bring I'm up. Gonna, I'm going to plug I'm going to plug my wonderful staff, my campaign manager Scott Howard, who his wife Michelle, who's been with me the entire time, my communication director uh, Sarah, who's been with us the last year and a half, my treasurer Scott, uh, my other uh, uh, advisor Scotty. I mean, we ran a tight knit campaign, and uh, so we control mostly the narrative and control everything, and I think we're doing fantastic with the, the vote count in a state where 29 percent of all registered voters out of 1.2 million are registered democrats we're pulling a lot of republican vote and that was my primary objective to state unified and get together the people are what this election is about amen all right well chris janicek thank you for coming on my friend i'm gonna i'm gonna need a wedding cake in about a year or two so i'll, I'll hit you up soon I, I'm going to give you the, I, I suggest not to get married, just date. But if you'd like to do that, I will. <laughs> we're, we're waiting <laughs> till the world stops world ending. Is. We're waiting till the world stops ending. <laughs> it's if you marry and divorce, it's going to cost you more in the divorce than the damn wedding. So. Yeah, <laughs> amen. Amen, brother. But All I right, friend. Thank you much. All right, guys, thank you for the invite. I'm going to get back to the watch party. Thanks. Thanks for being on. Tell your campaign that uh, all the people involved with your campaign that we said thank you for your service, because man, what you I guys are doing is no e no easy task. Yeah, no easy task. So, thank you. Thank yeah, you, buddy. yeah buddy. Yeah, have a good night, bro. Good, good up, luck guys. with the rest of the race. Bye bye. Man, I gotta say, you guys got a, a couple of sad divorcees over here. <laughs> 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 Oh boy, yeah. I if, if only so I do stand up comedy, right? And uh, like if only like if I was willing to open up my stand up comedy to my ex wife, like I would have so much fodder. But I just can't do it. Like I can't bring myself. Dude, you to should go go full Louis C K and do it. Dude, that's like what that's like half of stand up comedy is making is fun your of ex your exes. I know that's oh, the absolutely. problem. I want to be different. I want to be different. Like I want to yeah. branch out. And no, dude, different. don't. Don't can be I, different. Be successful and go after your can exes. I, can I give an election? Can I give a presidential update real quick? Yeah, give us an mouth. update, Kevin. What do you got? Okay. So I let me hit refresh one time real quick here. So Trump's taking the lead in Montana like we assumed he was going to. Um, the yeah. gap is, is closing in Minnesota. Um, Biden's still got a comfortable lead. Uh, closing in Iowa, Biden's still in the lead, though. We'll see how that changes. Uh, Trump is, is expanding his gap in North Carolina. Florida's pretty much stagnant 4% Trump. I don't see that. I, like, I think you can call Florida for Trump. Um, Georgia, 10% Trump. 
Idaho just opened their polls. Trump, you can give that to him. Michigan, it's staying at about 10% Trump. Biden was closing the gap in Wisconsin. He had it at about three, but Trump just expanded it back to five. And dude, I'm not fucking with you. Donald Trump is ahead by over 13% in Pennsylvania right now, over 10% in Ohio right now. So, or dude, excuse I, me, 8% in Ohio. I, so, I got to tell you, man, I got to tell you, I, I've i been saying that Joe Biden was going to win this thing. And same it, here. I, I changed I, my I was, prediction an hour ago. See, I was, I was, you see, here's the thing. I was, I was giving Trump Florida. I was giving him Ohio. I was even going to give him Pennsylvania, you know, but I was going to give Biden, Michigan and Wisconsin. And, and the fact that Trump is leading right now in Michigan and Wisconsin is absolutely baffling to me, but I, I am just, I'm preparing myself right now for the reing part two that we, that we might be living to see, right? Like, 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 you know, multiverse theory. There's like a hundred universes out there and 99 of them are going to Biden right now, but Trump is going to win one and we're living in that one. And it's going to be absolutely fucking hilarious waking up tomorrow morning. If Donald Trump is still the president of the United States, oh boy, be prepared. Well, I mean, I've, I've gone on the record. I said gun to my head, Biden or Trump, I'd pick Trump. It's no question. Okay, they, uh, California, Oregon, and Washington are now reporting... We know who's going to win that. Big no shock. <laughs> yeah. The zero percent reporting, and they've already given them to Joe Biden there. Dude, look, <laughs> look, at, look at Virginia right Dude, now. They've called Virginia for Biden, and Trump's still up by 6% with 60% reporting. I don't know. Like, I don't I, – I still think Biden pulls out Virginia the way it's trending, but fuck, they jumped the gun on that. They're, that's egg on their face. No, absolutely, they jumped the gun. I like it. Costs you nothing to wait. Like there's, right. no, reason, yeah, there's no reason to call it right it, now. It's not. It's not like it's fucking Vermont. They also called uh, New Hampshire is going to go Biden. Yeah, um, no surprise. Uh, Trump won New Hampshire in sixteen. Um, yeah, but I mean that, that, that that's not something that I I expected to to, that's, to that's happen again. Democrat, Democrat Arizona. Uh, Biden's up by eight in Arizona. Speaking of which, wow, yeah, he is. So, yeah, that's... I, I, see, here's, here's here's the thing about this, all though, right? Because everybody is super hyper focused on the presidential race right now because it's all about the tr the cult of personality that Donald Trump has right now. I don't understand why Republicans are so focused on the presidency and not the Senate because the Senate is what really matters right now. If right? Republicans win the White House, but lose the Senate, then they lose the White House. It's because not worth come, dick. Come January 21st, Donald Trump is going to be impeached, and he's going to be out of there. Come Janu January 21st, uh, Mike Pence is going to be impeached, and he's going to be out there, and we're going to end up with Madame President Nancy Pelosi with her yeah. breaking COVID rules to get haircuts and her gelatin cubes in her $1,000 refrigerator. So, so can I can I touch on the Senate? Go for it. Yeah. So I, I think we can call Minnesota for Tina Smith, the Democrat. I, I don't. And I think we can call it for Arizona for Mark Kelly, the Democrat. So that puts you at the Democrats or so. Fuck. Hold on. It just updated in real time. One sec. Can I say something, okay. though? Alabama just elected a former football coach to be their to be their senator. So that's pretty. No, hilarious. they didn't. No, yes, they, they didn't. didn't. Tommy oh Tupperville, God, Tommy, Tommy Tupperville, Tupperville oh former football God. coach at the University hey, of Auburn, is now hey, the if, senator from Alabama. If, if anyone knows what it takes to lead a group of people to victory, it's football coach. And Nebraska also had Tom Osborne in the Congress. So I'm no, not, no, you see, yeah. you see, you you missed the point here because if anybody knows how to lie and cheat their way to victory, it's an <laughs> SEC football coach. SEC football coach. Okay, so I think we can call Minnesota for for Tina Smith preemptively if I had to bet. Along with Arizona, um, New Mexico is closer than the Democrats would be comfortable with. Montana, 50-50. Um, I think we can call Maine for Susan Collins, the Republican. Um, Georgia, I think one of them you can probably call pretty safe Republican. And then they've got that uh, runoff election that is up in the air. So let's see. Republicans take Maine. You've got 44 to 42. Let's give the Democrats Minnesota and Arizona. That puts you at 44-44. Um, that leaves you with Montana, Iowa. Um, 
sorry, 45-44 if you count the other Georgia. So Montana, Iowa, New Mexico, and Georgia are basically where like up in the air. That that's that's the difference maker we're gonna see. You see, here's, here's, here's the thing. Here's here's the thing about it, right? Uh, the, the Republicans are so hyper focused on the presidential election because the Republican Party is essentially a Trump cult at this point. Exactly. That, that is what the Republican Party is. And even if they win the Senate, if they lose the White House, then that cult loses their cult leader, and they don't give a shit about that. But it, 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 look at it. Look, all the major priorities that the Republicans have right now, the, the, they hinge on the Senate, right? You want to keep the Democrats from packing the court? Win the Senate. You want to keep the Democrats from adding a bunch of states to the Senate? Win the Senate. Right. You have sure. to win the Senate. Losing the Senate is worst case scenario right now. If you have to sacrifice the presidency to win the Senate, do that. But I also want to I want to divert your attention right now to our very own Nebraska District one congressional election where the Democrat Kate Boltz is beating is Jeff winning. Fortenberry. Beating Fortenberry. That nobody saw that coming. You could have predicted Eastman to beat Bacon. And I would have Eastman or Bacon. Bacon's wiping the floor with her. It's a double digit lead. Um, yeah, why would you why would you even think that Carrie Eastman, who already lost once before, is gonna win this time? I mean right. that, that that was like Brad Ashford losing to Bacon and then running again. You know, like like if Hillary Clinton had run into run in this election thinking she was gonna win, that would be just as delusional. Like right, once you right. lose to a guy, you should just stop running against that guy and accept that you lost. So I'm going to maintain this. So we've been running like a, an ongoing electoral map here that I've been updating um, as far as past to victory for everyone. So right now, Donald Trump, you've got 11% ahead in Michigan, 12, oh, now he's fucking ellipse, 12% in Pennsylvania. Um, let's say he takes those two. You've got him at 259, and that's given Florida, Texas, and Georgia go red. And Arizona and Minnesota go blue. 259. He needs to win Ohio or he's, Wisconsin. He's winning and Ohio. Ohio. Or Wisconsin and Nebraska's second district. That's it. If he wins Ohio, it's over. The election's over. You've got four more years of Trump. Biden can win Wisconsin, Iowa, Nevada, and Nebraska's second district, second congressional district, and Trump's and Virginia and New Hampshire. And Arizona and Minnesota and Trump still wins and Colorado and New Mexico. It doesn't matter. Like it's it, the path to victory for Joe Biden is getting lower, is getting thinner and thinner as the night goes on. I don't like I know we had Chris Janicek on here who's got to tell the party line. But like, bro, I don't see it. You know what Dude. I'm saying? Like, I, I don't. I don't see like, the path to victory there. Right, right now, I want everybody after after finishing this live stream, of course, head over to the Young Turks and see how they're handling this right now. <laughs> oh God, oh, that's what God. I that guys. Rem, right do you remember four years ago when the Young Turks were having their live stream and you could you could see it dawning on their faces the implication of a Trump victory. The reality it, sets in. Oh my God! The most epic moment in election history. Even better yes. than Hillary Clinton not coming out on that stage to address her supporters and the absolute meltdown on her yep. supporters' faces. Better than that was what was going on at the Young Turks at the same time. It's times like this that make me so glad to be a libertarian because I go into these elections under no illusion that my candidate is going to win. And I just get to sit back and laugh at whoever. Just sit them. back and watch. <laughs> I mean, cause yeah. look, look like uh, in a lot of these States, it looks like George Jorgensen is actually, uh, you know, holding her own. She's not going to get 5%, unfortunately, no. but you know, she's, she's doing, pretty decent in some of these races. And, and if it comes down to a single swing state where Joe swung it in one direction or another, I'm just, bring on the hate, bring it. Yeah. I don't care. You know, hate on me all you want. Let's do this. Your do you tears think, uh, are delicious. What do you think the Jorgerson campaign could have done different, Nate? And what do you think they, uh, you know, I mean, we're looking at what, like 50, not even, 
how many libertarian votes? How many votes does she have right now in Nebraska? Nine thousand. So not even not even half the votes. Libertarian she's got, votes. She's got two percent. That's decent. I know mean, what what it's not what Joe Jorgensen could have done different. It's what the Libertarian Party could have done just different. The, just the party as a whole. Yeah, well, I mean, Joe Jorgensen, I was saying this during the primary, Joe Jorgensen has no stage presence. She, 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 she gets up on stage, says her piece, and everyone's like, oh, yeah, okay, that was a thing. Next. You know, did she on had, Adam the Man, yeah. <laughs> and, this, and this is not, hey. this, I am not dissing on Joe Jorgensen as a person or as, as a campaigner. I am simply stating that she has no presence. She wasn't glitzy or glamoury or poppy. No, and, yeah. and you have to be that if you want to get any significant number of votes in the third party. Either that or have a big name like Gary Johnson did. Yeah, true. I mean, it's just... Why don't we... It, Scott, why don't you ask like Adam Kokesh to come on? Oh, you want me to see if Kokesh is available? I mean, that, that, that's the thing about it. I mean, Joe Jorgensen, she's a, she's a good candidate. I, I love Spike Cohen. He's a great communicator, but he could never get in front of enough people to actually spread his message. Right? I'm going to take my dog out to piss. I'll be right back, guys. All right, Go you do that. It. But, I mean, yeah, I, I, I never thought Joe Jorgensen was going to do all that well. It's kind of disappointing seeing what, what's going on right now with her campaign. But, I mean, libertarians should be used to disappointments at this point. I mean, disappointments, that's libertarians' bread and butter. So, I mean, and I don't think it helped very much uh, the fact that, that her social media team never seemed to agree what their message was going to be. Seemed like half of them were, were trying to reach out to the, to the, the Black Lives Matter uh, groups, and, and half of them were trying to push back against that. So there was never any consistent messaging going on. So that that probably hurt them a great deal. Well, it didn't hurt. I mean, it didn't help. <laughs> no, it, sure. it probably didn't. Probably didn't help no. at all. And 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 that's the thing about it. Uh, there was there was no consistent messaging. Even even a lot of those left libertarians who you would expect to be turned on by that kind of messaging, they're all voted for Joe Biden. Right. And I have a lot of these these left libertarians, these people, these these so-called libertarian socialists reading at me personally all the fucking time because I just piss on them and don't give a shit about them. Right. But they're all voting. They're all voting for Joe Biden. Right. They're all like, oh, well, Trump is so evil. And Joe and Joe Jorgensen dissed Antifa. So I can't vote for her anymore. Like, why, why are you even trying to, to reach out to these people? Why are you putting these people on your staff? Why are you, why are you trying to win their vote when they're not going to vote for you? Because once you say Antifa bad, they're like, oh, you're a fascist. Ugh, and some bullshit like that. You should yeah. have never tried messaging to these people, never should have tried reaching out to them, and certainly should have never put any of them on your staff. No. No, but that's the hard reality of the situation. Is it's not. It's not about the message. It's about. Uh, it's about having the right percentages in the right places. <laughs> if that makes sense to you, yes. Um, you know, we were talking about the system being broken way earlier, about uh, you know the royalty parties and the red versus blue and. Uh, the voter system has gotten to a point where people are voting for the team they're most likely to win versus who they want to really win. Um, do you feel there's some credence to that theory that um, that our society shifted to the point that they've just become a gambling degenerate that they're just going to vote for like they're picking their pony in the race? I or, do you think think or do you think people still care? I think that's what it's always been. I think it's always been about tribal politics. People have just been a lot less willing to admit that before this election, right? Yeah. I, I, I think human beings in general, you know, at our base nature are tribal. Like we, we're, not, we're not creatures of principle and logic. We're not creatures of emotion. We're creatures of tribe. We separate yeah. ourselves into groups 
and base our loyalties based on whatever group we happen to find ourselves in. And it's the same dynamic for politics. You got right. red team and blue team and you got yellow team and you got these these little greenies over here that even us libertarians get to laugh at. Right. right? But it, it's, it's always been tribal, but we've always pretended otherwise. We've always pretended that it was about policy. It was about principle. It was about morals and characters. And Donald Trump just flipped that table over and said, fuck it. It's about tribe. You're on my tribe or you're not on my tribe. And that's what this election it was. Has come down it's to. smart. It's smart. It's not moral if you're looking at it from that perspective. But if you're looking at it from a strictly, I want to win an election, it was smart. It's us versus them. Do you want to, you know, fear, fear sells, man. That's why, like, the, the, uh, the libertarian candidate was legitimate this year. You know, they had, they had good talking points. They definitely had the most reasonable person in the room. It wasn't Gary Johnson where we had a fucking goofball running. Um, and they had, Joe Jorgensen had good momentum going, you know, early on. And it was just a fear of we can't let the other guy win kind of took over. Yeah, you, you can't, you, the Libertarian Party doesn't have a big enough tribe. That's what it is. There's not right. enough people in the Libertarian tribe. The Red Tribe and the Blue Tribe are the only ones that have any sort of power. And you, you, if you're in one of these tribes, the thought of the other side gaining power over you is, is absolutely frightening. It's horrific. And that's right? – that's, there's, there's, I, I, I was reading a book about uh, about the fall of the ah! Roman Whoa, what, what, what? I mean, I, I, do we not like books on this podcast? I, I don't know what no, we're doing here. I, I just, I just went full Alex Jones for you. Okay, yeah. Uh, but I, I was reading a book about the fall of the Roman Republic, and I can't remember the exact quote or who it was attributed to, but it was something about the Republic falls when the when you can't when neither side can afford to lose, when neither side can accept losing. That's when republicanism and democracy fails because once right. you no longer believe losing is an option then when you do lose the only recourse you have is physical force and when you're relying on physical force to establish legitimacy as opposed to a democratic process then you end up breaking the republic forever and i i think that that might be the direction we're heading right now especially if donald trump gets to gets to uh pull out a victory in this race, which is looking more and more like he it's might really, do. it's really I, looking I yeah. like it's a Trump, it's a Trump night. Oh my I gosh. Don't, I don't yeah. think Democrats can accept losing. I don't, I don't. I think do Joe Biden already said there are, there is zero, there are zero circumstances tonight where he will accept the results of the election. All and the isn't concern that, about Trump not accepting the results of the election. Joe Biden's campaign manager came out and said it, and it was just a blip on the radar. It wasn't a big deal. And is, isn't that ironic, right, that, that after all this time talking about whether or not Donald Trump would accept the results of the election, it's Joe Biden and the Democrats who we already know are not going to accept it. Even if it's established that he won legitimately fair and square, they didn't accept the results of the last election. But at least then they had the outlet of, oh, we'll get him in four years. If this happens, what are they going to do? Well, they Dude, won't have you, to worry about getting him in four years. Then we know that. Could you could you imagine if Trump came out and was like, I, I won't accept the results no matter what Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe does. Right. You know, oh, on Tuesday, I'm not going to accept the results. Dude, there would have been riots in the street. There's going to be riots in the I'm streets at, regardless, dude. There's, there's going to be riots. Absolutely. I mean, people people in Florida are apparently like like look up Twitter. Apparently, people in Florida are complaining about white Hispanics because that's the demographic that that went for Trump in this election. What white is a white Hispanic? What, what is a white Hispanic, Nathan? Besides you and my girlfriend, I don't know what I've I've never met one. Like a white. Uh, see, here's the thing about Hispanics. It's Hispanic isn't really a race so much as it is a culture. Right, because because Hispanics are mixes of whites, blacks, and Native Americans. Right, it's it's a big old melting pot that got mixed up, and boom, you're Hispanic now. Right, sure. but now, but but it, it's very convenient then, because because on the one hand, you get to define all Hispanics as oppressed, victimized, 
you know, held down and oppressed victims of the state. But on the other hand, you get to be like, oh, well, Hispanics are, they're, they're partly white too. So they're privileged. Ah, oh, evil oppressors, them too. And it all depends on where you fall in the political spectrum. If you're a good progressive, a good Democrat, you vote for Joe Biden and the down ticket Democratic candidates, then you're an oppressed poor minority, blah, blah, blah. But if you're a Hispanic that votes for Trump or a libertarian, you're then a white you're, Hispanic. Yeah. See, then, then you're white, white passing. Then see, you're white passing at that point and, my, and you lose your victimhood status. Isn't, isn't it convenient that you can, that you can gain privilege simply by being of the wrong party? Shit. Most, all, all underprivileged people should just be Republicans and all of a sudden they gain privilege. How about that? Yeah. Jeez, yeah. See, my my girl, my girl's Native American and Mexican, and I told her the other night, I was like, "Babe, you're you're an honorary white. <laughs> you're, you're that's what they call you." Like, yeah. Let me see. Thanks. Yeah. I mean, they they do the Robbie same thing Eddie to black people. They do the same thing to black people. I mean, do you remember Chelsea Handler uh, uh, having to remind Fifty Cent that he's a black person because he came out in support of Trump? Do you remember Joe Biden saying, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black? See, that's the thing about it. She, she, <laughs> she, she was like, oh, I had to remind him that he was black. Like, no, he wasn't black. Joe Biden said so. So what are you reminding right. him of? Fucking Chelsea okay, so Handler. Anyway, guys, I, I got to anyway, guys, I, I gotta get back to, to my podcast right now. It's awesome. All right. Send, all right. Well, if you're going Play back, queen. you got to send Dre back our way. So, all right, we will, we will. But remember, everybody, uh, go subscribe to Think Liberty Podcast right now, where you can see uh, me and my co-host Hobbs doing our Token and Hobbs show. It's fantastic. Check it out. It is a great show. Yeah. Check it out. All right, thanks for having me on, guys. Later, later, Peace Token. Out, we'll see you, brother. Okay. Oh shit, so, Caleb, run it, run it down for us while we wait for Dre to get back. Run it down. All right, do the Senate. Okay. So Chris Janicek, Dre will be right on in a minute here. So Chris Janicek, respect him for coming on. Much mucho appreciado, mi amigo. Um, he's not going to win. Ben Sass won Nebraska. Um, Mississippi, let's call it Republican. North Carolina, fuck, man, that's close. Michigan, I don't want to call either way. Georgia, I don't want to call either way. But I, who's bitch tits? Is that Robbie Eddy? Hey, Robbie Eddy. Oh, look who's back. <laughs> fucked up are you right now? You like my name this time? Sorry. Oh shit! How fucked up are you, man? On a scale of one to ten? Yes. Yeah. Kamala Harris. What does that even mean? <laughs> that means he's pretty fucked up, man. <laughs> I would like to ask. What, what, Scott, can we can we put a poll on this? Can we do a poll in the in the comments? I don't know how to do a I don't know how to do a poll, man. What are I'd, you talking about? I'd like I'd like to ask the audience uh, if they like the new and improved Zach. <laughs> they hey. like the upgrade. No uh, kill. I'm sorry. Post no in the kill, comments. No, fo no sorry, foot fetish. Senator candidate, <laughs> and I just totally came in and was like, whatever, fuck it. Da -da -da. So sorry. What yeah. are you talking about? You didn't even know. He didn't even know. I love it. I love it. Bravi Eddie. Yeah. Fuck, give me two oh seconds. Oh, my God. The, One of the funniest dudes okay. I know. So we've, got, we've got 44 42. I'm Let's sorry. call Mississippi Republican. Let's call the first Georgia seat Republican. You got 46 42. Let's we'll call Arizona Democrat 46 43. Um, Minnesota, we're going to call Democrat 46-44. Iowa, I'm not touching with a 99-foot pole. That is within 6,000 votes. Um, wow, yeah. North Carolina, I'm not touching. The other Georgia race, I'm not touching, although I would, if you put a gun to my head, I'd say Democrat. Um, Montana, I'm not touching. Maine, I still think we can call Susan Collins, although that is only at 10 instead of 14 where it was at. And by the way, Trump is now leading at, in Iowa for president. So. I think I think uh, America has been made great again. I think Trump is winning again. You I think, think Trump's Trump? going to win again. I think he will. Bravietti. Zach yeah. Bravietti, I got a question for you. I got an answer for you. Are you fucking wearing a man bun right now? He, dude, that's his new style. A what? A man bun? Yes, sir. 
Are you really? Mm -hmm. When did you become man bun guy? When I was too lazy to cut my hair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I didn't so, know people still did that. I didn't know people still did man buns. No, they don't. I just uh, didn't want to get a hair. Oh, okay. It's like when I had a mullet 10 years after mullets were cool. Yeah, see? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> hey, boys. You know how, like, college uh, football players pick the hat for the college they want to go to? Yeah. yeah. I'm excited to take my talents to Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> oh, no. You bastard. You, you, you oh, no. No way. Me. Uh, Rob, what are you got a mega hat? Well, actually... <laughs> No way! Colorado, here, here's look, the official <laughs> numbers. Col Hold on, Colorado, listen to this. So in Colorado, at 56.5%, we've got Joe Biden. 41.2%, this is just the state of Colorado. 41.2%, Donald Trump. 1.4, Joe Jorgensen. Uh, 0.2, Howie Hawkins. And right below him. 5,564 votes in the state of Colorado. It's Kanye! Kanye. Motherfucking Kanye West. Back, please, because that's kind of impressive. You have to go state by state. Last time I saw, he had 10,000 votes in Tennessee. Pretty impressive. Uh, let, me go to the, let me go to the popular vote for Kanye. Let's see here. So popular vote. If you're looking at popular vote, Donald Trump has the ever most likely in the popular vote. Um, by literally 0.1%. Um, Joe Biden at 49.1, Trump at 49.2. Um, Joe Jorgensen, 1.2. Howie Hawkins, 0.3. And then it just says other candidates. I'm sorry, Zach. They don't even list Kanye. If you go state by state, you can see Bad. it. How's he doing? You said he's doing good in Tennessee. He had 10,000 votes in Tennessee last time I checked. He does. Wow. Howie What's Hawkins. Where's he? Excuse me. Nice Where's he? Dude, Kanye's beating Howie Hawkins in Tennessee. He doubled oh, his nice. vote total. Oh, the Green yeah. Party candidate. Kanye, Green baby. That's why. Awesome. He doubled the Green Party candidate votes in Tennessee. We got Dre back. Any Dre. Any party. Uh, Elizabeth Warren is a serious candidate is a joke. Yeah. The Democrats then? No, Green Party, because last time she was their candidate. No, no, Jill Stein, was Stein, bro. Oh, the fuck. microwaves Same frying your brain. Remember Jill Stein? Or Same. sorry, the internet is frying your brain. Oh, yeah. No, he's just had a much Dre, to drink. That's the Dre, problem. Dre left us. Dre left us and went right. to another podcast for a little bit. Oh, uh, hey, I to show you How something. was it? What? It you was were... amazing. I had such a fun time. So, hey, uh, we're a good I, group over there. Quick, Great. quick update, and it might be important. Iowa Joni Ernst just took the lead, Dre. and it's trending her way. So, uh, Dre, yes, you know how uh, when football players pick their team for college, they put the hat on of the school they're going to go to. Jesus Christ! Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I have I'm so many questions that win right now. Where's your hat, Dre? Dre? Where's your hat, Dre? Oh, let me go get it. Let me All go. Right. Here's my hat. Dre, Here, I got Dre's my hat, hat on. Cooler. My hat says uh, sober he, except he, weed. He That's wearing what my hat, hat says. He wants to cancel me later in life. Oh, I'm going to go get my go hat, down. too. You, will never, you thought you were banned from the back line now. Speaking of the back line, should we check out? Yeah. <laughs> no, no This comment. is my hat. This is my hat I wear out when I don't wear a fucking mask. And I'm strapped. Dre, how drunk are you right now? Uh, I should have got my Kanye 20. Four beers. I'm going to buy that Dude, right I, now. I, this, is, this is my seventh beer that I'm on right now. I got my hat too. I just messaged Pavelka to see if he wanted to come on. Zach, text Pavelka. Tell him to check his Facebook messages. All right. I'm going to hang up and buy myself a Kanye 2020 vision hat real quick. Oh, okay. But but text Pavelka and tell him to check his okay, Facebook messages. Okay. FYI, I thought you cut your hair this short and did not put it in oh, no, a he bun. Just me. I, I'm, He's I messaging am, me right now. I am disappointed. 
disappointed. It's just like my parents. It's okay. All right. Oh, Love he's you. a storm seller. He can't come on. Be back. Caleb, who All right, are you Bravietti, talking about? Let's see you. Bravietti, peace out, homie. Caleb, who are you Not talking me. about? Having one? Pavelka. Uh, Pavelka, he's just a storm seller right now. We had Kent on. Long Polish last name. Oh, right. <laughs> Very different people. Wrong Polish. Derek. Though. You're talking about Derek. Pavelka, yeah. yeah. Derek Pavelka. Okay, so let me go over the map real quick. We'll just do a quick update. Um, There's a lot of red on this map. Damn, dude. A lot of red. Dude, rest oh, fuck, my God. Man. Color me shocked. So let's see here. Like, like this is redder than Hunter Biden's girlfriend type shit. Okay, so. Or than his pointy little peeper. That Trump was a took the lead. Video. Trump, Trump, I didn't watch it. I have no desire to see that. Um, <laughs> Trump took the lead in Iowa. So we got 2% and it's growing. Wisconsin has been about 5% for Donald Trump stagnant. 11% in Michigan. That's been steady. 8% in Ohio. He was up 10. Um, he's up 8 now, but there's 94% reporting. So I don't know how much more ground there is to gain for Biden there. You got 14% in Pennsylvania, but fuck, you're only at 51%. Trump's up two, just over, just under two in North Carolina with 94% reporting. He's up 10 in Georgia with 70%. I think you can call Georgia. 98% in Florida, he's up by four. I won't call it because it's Florida and it's weird. Um, he's up five in Texas with 76%. I think you can call that. Nevada, no results yet. Joe Biden up by eight in uh, Arizona. I put 73%. I, I don't want to call it because that's another weird state. I don't know if you can call it. All right. Yet. Hold on. Um, New Hampshire, Which you can one? call for Biden. Which ones are the deciding states? The, that's the thing so that I don't know. Des like. Deciding states. So deciding states are typically, this is a weird year, right? Oh, I'm typically red. deciding states, we've got Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, Ohio. Pennsylvania, just the whole Rust Belt, um, North Carolina, Virginia, New Hampshire, Nebraska's second district, which is basically just the Omaha Papillion area, um, Maine's first district, Florida, New Mexico, Texas, Colorado, and Nevada. Um, of those states, Colorado and New Mexico are pretty safe, Joe Biden. Um, Texas, I think if you really, really made me pick, I'd say Trump's going to win it. He's going to pull and that Texas? one out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Minnesota, even, yeah. I, 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 I think, yeah. Um, hold up. And you read them off so fast. Hold I think. Yeah. Hold up. Can you hear me? Drew, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, are you yeah. echoing? Am I what? Are you echoing? You are a little bit. Okay, my AirPod just died, so I got to go grab the other one. I'll be right back. Please do. Just talk for a little bit, and I'll I'll go back down the, okay. the breakdown. Where did Scott? So go? yeah, I am old school. I have to write shit down every once in a while. I don't know where Scott went, but take that shit out of your ear, Caleb. It's it. Thank you. Hi. Uh, this is almost worse than the shit bag he was reaching his big pie into pre show. <laughs> Oh my god! For those of you that don't know, I have misophonia, so like weird noises right, back. make me crazy, and I want to violate the map. I'm back. Much better. We talking you. about we talking about our disorders? Yep. My misophonia was um, kicking. I was telling them how my misophonia was kicking in when you're sticking your big paw into the bag, crinkling it right next to the microphone pre-show. <laughs> yeah. So like. I mean, I'm running on AirPods here. I charge them all day, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so anyway, so the states that typically decide it, New Mexico and Colorado, you can call pretty. Okay, I thought it was a much shorter list than this. Honestly, like you read no. off half the states. So New Mexico, <laughs> no, I did not. New Mexico, Colorado, New Hampshire, you can call for Biden. I think, I think that, and Virginia, that's a done deal. Um, well, fuck, dude. Trump's still up in Virginia, but the way that's trending, I still think uh, Biden's gonna fuck gonna win. Fuck, I lost um, track. 
So Georgia, I think from Florida, At this point, I think Trump. I really just want to know Trump when you guys Trump. think that it will be actually called. When uh, we can expect an actual try verdict. Next Christmas. Scott, you're on mute. I want to. I want to turn on CNN and see if they're melting down right now, though. Please do. Yes, I let me know. But well, Scott, I'm you're on. A, mute. Yeah, so they're not gonna. They're not gonna call it until they get uh, 270 electoral votes. That is, right. what, Would it be like in the next couple of days or week or what? Uh, so typically it would be probably by the morning. Okay. So, so like, I'm just like expecting the worst. So they're, like, so, yeah, so they're, me they're, they, I am watching, I just turned on to CNN right now and oh my God, the looks on their face. They look like 11 year old Caleb Salvatore when the Patriots were undefeated and losing to the Giants <laughs> in the Super Bowl. Like, that Is that sad? Yes, very Let's sad. See, okay, yeah. CNN won't they? They won't call Florida for Trump. Come on, they won't call you Idaho me? for Trump. That's delusional. I'm not a Trump supporter. I don't agree with the guy on like ninety percent of the shit he says. Okay, I'll call Florida, fucking Idaho Florida again. his way. Florida, I get. Florida, I get them hanging on to. Dude, Florida's 98% reporting with a four-point lead for Trump. I don't, like, unless those other two counties voted exclusively Biden, I don't know how that changes. And those two counties are historically blue, though. Are they? Those counties, yeah, those counties are historically blue. How big can they be, their two counties, in a state? A giant, a big state. All right, it just updated from Trump went up a percent, so a tenth of a percent. I want to go to see the gambling odds right now. Hold on. All right, you do that. Let's go to Bavada. Please, let, let us what know. Is, what, okay. what is the gambling website for politics? You know, um, not, dude, not you sponsored by. Will. Not sponsored by. Yeah. Bet online real quick. It is on money. Yeah. Uh-huh. Bet online. I'm going to click live betting here. I don't gamble. I'm not a degenerate. Gambling is about to be legal in Nebraska, though, so your boomer relatives Woo! are probably pretty psyched right now. So um, uh, at, at horse dude, tracks, okay. right? Okay, man. Check this out. Check this out. The beginning of the night. So if you don't know gambling terms, minus means they're favored. Plus means they're they're the underdog. Beginning of the night, Joe Biden was minus 200. All right. Right now, Joe Biden's plus 120. You got Trump at minus 140. He has officially moved ahead as the favorite for fucking Vegas. Wow. To win the election. And Dre just smiled. I am um, so shocked. Sure. Look at my shocked face, you guys. No, I mean like. So Google Google that. has Google has Biden at two oh nine right now. Yeah, but that I mean, so if you look at what they got Biden at California, New York, it's New York. I mean, it's yeah. it's and, and you know Trump's got the one eighteen that you'd expect a Republican to win. If he wasn't winning South Carolina, Alabama, Kansas, Oklahoma, that would spell trouble. Um, and he's going to take Florida too. He's going to he's going to take he's going to take Florida. He's going to take Georgia. He's probably going to take Texas. So if he doesn't take Texas, it's over. Biden wins. He has to win Texas. Yeah, he There's has no to win Texas. Texas. I he's think gonna he's going to win Texas. I think he wins Texas because he's only and been Alaska. Alaska. Yeah, he'll win Alaska too. It's so everyone always forgets about Alaska. Alaska is a weird state, man. Their poll their polls close at like five a.m. So yeah, we're not gonna stay on that late. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, five a.m. Right, our time or their time? Our time, yeah. No, they're like four hours behind us. Four so hours. Of, yeah. You can pretty much call Nebraska's races here. Let's see. Um, we're gonna get rid of slavery. Um, we're gonna get rid of uh, predatory lending with uh, like the check cashing centers and stuff. Did cap. you know? putting a cap on them. Yeah. Yeah. Chat, chat. So, dude, I used to work at one um, back in the day. Full disclosure. I worked at a pawn shop that was affiliated with them back when I was in college. Um, dude, we were ca- we were clipping people, and uh, not me. I shouldn't say we. I wasn't associated with this at all. And you know, the people that work, the people that work at the desks, don't. Do their, <laughs> they're they're working for like ten bucks an hour. It's not yep. their fault. They're just they're trying to cashier. Their bills, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, they're a cashier. Um, those companies though, they're. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm my phone's plugged in. Um fucking riots! They're hitting, this is happening in, in Nebraska, they're hitting people at a two hundred and sixty six percent interest rate. Do you know Isn't what the crazy? interest rate on my credit card is? Twenty four. 
And that's right? considered high. That's considered high. Imagine being clipped. So imagine you buy a house for $150,000. You now owe like three hundred and seventy-five grand on it. That's essentially what they're doing. So I voted yep. uh, yes to, to, to lower that to, so I they have to do it with credit cards. What? Caveat, caveat, you have to be really – Never mind. I'm not even going to say so, it. Go on. So here, in my experience, I've seen the only people that can get out of that situation are people that, that do it once. You do it once, once you, you you bite the bullet, you eat fucking ramen noodles for two weeks on your next paycheck. That's it. One and Desperation, done. Desperation. I'm yeah. talking, you're about to be evicted. I would do cash advances on every credit card I had before I went to one of those places. And I'd still yeah. try and see who I could mooch money off or hit the, hit the casino before that. It's that bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. The only other time I've ever seen anyone get out of that is they fall into money. Somebody dies and writes them in in their will. That's the yeah. only time. That's the or they get a new job that pays them better. Or but usually, if you're in a position where you're borrowing from one of those places, you don't have the skills, the experience, or the degree to get a better job. You're not going anywhere. Else. A significant amount more. Exactly. Yeah. You're you know you're working. Uh, and no offense to anyone who does, but you know you're working at the bread yeah. factory. You know. Um, so anyway, so slavery's gone. That's gone. Gambling probably going to pass. It looks like we're going to get casinos here. So your degenerate boomer relatives can uh, rejoice. Good. Yay, people um, watching. Nebraska, uh, Congress races. Okay. Uh, Jeff Fortenberry has extended the lead. We can, I mean, it's probably going to go to him. Uh, Don Bacon and Cara Eastman got close. He was wiping the floor with her. But, uh. It's a little bit closer now. He's only up by four or less than four percent. Um, hey, Dustin Hobbs, our Hold on. homie. Hold on. Let's talk about Tyler Schaefer for a minute. Coming yeah. in at almost, almost three point seven three. Yeah, the dude hasn't done anything other than put his name guy? on the ballot. Nobody knows, dude. All I, all I know is uh, the only entrepreneur I, I Schaefer, and I think of Eastbound and Down with Will Ferrell with Ashley Schaefer yeah. BMW. Woo! He's Trump's now think by, that. by 6% in Texas, not 4 It's like the power vacuum that's created by that one dude that used to run for Congress in District 2 every year. Every four years, he'd fucking run. The I volcano his name. guy? The yeah, volcano I forget. Guy. Yeah, the volcano guy. I forget his name. But uh, remember, he used to run, and then he passed away, and then it created this power vacuum. And then Tyler the Schaefer popped up. The volcano? Yeah, maybe. I hope so. What was that guy's name? I don't remember. So I anybody that remembers that name, post it in the chat because I don't remember. Um, I sh it'll come back to me if I really thought about it hard enough. But um, it was one of those things where, um, and being actively involved with the libertarians as, as I am, like when a candidate just pops up and doesn't involve the the party as a libertarian, it really is just like a big red flag. You know what I mean? A candidate just pops up and they don't communicate the to the party that they're going to run. They don't ask the party for anything. They don't Cause we really could have made a difference for Tyler Schaefer. You know, if anything, we could have been posting for on his behalf, but he didn't approach us about anything. I don't know what he stands for. Right. I know he's an entrepreneur, but that's about it. You know? Right. So um, it's just one of those things where like, if a candidate is going to pop, I mean, thank, Thank you for your service, Tyler. Thank you for putting your name on the ballot. Why don't Thank you, you message sight. him and see if he'll come on the on the show right now? Dre, I, I'm I testing did. you with that. Yeah, okay. I already did. He was working at his bar tonight. He has a, a craft bar in uh, Rockbrook Village that we have done uh, the Thursday thing for. Uh, oh, yeah? Liberty on the Rocks for Liberty on the Rocks. We did it once there. He has a very nice little bar there. But, uh, yeah, I did ask him to come on the show tonight. He had to work, and so he wasn't able to. But uh, I said, you know, we'll happily have you on another time. So so check this out. Um, I was given all that. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. But I've, oh, I've no, no, Nebraska, okay. Nebraska Secretary of State. Um, Trump is, you know, I mean – He's uh district two is down nine percent to Biden. So that's us. We're district two. We're just yeah, we're the competitive district. Um he's down five percent to Biden in district one, which I presume will change. Um 
Let's see here. Oh, CNN's having a meltdown right now. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to give up the presidency. I don't want to. I want to. I want to. I want to watch. I see. I wish I could get Young Turks. <laughs> okay, so Sean Corset says he saw one of our aunts at the casino. Who's aunt? I have Sean like Cowsert? a hundred. Sean Cowsert said that. Yeah. That that's an inside joke to me that I'm not gonna say on Facebook because it's a okay. family thing. That's, it's not uh, it's not too far from the truth from my family either, just for the record, Sean. So thanks for chiming in. Sean's uh, a good guy. Sean, he's been a Could have been any of us really. Could have been any of us really. Sean's been on my podcast a couple times. Um he's been to comedy and chaos shows a few times. Super nice. good guy. Nice. Well, nice, well yeah. Sean, introduce yourself to me the next time you're at a CNC show. I'd love to meet you. I think you got yeah. I think you guys have met actually. Oh, <laughs> nice. Um, but so yeah, so I mean, let me let me pull up the map here. See if anything's really changed. Uh, nothing's really changed, man. It's all dude, fucking crazy right now. Eight eight percent Trump lead with ninety four percent reporting in Ohio. That lead in Pennsylvania keeps getting bigger. I imagine once you get up to that ninetieth percentile, it'll get smaller. But fuck, dude, I don't know if Biden can catch him. Um. North Carolina's still close. Um, how can you catch somebody when you're hiding out in your Okay, bunker? dude, here's how you know CNN's freaking the fuck out right now. Trump's up by five points in Nevada or in Montana, right? Um, yeah. CNN is on right now talking about one individual county in Montana. I'm pretty sure there were more people that went to my high school than live in this county in Montana. So, like, the <laughs> fact that they're on here talking about that, it shows the desperation. Uh, Biden is winning the popular vote. He did take the lead in that, but as we have learned, that doesn't mean damn. So I feel like a, a CNN reporter that? right now going over these results with you guys. No, we don't even pay attention to the popular vote, right? That's not a thing, right? right. All we care about is the electoral college, because fuck your vote. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> this is good times, you guys. I'm glad. Dude, we this has been this. fun. I can't believe Chris Janice sat <laughs> with us. I'm so mad I missed it. I was trying like to get you left. Out. You left uh, and so Janice came on, and then I was like, "Woo!" I mean, he might have asked you to go skinny dipping with us. Oh God! <laughs> hey, I did not feel sexually harassed balls. by him. My senator has he, balls. He did not sexually harass me. So, for the record, but, so Biden officially took the lead in Virginia now. By the way. Oh really? Oh yeah, shit! Officially, yeah. Nevada though. Oh yeah, there's only like four thousand votes. I'm not even going to talk about Nevada. Um, let me pull back up Senate real quick. See where we are at, and we'll see Nevada's how that overweight sob Cara Eastman's doing. Cara. Um, Cara. Dude, I can't. I can't stand Cara Eastman. Um, Jeez, my sad. kids can't either. My kids can't either, which is funny. And then all, they're going, love, off, all they're going based off of his political ad. You know what I love, though, is that ad. Do you guys have Hulu? Yeah. I'm sure we do, yeah. So Mia and I pass out to um, Law & Order SVU every night. And would by pass out, I mean she watches the full episode, and I start snoring, and she shakes me, and I get mad and go lay on the couch. But so there's always this ad on Hulu um, where there, it's like a Don Bacon attack ad on Cara Eastman, and they're like, Kara Eastman wants to ban meat. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. What? And my kids like meat. So, Kara yeah. Ridiculous. Kara Eastman is like, dude, I hate that bitch's guts. And I know she does not want to ban meat. What are you talking about? It shows, oh. it's, it's like if someone, it's like a, have you seen the campaign with Zach Galifianakis and Will Ferrell? It's like an ad out of that. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did Vermin so Supreme come on? I, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know where or to Dan start. Bearman. I was at no, like oh god. Mark Whitney. So Mark Whitney would come on. Yeah, like it's Get ridiculous. What? Get Mark Whitney on. Let me. I'm trying. Okay. No, I'm just. I'm just giving you ideas, man. I'm sorry. No, I. I wish we would have had Mark Whitney as our our candidate. Honestly, like he was the most fun interview I did in Iowa this oh year. Oh my. god. God, he was on our show. That guy is hilarious. People, yeah. The problem was the boomers in the party go after this dude for using the F word. And it's like, 
Come on, bro. CNN's what, what really calling saying? Montana for Joe Biden. Are you kidding me? Uh, Hold Biden. up, Caleb. What was he? Jackaburger. Jacoburger. That was uh, his blur. Jacober. 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 Yeah, because instead of motherfucker, he said mother Jacober. And I yes. had respect for him. Dude, we so at Brennan Circuses, we somehow luck into like getting people like at their most controversial moments. Like we had Sargon of Akkad. We had John McAfee right after he had a standoff with the uh, some government in the middle of the ocean. Um, and then we had Mark at, right after the Mother Jacober thing. And like we talked about it, like, because I always say, what the fuck is up? People start our podcast off whenever we have a guest. But I said uh, that time, I was like, what the Jacob is up, people? And it was perfect. It played in like phenomenally. And uh, Mark was a super fun interview. We interviewed a couple libertarian candidates. Uh, Mark was a good interview. Do you know who else was a great interview, though? And you're going to hate me. Arvin Bora. Why would I hate that? Arvin, Arvin has a lot of good points. You've got to get through the initial to, bullshit Arvin, and you get to his point exactly and you got one. And we talk Ar to him about it. And, and Arvin and I are natural enemies. <laughs> we're natural enemies. Because you work Why? at a school. It's just science. I'm a teacher. Yeah. <laughs> well, dude, Ar Arvin, he, he even said on our podcast, he's like, yeah, I say provocative shit to get the conversation going. I don't necessarily yeah. believe in things to that yeah. extreme. Yeah. But if I yeah. say something to that extreme, someone will talk to me and I can get a couple good points across their mind that they might change their mind on something else. Sure. So like. I don't necessarily, he wants to be Trump. I don't necessarily agree with it. Oh, they're talking about uh, Gary Johnson right now. Are they really? Yeah. But he's not running this time. Why? Why? Oh, they fi CNN finally called South Carolina for Trump. <laughs> These assholes are the most desperate people. Like, Let's take a let me refresh here. Um, I'm being very fair, I feel, as far as giving these results, as far as who no, I think you are too. Score. I think you're being really unbiased, man. So you're doing a good it's job. Fun. Keep it because work. I don't like either of them. Like right? I said, man, I'll be straightforward. Gun to my head, I'm going to pick Trump over Biden because Trump's not saying he's going to make 20 million Americans felons for owning an inanimate object. Right. Um, but also, I mean, Trump's not going to shut down the economy. Yeah, and that's another thing, man. Is people talk about like. Oh, I'm an essential worker. Like, yeah, bro, you're an essential worker. You're not going to be out of a job now. But wait until the economy starts to tank. And like your job, you'll realize your job relies on other people's money. Yep. You know what I'm I mean? Sorry. If your job feeds you, it's essential. That's exactly yep. it. Yeah. Yep. And I don't even want to say Your like, job pays your bills. It's essential to you. And nobody you know, else like, has the right to say what is essential. I have a Let's friend who just lost, like, I, have, I have a friend who just lost his fucking business, his whole business because of the lockdown. It's gone. He's done. He has to start over. Doesn't know how I'm he's gonna pay sick. his bills. He's done this his whole life. Um, started his own business a couple years ago. Was doing really well. It's fucking gone now. Gone. Had no say in the matter. It didn't fail because he wasn't hustling or didn't make the right business decisions. It's gone. Because some dickhead fucking bureaucrat in Washington, or not even in Lincoln for that matter, decided that we're going to shut that down because it's non-essential. What they essentially did was declare people non-essential. Oh, you don't pay your bills by working at a grocery store or a bank or a government office? Well, you're non-essential now. You're, you, you paying your bills is not essential. We're going to give you 1200 bucks though. So d don't complain. Right? One time. And One you're great. You're gonna, gonna have to and put that my, fucking dude, into I'm the far, billions. I'm, I'm far from a socialist, right? But if the government comes out and says you have to shut your business down, you have no choice, or we're gonna lock you in a cage with rapists, murderers, and drug traffickers, they yep. need to give you more than twelve hundred dollars. That's their choice. It wasn't your if you choose to shut down and you go out of business, that's your choice. If they yep. choose to shut you down. That's their choice, and they have to make it right. You know, if my work were to say you can't go to work because you got hurt on the job, and we gotta, you know, investigate and blah blah blah, they would pay me for it. You got to back up a little bit, though, Caleb. You. you got to back up a little bit, though, Caleb. That is a not their place to say. Not at all. 
No, not that at all. But what I'm saying is if you're going to, you have to make it, it right. It is B, not their place to hand out our money to people that they say are not essential or essential. If people are willing and businesses are willing to continue to do business, then they are essential and we do not need government bailouts that right. our kids and our grandkids, no, that, that, our great grandkids are going to foot the fucking bill for. That's what I'm saying. You know, like my friend's business is a tattoo business. Obviously not essential, right? Not, not essential. I, agree. I disagree with that. I disagree I, as well. No, no, what I'm saying is not, not essential to the function of the economy. Essential to him putting food on his table and paying his fucking bills, though. And the government Which is essential to the economy. It. It's essential, exactly. It's a, 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 and the long, people, people can only think one step ahead, though. Because if right. you shut down everyone who's non-essential, well, they got to have money to go buy food. They got to have money to go do this and that. And they can't do that now. And it's a chain effect. That's somebody has to pay those essential workers, right? And the, they do that by the revenue that comes in from the non-essential um, workers. Derek, Derek Pavelka is watching our live stream and wants us to send him a question. Send him um, a question? Send him a question? Tell him just to come on. He's, he's, a, he's a Tell seller him. right now. Oh, he's a seller right now. He's uh, doing Derek, oh, Derek, over my comedy. Who you, Derek, who do you think is going to win the presidential election? Who's going to win the election, Pavelka? Who's going to win? So, uh, viewers that don't know, Derek Pavelka is a local comedian who... Phenomenal who comedian. In don't a, undersell a, him. Don't under, If anyone in our little brat pack of comics is going to get famous, it's going to be Derek. I have too much... I, I'm too niche. I, I Derek, would be fine making Derek 100 grand a year doing his, comedy. I'm sorry. I have, to, I have to say this. Derek looks down his nose at me because I don't carry designer purses. He carries designer... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Type that in the costs comments, hundreds Derek. and hundreds of dollars. I, I don't prescribe to that. <laughs> so what does he say, Caleb? I don't know. I just I just I am him. I was supposed to comment it though. Um but anyway, back back to what I was talking about. Is is anything is you're correct. Anything that puts food on your table, pays your bills is essential. It's not the government's uh responsibility to deem that. To deem what's essential to you. Um, anyone that's, and people don't realize, yes, you're essential for now until the economy tanks. You know, the government only has so much of our money they can artificially pump into the economy. Eventually, nope. it's going to dry up. We can't keep shutting it down. And I'm going to get off track here. I know I've got, I'm going on a, a little bit of a tangent here. Oh, the vaccine, fine. the vaccine for COVID is indifference. It's not going anywhere. The United States is massive. You guys going to take it? What's that? If it comes out anytime soon, you guys going to take the COVID no, vaccine? No, absolutely, absolutely not. I'm not taking something That's a that was not shot, into a couple, shot into a couple rabbits' asses and said, oh, okay, nope. we're good, and then forced out. I don't want cancer. Nope. It already runs in my you family. Sure what, what's his face? What uh, Windows guy? What's his face? What's his name? Gates? Tell me. Tell me. Bill yeah. Gates. Bill Gates. They're doing oh, the- uh, they're doing the trials right now, and eighty percent of people that are taking it are dying. Yeah, and you got that on the. You got that, that, that on, on Joe oh. Rogan and Alex Jones. That's to be expected. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want adult onset autism. You know what or I mean? Like, I, you know, I don't want. I don't want dying. that. I don't want to fucking turn into Rain Man all of a sudden because they gave me a fucking vaccine. You know, yeah, definitely, definitely like driving in the driveway. Definitely you know, what I mean? definitely, 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 uh, yeah, drive in the driveway. Yeah, but, no, so no, thanks. So what I'm saying, honestly, though, is the, the vaccine to COVID is indifference. People have to stop caring. We're no longer fighting COVID. We never had a chance to fight COVID for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's the United fucking States, cold. The United States is not New Zealand. It's not Taiwan. New Zealand's a fucking island with the population of Iowa. There is no comparing it to the United States, right? Nope. The United no. States is not New Zealand. We we never had a chance to beat COVID for that reason and the fact that this country is founded on telling authority figures, eat a dick, right? To fuck themselves. The Revolutionary War 
um, any great moment in American history, women's suffrage, the African-American civil rights movement, gay rights, all of those things involve telling a figure and authority to go fuck themselves. They're not going to listen now because they didn't listen then. We never had a chance to eradicate COVID in this country. It wasn't going to happen. We're too big. We're too uh, anti-authoritarian here. It also wasn't going to happen. We're going to have to win it. Well, so for some people, it sucks, right? I'm not going to get, I'm not, you know, there's, there's some people, people that are who have underlying it, it, it health conditions. Yes. And it sucks Just that like they die. Just like any other cold or flu virus would be detrimental to but, people with so underlying health conditions. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Let's play hypotheticals for a second, right? About, about how this election is going. So if, imagine if Donald Trump came out and was from day one in this COVID thing, and they already called him a xenophobe for closing the, the flights to China. Trump, or Biden said that from the get-go. Wow, what's your imagine, face was in Chinatown going, um, yeah! Um, what market? If, Woo! Imagine if Trump right? came out day one, we're locking down every border. Only U.S. citizens can come back to the country and when they get here, they quarantine for two weeks. Everyone else, you don't leave your house for two weeks unless you're going to the grocery store. If you go to the grocery store, the gas station, you're wearing a mask. You have no choice. You don't wear a mask. You go anywhere else. You're arrested, like the Democrats are calling for now. If Donald Trump would have said that, they would have compared him to Hitler, and they would have had a case for it. I would have agreed Thank with you. them. It's partisan. The fact that tr- these people waited, and in fact, they started for a little bit. At first, they were calling Trump a fascist, and they were calling Republicans a fascist, fascist for how they were handling it. it. They waited, though. To take a hardline stance until they saw what Trump did. It's so partisan. It's so disgusting. They sat there and they waited. They're like, well, we'll see how Trump comes down on this. And we're just going to land the opposite. And we're going to use that against him. It's totally political. It's it's ridiculous. It's they, been they used out, a, tool, a political they, tool. They, they, they were waiting. How tr- no matter how. What it was Trump, from the get go. No matter what Trump did. They were going to come out on the other end of it. That's all there was. To, and now I'm looking at uh, CNN. They're totally biased map. So anything that Biden has a slight lead in, they've got blue. And anything that Trump has a slight lead in is at large. That's hilarious to me. Really? Anyway, yeah. See, I'm watching CNN now. I, I was watching Fox because I thought they would be the most unbiased opinions. Because, right? you know, they, they typic- Fox typically leans to the left or excuse me, to the right, but Trump has told them to go fuck themselves. So I'm like, anything that's going to be straight down the line is going to be Fox. Um, but we've been pretty straight down the line. If you want straight down the line coverage, it's not biased. It's us, man. I'm calling shit as I see it here. Trump just orderly, chaos. Time. I am yeah, not paying, I'm watching trends. I'm not paying attention to CNN, to Fox, to none of that anymore. I'm watching it to laugh at it. In fact, let's give an update right the fuck now, guys. Yeah, um, go into that, will you? Yeah, let's do that. Trump six percent in Texas. I've had five beers. I'm loaded. Yeah, six percent in Texas, six percent in Iowa, five percent in Wisconsin. Nothing's really changed, man. Eleven percent in Michigan, eight percent in Ohio. Can we call Michigan? Can we call it? No, we can't call Michigan yet. We're only at fifty-two percent. We'll give it a little bit of time. I don't know if we'll be able to call Michigan by the end of the night, honestly. Um. Minnesota is fucking getting close. It's 70%. Biden's only up by 11. This dude is up by 17%, 5% reporting ago. We can't call it. Let's look at Nebraska District 2. Um, I'm on the Secretary of State's website. Nebraska District 2 has gotten uh, a little bit further, actually. Biden's on a one-point lead. 11-point lead in D2 over, over wow. Trump. He was at 9. Uh, District 1, he's only at 1%. We're going to probably guess that Trump pulls out Nebraska District 1. District 2, I think, is going blue this year, but I don't think it's going to fucking matter. Um, Oh, CNN just called Ohio for Trump. Holy shit. Oh, shit. shit. That's big. Woo! They just called Ohio for Trump. CNN. So that's late. Wow. Yeah, that that's is late, that's dude. Nope. That's so admitting the thing, defeat. Man. 2020 is a weird Woo. year. 2020 is a weird year. But no president in, in modern American history has ever won an election without carrying Ohio. Take that as you will. It's 2020. It's fucking bizarre. We don't oh, know yeah, how anything's going to go. 
but CNN just gave Ohio to Trump. Holy wow. shit. I'm, holy fuck. This is like, dude, I'm so glad I'm drunk right now because this whole thing is bizarre. It's great. It's fucking 2020, bitches. <laughs> you guys remember Derek, the get murder in there, ask a question. Remember the murder hornets? Murder. Oh, look, we, got, we got guests popping in left and right. We got Ben. Ben Back is oh. coming in. Yeah, Ben. Oh, yeah. What about what you about guys still going over here? Too. Yeah, we're still fucking hey, rocking. Uh, awesome. every, everybody else went to bed over there. Yeah, oh, no, wow. we're still partying over here. Drunk and disorderly, baby. That's what's up. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm on my way to the drunk part. All right, you, you, oh, well, you know you're in a I'm different okay. time zone. You're in a different time zone, so you got an excuse. So. I got a bonus. <laughs> I dressed up for this. Look, I even got a, I even got a bow tie under here. Yeah, you do. Look at that. You can't tell by the beard, but. What, ben, what you haven't you seen saying? me. You haven't seen me since I grew up with my beard, have you, man? That's, Check that's this not bad, out. man. Yeah, thanks. How long has that been uh, going? Uh, since quarantine, uh, like two days into quarantine. Here, March 13th, we went on <laughs> lockdown, and the two days in, my trimmer died, and I was like, I got to order a new one, and my wife was like, why? <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, I was like, okay, and I haven't touched it since, and we've just been going, so. Looks like, you've been trimming it, though? So, can't. Well, yeah, I, I take the scissors to it, and I let trim it, go, it up. Let it go, man, like, let it go. Yeah, just let it go. Yeah, and you get the mustache, too. Well, yeah, I don't know they're about right. that. They're they're a pain, but yeah, they are a pain in the ass, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, the street cred. Because <laughs> we the street cred. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So, how's it been going, Ben? How's your night? But you've been running a podcast all night. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Gene popped over. We had some other guests from from previous shows over. Good time. Nice. We had Chris Janicek on tonight. That was a good time. No shit. Yeah, it was good times. It was it was fun. So uh, Gene left and Chris Janicek popped on. As soon as as soon as Gene left, Chris, Chris popped on. So he was like, "All right, that guy's out of here. I can jump on now." You didn't so. want him in the same room or what? No, I did not want them in the same room. That would have been a problem. So <laughs> How what, was what he? did he have to say? He was good. You know, it was good to talk to him. I uh, I did the honorable thing and I thanked his campaign staff for the hard work that they do because I understand how hard that is to, to work on a campaign like that. Um, and I mean, he pulled a uh, hundred thousand some odd votes, um, even though he had kind of a hard time <laughs> running, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but then you look at like, even in Mark Elworth is pulling votes. So, um, yeah, I, I said in our podcast, you know, Mark Elworth getting that many votes for a Democrat just shows how broke everything is. It's just broken. Right, it's just yeah. a broken system. What reason did all those people have to vote for him as a Democrat? I don't. None, zero, <laughs> zero. Didn't match reason. any other platform? No, none of them, and not from lack of trying either. They really tried to get him off the ballot, didn't they? Well, and we we talked about that a little bit. You know, we we never mistreated Mark when he was with us, but the nope. Democrats they did him dirty. They they totally did him dirty. At least we, you know what I mean, like. You know, one of the things about Mark was like, thank, thank goodness he was in a position to run. You know what I mean? Like at some point in time, it was nice that he ran for offices. And my experience with Mark was that he was very coachable. He was very coachable, and uh, he was a he was a pleasure to work with when I was the lieutenant candidate and he was the governor candidate. He was really pleasurable to work with. And, and you we, know, I we, never, yeah, we made a good team. I never yeah. had. He was, he, he was energetic. He tried hard. Who are you guys I'm, talking about? Mark, Mark Elworth. Elworth. Uh, Mark Elworth. <laughs> <laughs> so Mark, Mark's got you. To, sorry, I was taking a piss. Damn it! I've heard a lot, a lot, a lot of things about this to, gentleman. To about how Mark got so many votes as a Democrat, where he was. He has the advantage of name recognition, considering he's run for office about thirty-seven hundred times <laughs> in the state. So. <laughs> And Iowa. <laughs> has anyone, and has, Iowa anyone messaged, has anyone messaged Mark? Does he want to come on? You want me uh, to? He, Scott Dre. Hobbs, no. Hobbs had a good chat with Mark today. Apparently, he's moving to Colorado, which suits yeah. him just right. Perfect. Um, hit he, Mark had, up. Say, hey, nothing, man, do you want to come on? He had nothing but good things to, to say about Mark. 
I think Mark unfriended me when he got mad at me a while ago. Weird. On I, think, on. I think he smokes too much weed and gets some issues going on. Yeah. Mark smokes too I, much I, weed. I, I'm a I'm a proponent as mar of marijuana <laughs> as a uh, healing agent, but Mark smokes too Hold much on. weed. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What's this? What's this too much weed we speak of? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. So okay, let me let me break it let me break it down for you because I've had I mean I grew up in the I'm a millennial. Um, All right. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up. I'm a Gen Xer. I was Please never a... educate me. I, I, I beat you all. A... I grew up in South Omaha. <laughs> I was never so I was never a stoner, but I smoked a lot of weed growing up. But so in my opinion, and my friends did too. So my in my opinion. Smoking too much weed um, can really be defined as a quote from one of my high school friends um, after high school, after he graduated, which was, uh, yeah, I'm looking for a job, but it's so hard to find one that doesn't drug test. You can't keep, keep your, clean, <laughs> your piss clean for 30 days to make 10000 more dollars a year. Are you kidding me? You could buy so much weed, but you don't get randomly tested nothing. You just got to pass one test, stop smoking for one 30 day period, and you can have as much $10,000 more in weed a year that you want, but you can't do it. <laughs> That's a too much weed quote for me. I love you, Logan. You're still a good friend of mine. <laughs> You're such a dick. Oh, the call out. Do that. Oh, oh, Logan, shout out. Logan's doing well. No, I, I, grew up, uh, I grew up in South O and. My best friend was a dealer, and uh, we, you know, smoked a lot of weed, and he he had issues. My best friend in high school was a meth addict. He he turned into oh. a meth addict. He beat it for about four years, but eventually uh, he he got back in. Unfortunately, he got back into the meth uh, world, and uh, event and he was uh, put down by a, a sheriff and. Uh, Kansas, that's and, and uh, you know it. It, it was. I, I gotta say, going to his funeral was probably one of the saddest things uh, I, I experienced in a while. So uh, you know, we kid around with the drug stuff, and I know guys are kind of hooked on it. I, I get it. I, I had friends on it, but you know, in the end, uh, making it illegal. Or it, it's not the answer. I mean, my friend who got, was put down by a sheriff, he was probably one of the most peaceful guys I know. He 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 didn't want to hurt anybody. He just he just had an addiction, and so sure. you know, it it it. I I uh, more so than ever uh, am so anti drug war because of that experience that it, it, I, I can't uh, it, it's such a wasteful endeavor for the government it to is. go after these guys he, so, he just had I, an, uh, I grew up with he just had uh, an addiction problem it, it wasn't anything other than he was addicted on meth and he was put down by a sheriff and he grew up in a middle class family uh the parents were top-notch folks and he just got got caught up into it nothing he he was not a violent person so do so, you know gene what the circumstances were between him getting shot by a sheriff yeah i i'd love to know that was he robbing someone you know that's a no uh <laughs> he was he was uh, he for about three or four years. He was part of a. He was clean, and he was part of a program in California that. Uh, he actually was a volunteer for. No, he but got out of the, He was. Uh, um, you know, honestly, I don't know. That's the problem. I don't know the details. He mm -hmm. was. Um, he got he got met uh, involved with a woman who, and I I don't mean to be 
be sexist, but somehow got involved with a woman who and in, in, in that the feminism in, free zone gene. Go for it. <laughs> in, in that relationship, he got back uh, in, on onto the meth uh, uh, problem, and I think at some point she uh, put a uh, what what you know a restraining order on him. He was down at a storage facility. I, to this day, I don't. Even his family doesn't know what happened. He had a storage unit. Uh, someone called him in. The cops. He was confronted by the sheriff, and they put him down. There was wow, no body Christ. camera. Well, There's dude, no body camera. Of course. You no, know, he's a white middle class dude. No one's gonna care about him. So, uh, uh, you know. I'm not an emotional dude, but at his funeral, I, you know, it was hard to, it was hard to be there. I have to admit it was hard to, cause we, we spent a lot of, you know, he was my best friend in high school. We lost touch in, in, uh, you know, he went down to New Mexico for a while. You know, his family's from New Mexico. You know, I stayed in Omaha. We lost touch. Uh, but you know, in the end, he, somewhere in Kansas, uh, some sheriff put him down and that was it. That's fucked up, and, man. And, and to this day, well, nobody really knows what. Chances, so we don't know if it's fucked up. No, it could no have been really, like guy the other day attacking cops with a knife who people are, you know, rioting over. That, well, really, that's fuck, that's yeah. fucked up to me, man. Dude, like, so, like with the protest. Oh, he usually now. drops it. So the cops are supposed to know that? Oh. Right. <laughs> you know, you know, Dre, honestly, if I, I don't know. If, coming at me with a knife, I, I wouldn't go to jail, you know? You, you know, honestly, Dre. You know, he maybe did something like that, but I I know the guy. He was, you know, he was the guy when we got, you know, we would run around together, and if we got tangled up, we would run. We wouldn't fight. He wasn't a fighter. I mean, he was, honestly, he was a woman's guy. He he, he had so many girlfriends in high school and college. I, man. He was a ladies' man. He, he was a lover, not a fighter. Uh so if he attacked a, a sheriff, I would be kind of surprised by that. But frankly, there's no body cams. There's no cam. There's no cameras anywhere. So, yeah. As as and someone he was just put down. Of, I mean, I, as as someone who's the child of an addict, I think the the issue that gets overlooked here a lot of the time is uh, you take these people. Like, why do people turn to hard drugs? Usually, because they're in low places in life and they're desperate. You take them and you you stick them in a rape cage for you know one two three four five years for doing these drugs, um, and then when they get out, it's in, like you know you can put them in these rehabilitation programs. But we talked about it earlier in the in the live stream. I'm in a position where I hire and fire people. Um, if if I see a meth charge, I'm personally going to be biased against you immediately. If I see that yep. you've done time for meth. And every other, and I'm someone that's that's why. Why is that? On that? Given how I grew up, just because I know that it's inherent. I know the nature of somebody who does meth. Um, and I honestly think I'm less biased than a lot of people, strictly because of how I grew up. My, now my mom wasn't on meth or anything like that. Thank God. Um, but if I see a meth a, a meth charge, I'm inherently going to be biased against you just out of instinct. Now I can't imagine someone who isn't as into the situation as I am, who isn't as invested in being anti-drug war as I am, um, as far as, you know, legalizing it all and then the war on drugs. So these people really don't stand a chance when you put them back in the society. They can't get a good job. What are they going to do? They can't get a good job. They can't get a place to live. They can't get back on their feet. What are they going to do? They're going to go back to drugs, the same drugs they were on when they they couldn't get sorry i'm a little drunk right now when they couldn't get back on their feet the first time so it's you, you know, know it, the, it's a cycle we lock he, them in here's a cycle the thing. of addiction you know what i don't understand about my friend caleb is he had a themselves in the cycle of addiction some of them try so very hard to get out and they can't help but get sucked back into it they don't they don't have a choice a lot of the time a lot of sometimes, the time sometimes they don't put those things aside that they use to get ahead when they were hooked on drugs, when they get back into society, when they're clean. Like, sure, I'm absolutely. sorry. I was friends with a person whose parents were millionaires 
and she would continuously say she was not given a fair shot at life. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, you fucking junkie. Uh-huh. Fuck you. You've stolen from your parents. Your parents have put you through $40,000 a month treatment n- numerous times, and you continuously steal from them, and you just go <laughs> back to the same behaviors. I can understand why there is a lack of trust in hiring meth addicts. No, and, and that's exactly it. Because with meth addicts, a lot of the time you have uh, other criminal, other items on their exactly. criminal record, which include it, petty it theft, it violent crimes, theft. stuff like that. And when you're, you're looking at something from a, a corporate perspective and trying to hire someone, it's very hard to, to move it up the chain of command and, and justify hiring someone someone with petty theft on a record. You know what I'm saying? I want to know what the thought process is for getting into meth. I mean, it's not like you think, well, I haven't heard anything bad about meth. Maybe I'll give that a shot. <laughs> no, I mean, man. It's more, like, it's more like, man, if I could only stay awake for three days. Or I think I how think productive I would time, be. I'm in a Dude, party we wanna, like this. We, we want to talk about meth now. Give it 10 years. How many of these kids have we put on opiates? And said, "Oh, you're, you're riddling acting kids. out in school. Yep. The riddling, riddling kids. Here's Adderall. Well, I can understand it's opiates. It's gonna be worse in ten years. The meth oh, problem. Oh, this doctor wrote me a prescription. The, we haven't seen the beginning of it. We haven't even we haven't even even, even touched the the tip of the iceberg yet. We've got all these kids on legal meth right you just, now because they're acting just like wait. kids and talking in school. It's you wait until worse. they fucking wait until they legalize marijuana everywhere. Then they're gonna have to get creative with the meth." They're going to make the meth really good. <laughs> well, they already put yeah, it in man. a fucking house. Think, what are they going to do I next? Would, put it in an energy so, drink? Oh, wait. As, <laughs> oh, wait. As someone, as someone who's grown up in a household with an alcoholic, I would much prefer a stoner any day of the week. I will put it that way. And alcohol is 100% legal here. So it's like, you know. Well, ca- caffeine. Oh, I had to quit caffeine here. due to heart problems. Sure. And that is an incredibly strong drug. I don't oh, think people horrible. realize that. Yeah, Coffee once you quit it, you till you haven't had it. Yeah, once you if I I quit caffeine, I'll still have maybe I'll have a coffee every now and then. It's like I'm on freaking rocket fuel. Sure. Yeah. Um. Wh- once you're broken of it and you get it again, you realize how strong it is. Um. Caffeine's got to be right up there with and the addictive. When I quit it, I quit nicotine. Um. Caffeine was terrible compared to nicotine. Dude, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine giving up caffeine. I gave up nicotine, and that was a hard fucking battle. It was. I can't even imagine giving up caffeine. Oh, it was ridiculous. Okay, so quick, uh, quick update. Um, yeah, Iowa what do you got? Has just, Iowa has just been called for Trump. Uh, Minnesota has just been called for Joe Biden. Um, Arizona, they won't touch. Let me see here. So Iowa for Trump. Arizona, they won't touch. Um, North Carolina and Florida, they won't touch. I mean, it's dude, this is going to come down to the wire. I, I, I still think you give Florida to Trump, Texas to Trump, Georgia to Trump, North Carolina probably going to go to Trump, Pennsylvania. He was right. at four, at fourteen percent when we touched on it about a half hour ago. He's now at fifteen percent. He just keeps expanding his lead. Michigan, he was at ten. Now he's at eleven. Uh, Wisconsin, he's holding pretty steady at five. Like I don't know. Are you saying eleven percent lead in Michigan? Eleven percent. Are you saying eleven percent? Yeah. Yeah. Holy cow! Fifteen so are you, are you calling in Pennsylvania. Trump? I'm not Holy calling cow. Trump yet. That's... I won't call it. Okay. Michigan's fifty-five percent reporting. Um, Pennsylvania got sixty-four percent reporting. Fifteen percent lead for Trump. Like, dude, unless you see a massive swing, I don't know. I don't see Pennsylvania, North Carolina. Georgia, Florida, Texas, I don't see how any of those go to Biden. Arizona, I think it's 75% reporting. Joe Biden has an eight-point lead. I still think I, – I think I'm – Gun to my head, I think Joe Biden wins Arizona. Uh, let me pull up uh, Nebraska because Nebraska does do it by congressional district here. So Nebraska, Trump's pulled ahead by 3% in District 1. He's still down by 11% in District 2. I think Biden's going to take District 2 in Nebraska here. So I, I almost am ready to call that for Biden. That'd be weird. So anyway, anyway, Obama just want to give an update. It. Obama did it. Oh wait, that was the last time. 
So mm-hmm. just wanted to give you guys the update. Anyway, continue on the drugs. I love drugs. Yeah, just uh, one more update. One more update. I'm at 6.37%. I again yeah. my my percentages Dude, keep going should. up. I don't I don't That's I'm, awesome. I'm I don't mad. Get it. You, you're, I mean, well, you're taking away you're taking away yeah. from Chris. I'm mad that you guys were on at different times. I would have loved to you in a room together. All right. Yeah. Okay. That would have been cool. I'm 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 sad I missed Chris Janicek from everything. Speaking of drugs, uh New Jersey just passed recreational. Yeah. Woo! Good shit, New Jersey. New Jersey. Just get back in the recreational. Go ahead, yeah. Jim. Yeah, Ben? No, just Well, uh, okay, you guys know Michael Pickens, like right? Yeah, yeah, we don't know Michael yes. Pickens. Okay, he I'm posted saying. something about Delta 8 THC. Are you guys familiar with this? Yes. No. no. Okay, <laughs> he posted something. I texted him, like, what is this about? He's like, do you have a CBD shop? I'm like, yeah. He's like, go down and see if they have some. I'm like, okay. So I went down to my oh, yeah, CBD yeah. shop, and they're like, I like, do you have any Delta 8 THC? And they had some, so I bought some. That shit hits hard. Have you have you done it, Scott? I haven't, but I've heard about it. I heard it's a legal way to okay. do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going to be illegal, I'm sure, eventually. I, yeah. I live on the border of Colorado, so take that to mean what you will. This got me so lit. <laughs> the Delta 8 THC at CBD shops. It was nuts. Um, you'll piss hot, though, I guess. So Yeah, be totally piss on hot. That. And it's only um, like 5%, right? <laughs> wait, wait, are you uh, no. that or are you saying that? What? God, I think Robbie Eddie wants back in. I said, well, oh, no, I don't want him back in. No, I, I, I've got. Robbie Eddie, I'm talking to Ben for a second. Are you reading that or saying that? that no, I've got some, I've got some vapes, up, I've got some vapes up upstairs. It, 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 gets you, it gets you baked. Really? Yeah. So yeah. if you want, if you want a legal way to enjoy your THC products, go to your CBD shop and ask for Delta Eight THC. Delta, Delta eight. eight. Delta number eight. Zach has gone full mega. Hey, I want to say I'm really impressed with you guys. You've outlasted Joe Rogan's live cast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so question. Did Alex Jones make an appearance on Rogan? I don't believe so, no. Oh, what the Who fuck? has Alex Jones' contact info? Let's get him on here. Scott, figure it out. Figure out <laughs> no, how that's, Dre. that's Dre's department. That's Dre. Dre, Dre, get on InfoWars. Figure out Alex Jones' contact info. Go find Alex drop Jones. In our live stream. We Is Alex Jones that? anywhere tonight? I would be privileged to have Alex Jones on my fucking okay. show. Go go, go on Infowars and see if you can find his contact info and see if he'll right. come on and do it. I'm dead ass serious. I'm so Info serious. War. I want to hang out with Alex Jones. Oh, wait, Dre's like seven beers deep, dude. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, do you want to do it? He's all. He's all. I might be a little drunk, but you might want to come on our show because we're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, dude. One guys, go go ask out. Okay, hey, so come Gene, on. I'm so serious. I vote win you uh, Nebraska or no? No, we didn't win Nebraska. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, my God. I'm getting an error. Oh, but, yeah, they're probably crashed. Oh, but, okay, Robbie, out of your vote, your vote got him to the six point. Uh, where are you at? Joe Gene, B- oh, you dude, at? check this out. See what? CNN, Joe Biden. I'm at six point three. Slowly. Seven. Six point three. But I have breaking news. What's that? Grant County, I'm, I'm blowing ahead in second place. Nice. Twenty five fourteen. <laughs> nice. Joe Joe Biden. Solid second place. In Solid second. coming moments. Joe Biden committed suicide. Caleb, did you just report that? No, Joe Joe Biden to make statement. He has not committed suicide. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't take that out. Don't, don't, don't misunderstand. So like, you heard it first. I you heard it first on Drunken Disorderly Podcast. I did not say he has committed suicide. Let's check in, though. Joe, Joe Biden, Biden didn't right? know if he committed suicide. District 37. So, question for the cunt mentor. Is that a, a, a comedically large hat or a just comedically close to the camera? Both. No, he, He's got a comedically small head. Dude, that, that's gone. So I used to know these guys. 
I used to know these guys that were full on bandwagons, right? Like they were on every bandwagon sports team in the world, right? They were Duke basketball fans, they were Alabama football fans, um, LA Lakers basketball or NBA, um, New York Yankees, New England Patriots, you name it. Every team that was good, they were fans of. I remember them the most outspoken Bernie Sanders supporters. Then going to the most outspoken Hillary Clinton supporters. And the day after the election in 2016, it was MAGA motherfuckers. These guys were the ultimate bandwagon. <laughs> it was the funniest thing in the world to me. See, for me, I'm just wearing it because this is my prediction. I actually voted for Kanye. So. You voted for Kanye. We, yeah. He's proud of that vote. <laughs> I messaged. Uh, I haven't I messaged, seen any Kanye vote totals. I messaged Bill Clinton. We pulled him up, actually. He got, he's uh, doubled Howie Hawkins, Green Party candidate's nice. votes in Tennessee. Um, <laughs> Pulling some votes Colorado. in Colorado. Yeah. yeah. He, uh, no way. We're, I'm trying to, I messaged Bill Clinton to see if he'd come on in. Dre, any Pretty luck with Alex? <laughs> Go, Alex? Alex Jones is actually live right now on his uh, Info Wars. Oh, wow. Dude, okay. we'll merge with him. Alex so he's Jones. busy. Okay. So you got Joni Ernst with a 7% lead with 96% reporting. I think you can call wow. her. Uh, oh, she pulled it off, for, huh? For the Republicans. Steve Daines has taken the lead in Montana. Uh, dude, That I, I called Minnesota for the Democrats in the Senate earlier. It's getting close. Yeah, you did. It's 6% now. Um, I still think Mark, Mark Kelly over McSally. Georgia's being weird right now. It won't update. Um, did you call Democrats Michigan. in Montana, you said? No, I no, no, Minnesota. Minnesota. Minnesota okay. and Arizona. I was going to say, that's a bold Montana's move, Cotton, but it might close. work. Montana's still too close. Uh, the Repub Republicans just took a slight, like, 1% lead. Um, let me check in on Congress in Nebraska. That's another with, with Bacon and fucking Bacon, Eastman. Eastman and Schaefer. Bacon's up by 2% in, in District 2. Holy no, fuck! That no. was close. What's uh? What's the libertarian have there? Priestley. He has got uh two point seven. Dustin Hobbs. All right. Top performing Spoiler. Libertarian. Dustin Hobbs is the top performing libertarian in Congress with three point five nine. Yay! Did we anyone did message not. Elworth? I did. Elworth. Oh, Pop sure. the boogaloo boy. Hey. The boogaloo <laughs> message is resonating. <laughs> Oh, yes. You can have some of my peanut butter whiskey if you want. We'll, we'll be fine. Let me go to Twitter and see what my left leaning <laughs> friends are saying. It's fucking Bravietti at a party. What? I want some peanut butter whiskey. Uh, right now, I'm you, gonna celebrate. You're shit, Bravietti. I'm gonna celebrate being American as fuck with a bush latte. <laughs> bush latte. So. That's funny. Oh, well, I guess you can call a bush a latte when you got a fucking mini man bun D going on. Here, here, go. here you go. DC, DC, Antifa has mobilized in large numbers and marching to an un unknown location toward the White House. Oh, no. Wow. Burn down the American plantation. I bet the White House is sunset. taking in their boots. You see, it was like 91% or 81% dem anyway, so they're protesting in the wrong fucking city. <laughs> right. Yeah, DC DC was about as blue as it gets. Yeah, they always burn down their backyards right. and she'd be burning down suburbs. Jorgensen, uh, yeah, I come to the suburb, bitch. You come on. Yeah. <laughs> you burn down something you actually own. Oh, wait, you don't own anything? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> come to the suburbs. I challenge you. Um, I've got fucking smoke bombs, grenades, artillery. <laughs> grenades, nice. Oh, Jorgensen's yeah. at 2.4% uh, 2, 2. in Nebraska right now, so that's pretty good. Yeah, but we looked at the – they compared the numbers that voted for Jorgensen versus the number of registered libertarians, and it was not good. It's not good okay. at all. So, They've done a so, terrible job of getting the word out that, that so, we even have a candidate. New, I'm New sorry. Times, we had so, a terrible here, campaign staff. Yeah. I'm going to say York, now. Okay, so let me spout off some raw numbers here. New York Times gives Joe Biden a 63% chance of winning Georgia. Um, Georgia really? got 80 83% reporting, Donald Trump 53.1%, and 
So Biden forward no 5.7%. Now, Gage. New York Times also gave Joe Biden a 90% chance of winning the election. So like, oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. The, the New York Times gives Joe Biden a 90% chance of winning. That, that, that doesn't add up at all they for gave, Georgia. No, they, they gave him a 90% chance Not even a little bit. of winning the election. No, Georgia, dude, you're at 83% and, and Trump has an eight-point lead. Yeah, if you do the math on that, that doesn't even work out. Why would they even think that's possible? I can't believe mm. Texas hasn't been called yet. Who yeah, answers Nevada. these things? Who answers these polls, anyways? Not me, dude. I've never, they call never me, once, the shit out of never them. once have I been asked as I'm leaving a poll. I, I may have. If I get a number I don't know, it's like Google screen that shit. Yeah. I, who's who's answering these freaking polls? Obviously, they don't work. I have answered every poll I've been asked about. What? I'm trying. How do you to know it's a? Part. How do you know it's a poll? Huh? How do you know it's a poll and not warranty for your car? <laughs> <laughs> or do you answer every unknown number that comes to your phone? No, 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 no. I do. I typically do not. But every once in a while, like in the last couple months, every once in a while, I'll answer a phone call and it'll be a, a political poll, and I will really? try my opinions if it's less than fifteen mm. motherfucking minutes. <laughs> Dude, so. Oh, wait, hold on. No, they're still saying uh, Pennsylvania is too early to call. Um, Nick, my co-host on Bread and Circuses, my other podcast you guys should check out, um, he got a call from, like, one of those uh, credit card or those, you know, credit card debt consolidation people, <laughs> the scams. And they're like, how much credit card debt do you owe? And he goes, six, he goes 165000 I bought my house with my credit card. <laughs> no <laughs> and way. Like, ah. <laughs> and they were like, payday. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine buying a house on a credit card? Which, I'm sure uh, it's been of, done. Speaking of it, so I was reading an article about people. Um, they use their rewards points because they had like five percent cash back on some credit card, and they'd make their credit card or their house payment on their credit card, and they actually what made the like a couple. Why of didn't G's. I think of that? Right. I thought that's the most mortgage companies have like a, a credit card processing fee, but theirs was like only like 2% and they're getting 5% back. So they're like, fuck it. So that's a 3% huh. interest gain, 3% gain. So they made all their payments on that. And dude, they paid for a whole ass vacation in Mexico on it. I wish I, I had thought, a big brain sometimes. I thought that it was a, a rule that you can't pay one debt with another debt to rack up more debt. It, they figured it out one way. It was like an exception. Like mo more often than not, you couldn't do this. But right. for some reason, they had it figured out. Oh, wait, hold on. Projection coming on on CNN here. Oh, they're giving Biden Minnesota. I called that earlier. We're good. Yeah, that's an easy one. Ooh, yeah. Biden got one state. <laughs> so I think I think we're going to give Iowa to the Republicans. That puts you at 46. Yeah, we are. North Carolina. It looks like Tillis is gaining. So I think you can, like, so, like, here's, like, here's the thing. You give so it's forty six with I with uh, Iowa. You give Michigan, North Carolina, Maine, and Montana. That's fifty fifty in the Senate. You got gridlock. Nothing's gonna change. Yeah, right that now. is tight. I mean, I I think you can call them all. But I, I'm not gonna call them all, but I think like like you know you make me pick. I'm gonna go Maine, North Carolina, Michigan, Iowa, Montana. I'll stay Republican. I think a Biden presidency. You think Montana mean, stays Republican? I think yeah. So they were, um, he was down and he's gained steadily throughout this hmm. entire this entire night. He was down like five or six percent. He's up two now, and he keeps getting. And they just Google just called Jody Ernst safe in Iowa. So there's another one for the Republicans. So you're at yeah, you're at 40, 46, 43 now. Yeah, he's nine nine ahead in Iowa. He's Eight ahead in Montana. Are you talking about Trump? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Montana and Idaho are safe for Trump. Iowa's safe. What's um, up with Maine? Because they split their votes like. They just do. called Florida for Trump. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. So you got Florida called for Trump. I'm going to take Georgia yeah. off and put Florida in. 
Um, I, I still don't see how these people are holding out on Texas. I really don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't um, know what's going on with that either. I mean, he's ahead by how many now? He's, he's ahead by six. He's been ahead the whole night. Um, we'll go back to Nebraska. Oh, my God. What mystery county are they think it's going to have 100% Biden? <laughs> I don't know, man. That, that's my question here. Fucking, it doesn't make probably any sense. Probably Dallas. Fucking Dallas County. Well, Dallas even at this already point, voted. Dallas's results yeah. are already in. That's why Biden was office. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I was trying to make a Dallas's gay <laughs> joke. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> they just called Alaska, or Alaska is probably Trump, they said. But I oh, Alaska, shit. I haven't even looked in. at Alaska. I had Alaska and Hawaii factored in for, for Trump and Biden. Trump's ahead by 50% in Nevada, but you're only at 2% reporting there, so that doesn't even mean shit. Um, Pennsylvania, Trump just extended another percent. Not at 15, now at 16%. So does the Democrat Biden. Party learn a lesson here and not put up shit candidates or right? no. just like dude, no. you put up a war criminal last time. Now you got a dude with dementia. What is what the, wrong you, with you? Can you imagine how different this would be if that was Tulsi Gabbard or uh how different would it be? Oh my gosh. I would have voted for Tulsi Gabbard. I would have voted for Tulsi Gabbard too. Tulsi was the only viable, actual, real candidate that motherfuckers had. I think and I wasted think, her. So why? Why is that? Why is that? Because she how, wasn't how can Biden be actually a legit. She wasn't. So yeah, how can Biden be legit? That's a good question. I'm on the road of America. It shows how tone deaf the DNC is that they've constantly fixed yes. the primaries for these people, right? Well, does this, does this, if they lose this, does this C what is this? CNN just Democrat called Party? Florida for Trump. CNN just mm. called Florida for Trump. Right after Z Track did. <laughs> well, I'm ahead of CNN. <laughs> it's not How can Elworth be a candidate? <laughs> that, um, uh, yeah, Dustin Hobbs major... at 3.6%. They're a major party. They shouldn't have uh, uh, nothing against Mark, but he shouldn't be a candidate for a party with as no, much clout as no. It just Dude, I, think how about Janice it. Like a, how, how many is Janice how, like a candidate? I could look at it right now and find out. I could the answer to this question, but how many uh, Nebraska legislative districts went on a post right now? I haven't even looked at any of those tonight. I know I've got one, two. Three, four, five. Five of the oh. gave up on a post. On a post. And I, I, I know of the Republicans running. Who wants that shit job? It's nobody. Twelve thousand bucks a year for nobody. Okay, nobody so there's two. Here, here's two, the thing. Uh, I, oh, go ahead, Gene. No, no. There's two Douglas County seats unopposed. That that's I, a thirty. Thirty thousand dollar a year uh, gig. I mean, it's unopposed. A hey, county commissioner in Scottsbluff County makes more than a state legislator. Yeah, that that's nuts. So the the, yeah. the, count, the state budget is four billion dollars for crying out loud. They they can't. I and the shitty part is the only way they can increase state legislator wages is through uh, a ballot initiative. What? So you got Fox has so this is super weird, man. Fox is called Georgia for Trump, but like really. Hold on, Joe Biden's speaking right now. One sec. <laughs> is he making any sense? There. It's pretty. It's pretty no, late for all. Joe. Ah, uh, Tel Aviv is in a digga digga tacos. Fucking rad. In by barrel. We believe we're on track to win this election. What Sorry, the hell did he say when he tried to me. say he thing. tried to say healthcare? What, am I what did missing? he say? Dude, he look, his face know. is like breaking out. He looks like a he looks like a fucking like sixteen year old kid with bad. Right, I think Trump was on to something. Now what drugs said, do you think they pumped he into said him? That we we can't call the election tonight. He meth. It. You think they're giving Joe Biden meth? Hundred yeah. percent, dude. He's on Adderall. Yes! How he kept his shit they're during the first debate. Hmm. Meth and Botox. Hey, there's nothing wrong with Botox, mother. (laughs) (laughs) 
the secrets of Dre's immortality comes out. Right, right. Does my forehead move? No, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you look like you're 20, dude. Come on. <laughs> Please. That's funny shit. He said we're this feeling good time. about Wisconsin and Michigan. Dude, you're down by double they digits are. in you Michigan. Bet. You fucking I wouldn't moron. Feel good. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to lose Michigan. I'm calling Michigan. He said, we're going to win Pennsylvania, homie. You're down by 16%. Homie, you're down you lost, by a you lot. Lost your, you lost your hometown of Scranton. <laughs> oh, geez. If you lose your hometown, that's embarrassing. Do you guys think I should run for city council in 21 for Omaha? Yeah. Should I do yeah. it? Do it. I, I would do it just to promote your brand. Yes. Should I totally? Okay, hold on. I'm going to go grab Mia, and if she gives me permission to run, I will declare my candidacy right here on the air. Oh, I love God. it. I love it. Let me go grab her. I love it. You know, I was thinking Here's about dementia, this. Man. He's just going the to ultimate... annoy this poor girl who's Please, trying to go to bed. Is she, is she she's sleeping? She's not going to bed. No, she's not sleeping, dude. She doesn't go to bed till like one of the Dude, morning. fuck these guys. Wake her ass up. <laughs> Get her permission. <laughs> Wake that bitch up. <laughs> we got, we're going to have you on here this. for a second. Just a split second. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm gonna. we're going to do this in a second here. She's finding the other air pod to put it in her ear. All right. All right. Oh my and her god! Her dog's gonna make a cameo. All right. Her dog, the dog that was in Caleb's video about the mask. I just put it on. That dog, that dog was the highlight of that video. Okay. Yeah, totally. That was my favorite totally. fucking part. I watched that video over and over and over, not to see my part in it, not to see Caleb's part or <laughs> yeah. Scott's part, but to see the fucking dog go. Nah, I'm not putting a fucking mask on. The dog hates <laughs> me, man. I am well aware. Oh, it's a hey, chihuahua. Hey, it hates hey, everybody. Hey, <laughs> it is. Hey, 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 she's on. Hey, Mia. She's on. Hey, Mia. Oh, there's the famous dog. Can you hear it? Yeah. There's the dog. Yeah. There's we can the totally hear dog. Okay, dog. so we're, we're talking. Our, our district always goes unopposed for city council, so we're talking about me running in 2021. Do I have your permission to do it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's on, guys. Yeah. It's on. <laughs> and run like Donkey Kong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna humiliate the guy. I'm running. <laughs> Just run the dirtiest, meanest campaign. Oh, I oh God! It's gonna, the, it's gonna be the It's gonna be the dirtiest, memeiest campaign you've ever. Seen. Oh, you said meanest. I he was, he was involved with the Franklin yeah. scandal. I, it's gonna <laughs> be the memeiest. I'm going to publicly accuse my opponent of being a child molester. I love it. <laughs> that's, a, that's what the GOP uses. It works every time. I'm going to be like, so, sir, sir, it's not, it's not a matter of if, but how many children have you fucked? And that's what when I'm going to When did you quit I'm molesting children? <laughs> when, when did you, did you stop, stop molesting, molesting no. children? <laughs> <laughs> that's all we needed. Oh, my God. I needed guys, your permission. I I love it. I Thank love you. it. Uh oh, you you drunk so much you can't feel your face. That's drunk and disorderly, baby. That's not good. No, I've been smiling so much, my face hurts. <laughs> That's a good thing. Uh, yes. Shit. Oh my god, look at her. She is totally tolerating Caleb. This is weird. She must be Ooh, really tired. Kenya? The Chihuahua. Yeah. The the Chihuahua. She she hates your ass. Totally Trump's just about to make you. a statement. We are oh. up big, but they're trying to steal the election. What? Is that <laughs> what Biden just them. said? That's what Trump said. We will never oh, let them do it. But votes cannot be cast after the polls. And he spelled poll, P-O-L-E, are closed. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's at the strip club. He's at the he's strip, at the strip club. club. Is this it's not code. a charity account? Are you sure? No, that's oh, actually freaking Trump. guy. It's actually Trump. Don't you remember Kofefe? <laughs> Kofefe. Kofefe. Whatever. Kofefe. Yeah. <laughs> um, the poll. P O L E. Huh. Like officially Biden, but if you're gonna call these states, like they haven't. Oh, God damn it. 
they haven't called Texas yet. Um, and Texas is for tur- no, it is. Texas is pretty much a slam. Dunk. Well, t- I feel like you're talking to all of us. I'm, she's asking me who's winning. I've already gone over this with well, you guys. So, yeah. so give, it like anyway. give it to the readers anyway. Give it to the viewers anyway, okay. man. All right, let me hit refresh, and I'll go over it with both of you guys. Give it to the viewers. Okay, so they've called Iowa. Um, called Minnesota Iowa. for Biden. Iowa's for Trump. Shocker. Um. Wisconsin, you've got 5% Trump with 82% reporting. Michigan, 58% reporting is at 10% Trump. It was at 9% Trump a couple minutes ago, so it's gone up. Um, Go back. And remember, I'm strictly reading results, not making predictions. Pennsylvania, 64%. Uh, You've got just uh, just under 16% Trump. You don't know where Michigan (laughs) is? Michigan looks like a mitten. That's how. The- yeah, it looks like a uh, North Carolina, 94% still, um, but Trump still got a 2% lead. Uh, Georgia, for whatever reason, apparently there's some fuckery going on in Georgia. 83% reporting Trump's up by 8%. 80% reporting in Texas, Trump's up by 6 Arizona, Biden's up by 8 with 75% reporting. 2% reporting Trump's up by 45% in Nevada. Doesn't mean dick there. Um, but yeah, so we've got New Mexico, Colorado, Minnesota, Virginia, and New Hampshire are the battleground states called for Biden. Battleground states for Trump, you've got Florida, you've got Ohio, and you've got Iowa. So it's, it's still close, man. And, and Biden's got a slight lead in the popular vote. So Jorgensen's actually broken 1%. She's at 1.1. Let's talk about North Carolina for a minute. Kanye's at point two in Colorado. <laughs> talk about North Carolina. They're like like two, per, two points difference in North Carolina right now. Two yeah, points difference in North, North Carolina. Let me, go, let me get to North Carolina. I want to take a look at that real quick. So They're at 90, 94%. 94%. I don't know what's going on there that they won't report. So you got Trump at 50.1, Biden at 48.7. You've got about... 100,000 vote difference, a little bit less, about 80,000 actually. A little less, jo- yeah. Jorgensen at 0.9, 47,000, so not quite the difference. Howie Hawkins at 0.2 with 11,000, and Don Blankenship from the Constitution Party with 7,000. Don't know who that is. Um, so that that's what you're looking at with North Carolina. Don't know what's going on there. Uh, the interesting thing in North Carolina is the Senate race. Um, it was 48.7, Tom Tillis, Cal Cunningham, 46.9, and the Libertarian has 3.1. So yeah, he could so have affected that out. That's the yep. Shannon Bray from the Libertarian Party, and Kevin Hayes from the Constitution also has 1.2. So you've yeah. got third Spoiler. parties. But honestly, Spoiler. man, like Constitution Party, that's the Christian right. That's 100% of that vote would have gone to the Republican. You know, uh, Shannon yep. Bray, let's say that breaks even. Those guys kept it close. That's not making mm-hmm. real like that. That's not why the Democrats lost. You know, um, everyone was talking McConnell losing. He swept the floor with McGrath. Um, Lindsey Graham was another one they picked. Fourteen percent victory. Like um, they pumped gotta, so much money. The Dems pumped so much money into that race. Oh, what was the Lindsey number Graham? on that? They yeah. jumped the gun, man. I I don't know the exact number, but it was ridiculous. It was the same with McConnell. <laughs> What they, was they the name of that guy who ran against Graham? Um, um, it was shoot. James Jaime Harrison. Yeah. Um, Donald Trump is now only done by seven percent in Nebraska District Two. He was done by eleven a couple minutes ago or a couple hours. Harrison hour spent ago, so fifty-seven million dollars in his race. Jesus. Uh, Don Bacon has increased his lead from two to four percent over Kara Eastman. Jeff Fortenberry is pretty much safe over Kate Bowles. Big shout Wasn't out that a little sketchy for a little bit? Four. Yeah. Bowles was up by like 7%. Hmm. Biden thinks he's on track to win this election, but Biden also thinks it's still 1987, so I wouldn't <laughs> put much stock into that. <laughs> he thinks so, it's applesauce today, night. <laughs> it's applesauce. Today, today Biden said that. Uh, were you on when I was talking about his speech today, or was that just me, Dre, and Scott? He was uh, talking today. 
Biden was talking today. Uh, he said, I want to give a shout out to my or to my son, Hunter, Bo Biden, his son that died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This oh, is the yeah. He goes, you helped get him elected to the Senate in Delaware. So he confused himself with his dead son. Who's the dead son? He confused him. He didn't confuse his kids, which is what most people with dementia do. He confused himself with his dead son. Uh, I've never he's heard so of far that gone. Before. Never. Heard if he of if he wins, we talked about this on our podcast. If he wins, how long till they kick him out of there? I think they call him inadequate in the first year. I think they call him I- I- incompetent in the first Two year. Two months. Two, three months. Yeah, I, I think Dre's right. They get rid of him immediately. Cammy's Cammy knows she's she's the pick. She knows he is the puppet who will get in and she will take over after they figure out how to Bro. get him out in a couple months because no. he is obviously no. not there em- em- emotionally, dimensionally. Or, uh, well, he's he's there dimensionally. He's, dimensional. <laughs> he has he's the dimension for sure. Kamala's gonna put us all in jail, man. Cammy's never met anybody she didn't like to put in jail. No, and that you know that's what's funny is you've got all these protests and probable riots after tonight, dude. There are, <laughs> and I will say this live on the air. Y'all can come after me. I've said this stone cold. I've had a couple beers. I've said this stone cold sober on my other podcast before. There are no two individuals, and I'm, this is not an endorsement of Trump, right? This is not an, in any way an endorsement of Trump. <clears throat> okay. There are no two individuals more directly responsible for the, the mass incarceration of African Americans in this country than Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Joe Biden authored the 94 fucking crime bill. Kamala Harris has locked up more black men in prison than anyone thought was imaginable. And that little cocksucking bassist from state champs that wanted to call me out on Twitter for calling him out on that can eat a fucking dick tonight. <laughs> I told him, he, no, he <laughs> tweeted out. Two people the on death from row state with champs. DNA evidence, she so, could exonerate them. And so, she laughed about smoking weed and locking up people. So, yeah, no, mm, exactly. Zero respect. So the bassist from State Champs at the punk, uh, pop punk band uh, <laughs> tweeted out today something about, like, this election's about more than you. It's, we got to vote for, for marginalized communities. And I'm like, so I replied to him. I said, so shit. So your your solution is to elect the guy who drafted the 94 crime bill? And he called me an unfunny comedian and all that shit. And I res- it's like, dude, like you, you know, you talk about a game on here and then when you're trying to attract under girls onto your tour bus <laughs> but you know i'm fucking right the fact you had a meltdown on twitter the second someone called up i didn't even call him out i asked a question about his extremely flawed question a genuine question because no one on the left can answer this question for me how do you justify the guy electing to office the guy who drafted the 94 crime bill as a solution to social justice problems no one can answer that for me with a straight answer. They all melt down and they freak out and they result to personal insults. I know I'm a funny comedian. I've headlined more shows in Omaha than state champs has. Fuck that shitty band. You know, that's not a problem here. Go try to get more underage girls on your tour bus, you piece of shit. You know, <laughs> fuck that guy. Yeah, you and your shitty side project that 13 people listen to. I don't give a Wait, fuck. There's a reason you're backing both vocalist and the bassist because you're a shit musician. I could play bass and I never even tried it before. Sorry, I'm, I'm uh, intoxicated. Sorry, which guy is this, Caleb? I was, I was over there. The bassist for the rock band State Champs. Let me, yeah. State Champs? I've never heard of them. And I don't know. I don't know if they're attracting underage girls to their tour bus. That's just a pop punk stereotype. Because it's a joke that MGK defied pop punk stereotypes by dating a woman his age. So. <laughs> State Champs. Never yeah, they got a couple decent songs, but like I said, like I said, man, dude wants to call me out. I get, I've headlined more comedy shows in Omaha than, than State Champs has rock shows. So, are you done? Good night. I love you. Well, I got like two hundred thousand Facebook followers. State Champs, they're not yeah. a bad band. I'm not gonna shit on them. You know, I thought Punk I'm was dead. Gonna- it's not dead. MGK okay. brought it back. MGK's punk? What? MGK just went punk, dude. Have you listened to his new album? 
Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Dude, it's straight punk. I've listened to his old albums. I didn't know he had new his one. new His new album is 100% punk rock. All righty then. Really? Yeah, and it, it, is, way, it is way better than any of the garbage state champs has put out. Sorry, he tweeted at me this morning. He tweeted at me this morning, and it, like, bugged me, and then I ignored it because I realized how funny it was that I got him that mad. And then, like, I kind of reflected on it, and I realized, like, dude lashed out on me because I dared to qu- – you know, and it's a sign that he's insecure in who he's voting for because I dared to question his shitty candidate. Oh, yeah. So that, <laughs> yeah he wouldn't – like, I how know? dare you? Dude, that's so I'm I'm awesome. gonna go in the way back. I'm gonna go in the way back machine here. Punk isn't dead. So I mean, is it like, what? is it like uh, Ramones, Black Flag, Punk coming back? I mean, Scott can probably relate with me here. It's probably more like the Blink 182 Punk. It's more Blink 182. Okay. Blink 182 is Punk. Uh yeah. yeah. Back in the day, yeah. I mean, yeah, who else? like Misfits. I mean, I was punk back in the yeah, day. Yeah, no, yeah, it's not in, any of that, Ben. Okay. Not any of that good stuff. No, it's that Blink One Eighty Two, freaking uh, the Bicycle Heroes, or whatever they're freaking right, called. Or... I don't, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but I have to. We brought this up on the other podcast, and we brought it up here. Ben's outfit; he's wearing an actual tux. Ben, you got to lift I your love it. up, man. I did. You're wearing <laughs> an actual <laughs> <Did> you... tux. <laughs> Did you win re-election in your village tonight, Ben? Gee, I hope so. I was unopposed. <laughs> you were unopposed. <laughs> hey, everybody hey. wrote impressive in love. But... As as we learn from our good friend Matt Malley, that don't mean shit. Yeah. <laughs> You're the second person that said what? that. I didn't even <laughs> I didn't even know about it until tonight. That he lost to a write-in candidate? Oh yeah. 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 That's a thing. In Ouch. a town of ten? Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> it's out yeah. of dead people. I don't know eight how many them. live in Bruno. Yeah, eight of them wrote in <laughs> Mouse and Mally lost. I'm a bitch. I know this. It's fine. I haven't talked to Matt in a while. <laughs> Me either. Bruno, Nebraska, population ninety three. Ninety three people. Matt's the reason Dre had to change her Facebook name. What? <laughs> <laughs> He kept getting banned, dude. After after she basically cost him his reelection for chair, um, the next day she happened to get reported on Facebook for having a fake name, and I'm like, okay, connect the dots. You know? What was your fake name? Libertarian Gray. Ah, so far off from my actual name, right? <laughs> <laughs> CNN is now refusing to show the percentage of the states. <laughs> They're just, uh, they don't want to admit anything, do they? No, it's kind of funny. Uh, Google Google still has Biden at 223. Trump yeah, at no, 174. He's at, he's at 223 because he's got California, New York. But I mean, dude, it's going to come down to the battleground states. Like, Marvel. Okay. Okay. Gene, Gene might get triggered on this next question. But what do you guys think about Amish? 2024. Justin Amash, huh? Yeah. Uh, I think he. I think the time for him to run was this. Was this time? You thought it was this time? I thought it was this time. Mm -hmm. Really? Um, If he had done the right way. But I would would support him forward. Would you? I would. If he, you know, the only reason I didn't uh, support, I didn't support. This time around, because, you know, I, I think you have to pay your dues. I didn't support him either. I was, I was, team no Amish, Amash for sure. Now, if he if he spent the next four years helping the party out, building the 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 party structures and things like that, uh, I could support him. But I, I just couldn't. Uh, Someone who's been a Republican and then kind of switch all of a sudden and ride on the coattails of the Libertarian Party, I just I just couldn't deal with that. So, do you think? Do you guys think he's a front runner for twenty twenty four for the LP? I hope yeah. so. Um, so when he came on board um, this year, I was a hundred percent a mosh, a hundred percent. I was like all in, and then he dipped out, and then I was so disenfranchised 
then I went Team Supreme. Hmm. I think that I think it was a why do you dip out, you know? Well, I think for the reason you said, Gene, that people like you and me were like, Yeah, he's just riding the coattails, you know, he hasn't put in the time. I think he was smart and realized it. I think he's smarter than I gave him credit for yeah. originally. I think yeah, he's I super that was intelligent. So I, I think he's super intelligent. Uh, you know, he put on a really lengthy post today about how like the system has failed and like people need to look at third parties and uh libertarian party is a very viable solution. Like he he's doing things to promote the party. So he needs to start campaigning tomorrow. Uh, amen. Is he uh is he winning uh, is he going to win his uh district? No, he didn't run. He didn't run. Oh. Oh, he didn't. You oh, sure? He's smart. His campaign starts tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can, uh, this I can support him for 2024 uh, for sure. I think that says a lot as opposed to him as I know that you were. I think that says a lot for his chances in 2024 in the LP. Because I, I think there's Dude, a lot of people runs, that thought like you. If he runs for 2024, I think there's that's a no-brainer. Like we as a party, we have to nominate him. We have to. Somebody needs to call him and tell him he needs to start running tomorrow. Scott. Oh, guys. Got that. Guys, big, big. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Big, big news. I vacation in Michigan. I know what's up. Big, I big speak the issues. language. What? This is what's big news? news. Um, I've been reading off results and everything. Here's here's some. This is probably the biggest news of the night. Um, could have major implications on the election. Uh, breaking. Kanye West concedes 2020 presidential election. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> it's over. He lost. Jordan hasn't even conceded oh, wait yet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do I, <laughs> wait a minute. Do I need to give a session speech? You do. You have oh, to shoot. You can you give one. I mean, you can. Uh, <laughs> screw you! I can screw see. you! Screw you! You're cool. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Janicek was down by forty percent on here earlier and said he wasn't going to conceding. So, oh, dude. why do you need to? No, he was right. He wasn't conceding. Okay, that's good. No, no he not said a, you know anything. He said anything. He was really happen, proud. Which I don't. One hundred and twenty-four votes. Twenty-four thousand. I don't blame him, man. If I I'm gonna fight to the last whistle, you know. If when I run for city council, even if I'm down by like seventy nine percent, I'll still I'm not conceding until every vote's been counted. So, all right. Man, so we what, got what a great opportunity to build your brand, though. I need we to got one it. district down. <laughs> we got seventeen more to go, Dre. So we'll get it. We'll get it. Yeah. But what should my campaign slogan be? Fucking shit. <laughs> I only charge 10% as your campaign manager, so. Good, because I ain't going to make any money on this. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? You got to make all, you got to milk it for all it's worth. Isn't that how right. that Oh well, Ben, you've won an election, so I need to I need to refer to you. Yeah, huh? Intimidation. Is that really what it comes down to? Intimidation? Yeah. Yeah. Intimidation? Oh, I mean I can get people to show up at the polls with guns, no problem. <laughs> if that's all okay. a, bunch of, a bunch of boob boys out there. That's easy. Absolutely. Dude, I will people are coming up to be... the polls. Who are you voting for? You're right. <laughs> I will happily be the Boogaloo candidate. Like they're, you know. You are going to be our Boogaloo it. candidate. You I'm imagine glad you the that. You get? I'm, glad you, I'm glad you mentioned that, Caleb, because that's going to be our angle. So the Boogaloo. You're the Boogaloo candidate. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So I'm going to get some Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'll, I'll show up. no. So I would show up to every I would show up to every debate in a Hawaiian shirt if I didn't look so goddamn fine in a suit. Like right. I, I feel like I'd be irresistible to, to the electors <laughs> when they saw me. So. Yeah, you gotta put on a suit. You gotta we let were talking me be, about. You gotta let me be your campaign manager, Caleb. You gotta absolutely. let me do it. 
The all suburban right. housewife vote will be mine if I put a suit yes. on. That's all I have to do. Absolutely. Is about Absolutely. So we'll, we'll call you the milk hunter. <laughs> <laughs> not even a concern of mine. <laughs> um, U.S. Senate. Let's take a look here. Um, Gaines is gaining. I'm still not going to call Montana. You still got 10% by the Republicans in Michigan. Till is still at 2% in North Carolina. Um, I'm going to call one of the Georgia Senate races for Republicans. The other one, too close. Um, so you got Susan Collins in, in Maine. That's still close, but I still think you can lean that. I mean, the Senate, like, honestly, man, the Senate looks safe for the Republicans. I don't, I don't think the Democrats are going to take the Senate, despite what your uncle on Twitter says. Um, let me, uh, I got, so I got a friend who's going to run for Congress in two years in, in Maine. Let me message him and see if he wants to come on. They're not going to make any gains in the house, are they? It looks like. No, I think, uh, um, no, I don't think they're going to make any gains in the set in the house. I'm going to message him here. Hey man, want to. There's election night live stream. <coughs> okay, I just DM my friends can run for Congress in another state. Um, but yeah, I mean, so I don't know, man. I I still wouldn't call this shit. Like I know I bet Biden at the beginning of the night, and I switched my bet to Trump, but like. Oh, you started know. thinking Biden would win? Absolutely. I thought Biden was going to win. Yeah. I thought it would be close, but I thought Biden, like, I said, so if you put a gun to my head and told me to pick who I wanted to win, I would have said Trump. But who I thought was going to win, I would have said Biden. What um, did it for you when Florida went Trump? Florida, Ohio is what did it for me. And then just seeing these, and honestly, it's been the, the trending for Pennsylvania has done it for me. Yeah, Pennsylvania is going to go Trump, dude. That's crazy. Biden's lessened the gap in Michigan by a percent. It's at nine point two instead of ten. Uh, Pennsylvania, I mean, Pennsylvania is like a ten percent, ten points. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen points. Fourteen points. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, dude. I'm a I'm a teacher. I did that new math right there, so I I spoke too soon. Hey, was that Common Core? As a as a Miller Dog yep. graduate, I can say that's an OPS <laughs> education, homie. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, all I think I'm gonna call it a night. I'm at forty five thousand votes, six point three nine percent. So, Let's give you would you would you end at one point uh, six point what? I'm at six point three nine percent. Forty five thousand awesome. votes. So. I don't think you should concede yeah. yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but you can go to bed. So, I'm gonna hit the sack. All right, you right. know. Thanks for thanks for joining us tonight, man. Yeah, uh, it was a good thank time. You. Thanks for having thank me. You for, thank you for your service. Yes. Well, and you guys too. So it's yeah, all. It's a it. team. It's a team. All right. Have a good night, guys. All right, Gino. All right. See how quick I just fucking remove them out of here. I just get them out. That's Damn. fucking. You start saying goodbye, you're gone. See ya. Get the fuck out. All right. Good night, guys. Thanks for joining us. Love you all very much. Oh, Dre's calling it tonight. Dre's calling it. <laughs> Dre, you piece. Dre she's doing her, she's doing her concession shit. speech. Dre, she didn't even run for anything. <laughs> Dre, uh, no, this is great. You've all no. been great. She's not peacing out. She's staying on for the long haul. All so right. we have been at it for four four hours and twelve minutes though tonight. We've been oh, marathon, even marathon style. I was hoping, to be honest with you guys, I was hoping we could fucking call this election before we close it tonight. But man, Dude, I told you that we wouldn't call this election for several weeks. It's like, nuts. This ain't, this ain't no shock to me, man. Does Hobbs want to come on? Are they still going over there? No, they're out. <laughs> they're out. Okay. We should see if Hob wants to come on. Man, see if Hobbs Hobbs wants to join us. Him and Nathan both went to bed. 
bunch of pussies. But I I don't blame them. Pussies. Election night's <laughs> like Christmas, man. You stay up late because you know, and it's especially like Christmas considering there could be extreme political violence in the street. It's like you know? my Super Bowl. Oh, you have a crazy Christmas in your family. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you grow up with an alcoholic mother? I did. So, no. So you never know what's going to happen. You never know. My mother was just uh, psychotic. Hey, those two things go hand in hand. Dre's like I represent that number. <laughs> I'm a psychotic mother, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm a psychotic mother. Hey, give me, cut me some slack, man. <laughs> so, so, what do you guys legitimately? I know the Democrats always threaten, but like, let's say theoretically, Joe Biden wins the presidency, and the Democrats take the Senate somehow by some miracle, because the presidency, I'd yeah. say, fifty fifty. Oh. I'm gonna lean toward. How do you think gun control goes? Like, what what type? Know. Like, do you think they actually get a gun control You're passed? Me. I am less I'm concerned about you? gun. I'm less control. Less concerned about the gun control. I don't. Okay. I don't. I think that it's all. I think it's all political rhetoric. Rhetoric at this point. I think it's all just talk. You don't think Biden will pass an AR, an assault weapons ban if he has the House and the Senate? I don't that's think their, so. That's that's their wedge issue. It's the same reason that Republicans don't touch uh, abortion. I don't think they'll yeah. do it. Yeah, I don't think they'll do it. I think they talk. A, I think they talk a good game. I don't think they come through. I don't think they got the fucking balls to take our guns, because the reality of the situation is, how are they going to take our guns? They got to go door to door. Well, what? Yeah, and that's the thing is, it's like they can pass. So if you read Biden's actual plan. It's uh, you do a buyback, and anyone who doesn't for assault we assault weapons, which I have thankfully sold all of them. Uh, I don't have any them. assault weapons. Um, I don't know what an assault and weapon is. And and magazines, which I sold with my guns to an unknown buyer. Um, so assault weapons and magazines, you do a buyback. If anyone doesn't do the buyback, they have to register them with the NFA. You're talking like fifty bucks a mag, two hundred fifty bucks a gun. Um, if, so if they don't register that, then they, if they get caught with it, they're a felon. You have to catch them with it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. It, you can go door to door. The optics of going door to door are horrible. You almost, so like, that's a hill you have to be willing to die on. And that's a good, good point. Are they willing to die on the hill of going door to door and rounding up everyone's weapons? No. And, we're, and keep in mind. We're also talking black people. There's a lot of black people. There's a lot of Hispanic people that own firearms in the city that are assault weapons under Joe Biden's law. Are you willing to go door to door and round up and in a lot of cases shoot black people for having those guns? I mean, you guarantee you lose the next election. You guarantee the Republicans take back every house of the government or every, every branch of government at that. Yeah, point. it's not going to happen. It's all rhetoric at this point, Caleb. I uh, I know I know that's one of their their wedge issues. We mentioned that being a wedge issue, um, but that's something they always talk about: the guns, the guns, the guns. Like they're not, they're just not in a position to be able to do that without declaring martial law first. Like they right. can't come in and just take our guns. And I mean, you'd have to have like civil war on the streets for that. Even my children know that a cop comes to the door; they need a fucking warrant. <laughs> right. I, that, that, you, I actually, you know uh, what I mean? So Mia and I have that talk uh, a couple weeks ago. We're talking about, you know, if a cop comes to the door, don't even open it. Talk to him no. through the door. Do they you need have a, a warrant? warrant? If they say they, they have a warrant. 30 days, if they signed by a current warrant, sitting judge. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. If they, if they say they have a warrant, you're on the phone with a lawyer before you let them in. Like, yeah. you, the cops, you don't open, you don't even open the door to cops. No, Fuck them because the, and and this look, I'm not a lawyer. I'm gonna I'm a semi professional comedian. <laughs> not even over this. But if you <laughs> if the cops knock on your door, and no, you, you're right. No, no. If, so if the cops knock on your door and you talk to them through the door, what's the worst thing that can happen? Nothing. Well, you can get if shot. The cops. Well, not if you don't open the door. <laughs> <laughs> you can shot through the door. Yes. Yeah. They'll so shoot your ass from the door. If they determine if the you're cops, black, they're shooting you right. through that door. Scott, <laughs> your, uh, come on your, your now. Come on now. To me, come on now. To me. But no, I mean, if they knock on your door and you don't answer it, 
and you talk to them <laughs> through the door. They say, hey, is uh, Caleb Salvatore there? You say, yeah, what are you looking for? Well, you know, we heard you were you, you, you were a known accomplice of so-and-so. He's under an investigation, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sorry, I don't know nothing about him. They leave. That's all that can happen. They have no warrant. They have no right to search me. I've committed no crime. Um, the, I tell them to fuck off. They fuck off. That's the worst thing that can happen is they're slightly annoyed with me. If I open the door, let's say I got a rolled up joint on the coffee table. Now they have a right to come into my house. Yep. Don't give them the right... Any accident, you know, anything. Any, and, dude, I'm talking anything. Hey, your dog looks malnourished. Is that cruel to animals? <laughs> now they have a right to come into your door. I'm not shitting you. They'll use them. It all, don't it all starts open, with opening the door. He's don't not. Open They're the like door. They're like vampires. Never invite him in. Exactly. The second you <laughs> open the door this. of the cops, I have talk made to this him through the state. fucking door, man. Go so... Ahead, yeah, so when I was in high school, I had a giant party, and um, this is nothing I'm proud of, but my parents' house was trashed, and so um, there was a lot of police there, a lot, and a couple of years later, I had another party, and um, it wasn't a big deal, but apparently, at one point in time, a guy passed out on my porch, and my neighbors saw the police, and the police came, and decided I, I let them into my house because I was stupid and I didn't know any better. And there was a pack of cigarettes sitting on the table and the police picked them up and looked in them. Oh no. That could have been the end of me. Well, not yeah. the end, but because a guy a was sleeping on my porch and my neighbor called the fucking cops. A guy was sleeping on my porch and the police and the neighbors called the cops. He but was not being unlawful. He just was locked out. We had all passed out. So, he knocked on the so door, whatever. Here's and my thing. Would they, would they rather have that, that guy have driven home drunk? Uh, yeah, well, you know, uh, and, and this, it, it would have been even worse because he was tripping on acid. <laughs> that would have been and, very bad. Yeah, we don't want him driving. So, yeah, know your rights is right. So I should have said, no, you cannot come in my house. Everyone here is fine. And what can I do for you? But I was trying to be complicit and nice and whatever. And I said, sure, you can come in. You know, there was three people in my house all sleeping. And he picked up a, cigar a pack of cigarettes on the fucking coffee table, looked in them, obviously, looking for a joint or anything that he could get us for. Luckily, there wasn't a joint in there at that moment in time. I'm sure there was earlier in that moment, in that in that evening. But, uh, yeah, he could have totally fucked my world up for, for nothing. For nothing. And I was you a young mother. Have, you didn't have a fake Ajax container? No. <laughs> Well, you know, when you the cops show up, you gotta think. You gotta think creatively. Yeah. Creatively I mean flush all your shit down the toilet. That's not... yeah, yeah. Or how about no? You can't come in my house. Or so one time, we were in a house that had some stuff that maybe was illegal, maybe it wasn't, and uh, we had two individuals that had gotten into a fight, and one of them decided to call the cops. Hmm. You know what we did is we forced mm -hmm. them to go outside and wait for the cops to show up. And so the, the two, uh, two individuals involved in the fight had to deal with the cops outside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the cops Smart. never once tried to come in the house. Never once tried to come in the house. Well, they tried, but I was I stood my ground. I was like, you, the fight, they were right here. Those are your two guys yeah. right there. You know, Well, we need to come inside and check. No, you don't need to come inside and check out anything. Everything's fine yep. inside. There's no property damage. There's nothing. You go about your business. And it's just a matter of wills at that point, right? Like, like they're just another human. So you yeah, got to be able to stand your ground it's, and it's be like, no, you're not. To, to stand your ground with them and know you're right. You know, I, I have, no, a, friend right. who, I have a, a, a friend who was a cop. His name is Derek Chauvin. He was a police officer in Minneapolis. I'm fucking <laughs> <up>. <laughs> good friend of mine. 
<laughs> so he's, he, he was recently relieved of duty. Um, no, 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 no. So you know what? When you say that, I init- I, I immediately go to the guy in Las Vegas who shot the guy in the hallway. And I oh, all yeah. I all oh, I feel bag. a little bit bad for that cop because his superior was the one barking at him to shoot the guy in the hallway. Yeah. Yep. The guy in the hallway was trying his heart at his damnedest to to comply. His his pants were falling off. He was trying to con- you know gain a little bit of self respect while you know he was being barked at. And the guy who was he sounds like he was kind of new to the force, honestly. Who was getting barked orders at? Who didn't know what the fuck to do? Just decided to start shooting bullets. Like, it sounds like a bad situation top to bottom, but it like, sounds like the, so, you know, okay. management top to bottom was to fault. This is a little bit weird to me. Biden is only up by 12 points in New York. Now, New York is called. We're calling him drunk and disorderly. I me, Caleb Salvatore. I'm going to call New York for Biden. But that's weird to me that he's only up 12. When with like seventy percent reporting, when he was favored by 30 40 percent, though, just bizarre. Wow, yeah. Good for thought. Well, well, it. How much does New York City represent in New York State? A lot. I That's guess how I'm, Meatball keeps getting reelected as governor. I'm yeah. Italian American. I'm gonna t- Dre. You and I are both Italian Americans. Our people have no business being in positions of power. No, dude, you saw what happened with that with the mafia. Cuomo, de Blasio, Fauci, the mafia. We have no business being in positions of power. There's no, no doubt. You guys, that. you guys, you guys just fuck it all up. All right. All right. Somebody, somebody, of somebody, descent, somebody with English descent, somebody with English descent, I have a lot of beefs with you two then. <laughs> <laughs> you guys owe me, you guys owe me reparations. And reparations. You owe me reparations too. Yeah, I ain't giving you, you owe me a lot of English reparations, reparations for, for Roman occupation and slavery. Yeah, and you Englishmen, you owe me some reparations too, oh, man. Shit. Come on, yeah. Right, <laughs> you guys, you guys, <laughs> Caleb, to me than to you? Do you guys, do you guys know who uh, who Tim Dillon is? Yeah, Tim Dillon comedian. sounds familiar. Yeah, he's a comedian. He has a skit on YouTube. It's the funniest thing about. He was on this show on uh, TBS called Tournament of Laughs, like during the quarantine thing when it was at its peak. Where he had to like fucking uh, everyone was doing skits and stuff like that, and uh, Tim Dillon, uh, he created this one where he was Frank Fauci, Tony Fauci's son. He said if he made it to the final four, he was going to do whatever he could to get kicked off the show and have TBS refuse to air it. So he comes out, he's like, "My name is Frank Fauci," and he's like a stereotypical guinea, right? And he's like, "I'm Tony Fauci's son." He's the fucking doctor. He's like screaming at the camera. <laughs> he's the he's fucking like, doctor over here. He's, he's got his hands like that. He's like, forget about it, this coronavirus. Forget like, about it, the virus. Yeah. Because yeah. he's oh. like, my body used to say to me, he said, hey, little Frankie, uh, you better be, uh, you better be getting your vaccine. And he like, water all over. it was just ridiculous. It was the funniest thing, and they got banned. And he's like. He, he goes back to his podcast. He's like, that is an outrage that that was not accepted. He goes, it is a miracle that we pulled that off with only an $800,000 budget. <laughs> He's ridiculous. That's crazy. Well, that was offensive. Are there, is there an Italian Hilaria. population in uh, Omaha? Yes. Oh, God, yeah. There's little, yeah. There's little um, Italy here. Holy huh, shit. I didn't know that. South Omaha used to be completely infested with it used to be completely little Italy before it was little Mexico, little South America. Yeah, we were everywhere. We were everywhere. Holy shit. Do you Oh my god. So, yeah. I had no idea. I didn't know that there was an Italian population in Omaha. My mom's we were family everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom's family is from South Omaha, uh, very deeply. Like her, la- her mom's last, her mom's mom's last name was Vitro. I can't remember what her mom's dad's last or her grandfather's last name was, but 
huge, huge infestation in South Omaha back in the day. Like, think about Malara's and all of the. Uh, Dude, Malara's is a fire restaurant. That's our place. That and uh, Ponzu Sushi. Mm. Sorry. I'm going to call Georgia for Trump. Are you? I am. 88% Trump is up by 5.1. Give me four more percent reporting with that same, and Trump doesn't lose any. I'll call. I'll call it. All right, I'm calling it now. So there's roughly ten percent left. There's four million votes cast. So there's so that means there's four hundred thousand votes pending. I think that's a safe thing to call it for Trump. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Half I don't know. Wisconsin. Three hundred thirty. Yeah. Michigan, nine percent Trump. Oh, Wisconsin's still no, no, pretty no. close. Pennsylvania still at fourteen. Wisconsin's Dude, what's really going close. on in North? What's what's going on in North Carolina right now? I mentioned North Carolina earlier, man. I, it's fucking split. I can't believe we've been live streaming for four and a half hours, you guys. But I love they it. Just called, they just called uh, Nebraska District Two for Biden. Did they? Yep. Wow. But how big is District 2? That's no surprise, though, is it? One one electoral vote. It's Omaha. Yeah, that's no surprise. That's not Omaha. Yeah, it's District Omaha, 2 is Omaha. And La Vista. Oh, wait. I they called that for Biden? Biden? So, uh, Obama did that in 2008, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. So, if they didn't do that, would he... Would Biden have won the whole state then? Let's see. Yeah, uh, no, Trump would have won the whole state. Would he? Yeah. Let's see, because in Omaha, and Omaha is essentially District Two. Omaha, Biden, he only beat Trump by thirty thousand votes. So, right. Yeah, I got. It only takes one, Ben. It only takes yeah. one. <laughs> When did they split up the votes in Nebraska like that? Was that a Democrat plan or a Republican plan? My guess the, would be a Democrat the three plan. Three votes? Yeah. That's a Dem plan for sure. Because Omaha is super liberal and the rest of the state is not. Yeah. Uh, so Lincoln, how... Lincoln was looking pretty blue too, wasn't it? Lincoln was blue, but they, he's Fortenberry's pulled away. Bacon, honestly, man, I think you're safe to call uh, District 2 for Bacon. You think? I think you can call, but like if I had to take my, he's up by four. He was down by like, uh, or he was only up by like one percent a while ago. He's back up by four. I think you can call it. So you think they'll win uh, yeah. Eastman again in two years? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> so you think What's Eastman that? will be on the ballot again in two 100%. years? Hundred percent. That's what she does, dude. She makes money running for office. She's like profiting off. You know, it's a it's a scam. Advisory. Yeah, oh, it's a huge scam. She doesn't yeah. even have to win, man. No. Uh Dustin Hobbs were at 3.68. You should just buy some Che Guevara shirts and start running as a Democrat and dude. I look the part. I got the gauged ears and the nose there, ring. There you go. And... You totally look the part, dude. Quit your job. Run against Don Bacon. <laughs> Could you imagine? No, I'm running for uh, city council. City council. Who's How long do you think it would take the Dems to figure out that you weren't some leftist millennial? Um, uh, I, 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 I got, I got some. I predict it would take the whole election cycle. <laughs> they They'd just be out. fucking glad somebody's running. They couldn't figure out Janicek, so, which is kind of weird for the Janicek. Right? You missed Janicek on here. Yeah, I, I need to go on tonight. What hour tonight. was he on? I need to go back and watch that. Uh, he Probably was hour on two. An hour two. I am so upset I didn't get to be on with him. Dude, Janicek is the only candidate other than Trump to be endorsed by the one and only Jacob No Tips on Twitter. Ah! So, no fucking way! Ben, do you know who Jacob No Tips is? Uh uh. Let me find him. He is a, a satirical. Him, please send him screenshots. Jacob No Tips is amazing. On Twitter? It's, no it's, uh, it's a suspend... So he's been suspended from Twitter. I just pulled his account up. 
He uh, oh, it's a yep, troll it account that claims he's 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 running for mayor of Omaha. Here's the first tweet in his account. We found him because he was trolling uh, Omaha Skinner. The accusations of gender discrimination against my business have not gone unheard. We will be making some serious changes. Now, instead of firing women for getting pregnant, we will immediately begin also firing men who get their wives <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Here, the snow, because he, he just, he trashes Gene Stother. He calls her a lightweight race of clown. The snow removal in this city is abhorrent. Yet another epic failure by the lightweight racist clown, Gene Stothard. When I am mayor of Omaha, it will not snow. <laughs> <laughs> well, snow is white, so. And then he's got, he's got, if you have an OnlyFans, you have failed at life. Just tweets like that. Just talking shit. Does he um, know uh, Slapjack Swaynucker or whatever? Yes, he does! <laughs> oh my be, uh, god. Uh, uh, he Where said, did uh, you fuck your slapjack? I, I, slapjack, I, I usually, love you. Please come on my show. I usually call my political rivals lightweights, but overweight slob Kara Eastman for Congress is anything <laughs> but light. <laughs> All right, here, here's the thing about her teeth are gross. Did you ever know? Oh, yeah, that? he says, he says oh, right here. No. What, what? What makes people think overweight slob Kara Eastman will show discipline in office when she can't even show discipline at the dinner table? <laughs> I, I'm not going to hit on her weight, but them teeth, though. Ugh. Them teeth. To, Get some oh, whitening terrible. or cut down on your caffeine intake or Awful. something. Damn. He tweeted a picture of Martin Luther King Jr. in a MAGA <laughs> No, it's like she's got a mouthful of corn kernels or something. It's oh, it's just... terrible. Um, I'm calling uh, Michigan, too. You're going the other way. Sorry. I'm, I'm calling Michigan, just, too. You're going to call Michigan? Uh, Trump, yeah. Just found out one of my tenants is receiving disability from the VA. What better way to celebrate Veterans Day than by serving him with an eviction notice? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh, he said, latest Can poll results for picture of him up on uh, the thing, please. Because people know how to do that. He said, just, just latest poll results for mayor and Gene Stother 34%, me 79%. <laughs> so Omaha's got 123% of people. <laughs> Look at that kitty. Oh, the oh. kitty. Kitty, but he decided she needed to be a part of the show. Oh, you're gonna call Michigan at 64 percent. I am, I am gonna call Michigan and Trump. So let's let's take Scott's theoretical thing here. Um, hi, let's get Biden, Minnesota, and Arizona. You got 245 Biden, 267 Trump if he wins Pennsylvania, 247 Trump if he doesn't. So without Pennsylvania, we're going to have Scott give him Michigan. So we've got Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Wisconsin are the three still at large. We're going to give him Nebraska two. We're going to give Biden, or excuse me, we're going to give Biden Nebraska two. We're going to give Biden Arizona um, and Nevada, even though Trump's in the lead at Nevada. So we're being generous here. Um, so you've got, and Trump is extending his lead in Pennsylvania again. That's weird. Um, so you've got three states, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Trump 247, Biden 245. Both of them need two states to win. That's all there is to it. So Pennsylvania, so I think I can agree, Georgia, Trump. Um, fuck, can we call Wisconsin for Biden? Because Trump's in the lead there. Are we even willing to say that Biden might win that? There's a chance. Trump I'm not going to call. I'm Biden? not in a position to call Wisconsin. Wisconsin's going to yeah, drive me out. So tomorrow. here's my thing. I am not. So the three states that are at large, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Georgia, and Michigan. Fuck, let's say Michigan. Four. The four states that are really it's going to come down to here. If you put gun to my head, I pick Trump in every one. Yeah. That's a problem if you're Joe Biden. Yeah. You're in trouble. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because he was counting all those early votes, and there aren't any more early votes. Trickling There's no in. more early votes coming. Yeah, I might even call Pennsylvania. <clears throat> Trump. Dude, yeah, Pennsylvania's been steady for Trump. 
and I'm going to bed at one o'clock. So we got 20 minutes. She needs to wrap up here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta be up semi early tomorrow. Um, I gotta fucking be at work at eight o'clock tomorrow, dude. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> dude, that is, uh, Here's that the is thing: sick. Philadelphia only has 50 percent of their votes reported. What? Um, what? Yeah. What's the population of Philadelphia? Let me pull it up real quick. Well, it looks like it's about 600,000. Trump's up by 500,000. Or 700,000, excuse me. So even if Biden took 100% of the population of Philadelphia, he's still down by 100,000 votes. I don't. I, I think I'm a Scott, man. Like, Yeah, I'm yeah, taking a month. You said, you said month, Philly, but... Philly's population, you said, is 600,000? So even if a hundred, well, and they're not all enough to vote there. So oh, they just got some more in uh, three hundred, four hundred. They're waiting on four hundred thousand votes in Philadelphia. Wow. Dude, even if Biden wins every single one of those, he's down by three hundred thousand. And they're That's waiting amazing. on about the same amount in Pittsburgh. What's the pit? Oh, same amount. Yeah. So four hundred thousand. So Biden has to win every single vote in both of those yeah. counties to not win by a hundred thousand. That's not going to happen. Now he may win seventy five percent of that. Seventy five percent of that puts him at a three hundred thousand dollar or I think you're right. It's going to be close in PA, but I think Trump's going to win it. I think Trump will win Pennsylvania. I think so too. What about Michigan? What are we waiting on in Michigan? Detroit probably. Uh... No, Detroit went blue. Yeah, already. Detroit doesn't have shit in. In Wayne County, Wayne County is where Detroit is, and they've got ten percent of the vote, three hundred thousand, three hundred fifty thousand are in, and only thirty percent of the votes are reported. What's the what's the population there? So we're still waiting on probably six hundred thousand votes in Detroit. Six hundred thousand <laughs> enough. So that swing it now, Trumps. Trump's up by 310. So you're going to have to see about a 60% clip for Biden, which is doable. That's not yeah, and that's, what, he, that's what he's that's what he's which clipping is, at right now is 60-40 for Biden. I'm still calling it. Still calling which it for Michigan. That's why I won't call Michigan. Nevada, Biden is taking a lead. He's I, I can You can probably call Nevada for Biden. Fuck, dude, I don't want to call Arizona yet. No? Georgia, you're at night. Dude, Georgia is tight. 93% Trump by 2.6. Fuck. That has gotten tight in the last couple hours here. Hmm. Arizona's tight too. Yeah. Arizona's tight. I, but it's not as tight. Um, let's see here. You got one of the Georgia Senate races. So Senate, we're still up in the air here. Looks like the Democrats gained a little bit in Michigan. The Republicans. This is so close. They're going to be counting. They're going to be counting every bullshit vote for all of them. Maine, they're gaining. I think you can call Montana for the Republicans in the Senate. I think you can call the other, the first, the the primary Georgia Senate race that puts you at forty-eight for the Republicans. I don't know, I want, man. I want to see a 50 50 split for Senate just to be. I do too. I, I, I don't I want interesting. Complete gridlock. <laughs> the more gridlock they have, the less of our freedom. Just, just so Pence away. actually has to do something. Right. We're not going to know by the end of this night. Like that's We're not. Thing. There's no way. We're not. That's why we need to call it at one. We need to wrap it up at one. All right. I'm down with that. And then we can, I mean, fuck it. If it's still going on tomorrow night, we can do it again. But, like, shit. Yeah, we can go live again tomorrow night if we need to. But we uh, I, I, think, we, I think we'll we wake up. I think, I think we'll wake up to a fucking result. You think so? Yeah. Maybe. I, I don't I don't think so. I don't you don't think? Either. You think mm-hmm. it's so split? No, well, I yeah. We got 224 to 213 right now. So I think one state's going to be so close, it's going to be some hanging Chad bullshit again. Yeah. Like Georgia. Can you imagine that shit show? Right. What's going on at the house here? Mm hmm. 
the Whoa. House. Let me see. Bacon so far, the Republicans done. have gained one in the House, but that doesn't mean shit. Right. That means shit, man. A lot of those races won't be called till later tonight, tomorrow morning. The House advantage for Democrats is, what, 20 or 30 seats? The Republicans won't take back the House. I, I no. would... I Dude, don't think you, the Republicans will take the me, house ever again. If you were you to, ask think? Me to put my mm -mm. put my mortgage on something, it would be that the Democrats would would keep the house. Nothing else I'll touch. Um, I think Bacon reclaims his seat here in Nebraska, though. I think he does too. Which is weird. Uh, I think if you're the Republicans, you need to look at the the logistics of that. As far as Trump loses the district that Bacon wins, how does that happen? How do you fuck that up? How does your Bacon's been doing a lot of reaching across the aisle stuff lately? I've noticed. I mean, Bacon's more generic and bland than Trump. I mean, sure. think about the name. Like, who doesn't want to vote for Bacon? Yeah, they're like, don't Cara, don't know, you don't know shit bacon. about the candidates, but you love Bacon. But I fucking Cara love Eastman Bacon. <laughs> Kara Eastman loves bacon. Oh, geez. Another fat joke on Kara. Another fat joke on Kara. No, I mean, it's like, um, so looking ahead to 2024, I mean, I know it's early, but it's like a mock draft right after the last NFL draft. Who do you guys think the Republicans would nominate? Like, what, what candidates would be? Damn, who is running for that? I mean, Trump's burnt the party down. I mean, surely one of his Rubio. kids is going to run. Surely Here Trump Jr. Or, or his daughter. Ivanka. Yeah. What about Dan Crenshaw? Hmm. I think the we see Rubio I'm run. Rubio again? Yeah, I That's think we see small Rubio hands. again. Yeah, I think we see Rubio again. I I think we see Tulsi again, too. In the Democrats, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think Nikki Scott Nick, or Nikki Nikki Haley, is that her name? Yeah, Haley. Nikki Haley from South Carolina. She kind of did a good job of distancing herself from Trump without talking shit about him. Uh, yeah. Tim Scott, their senator from South Carolina, would be another mm -hmm. good one. Um, I don't know. I kind of like governor. Thomas I like Matthews. I like the I like the idea of governors moving up to the presidency better because it's Same. an executive level position. If you're in the it's, House or the Senate, you're just a single vote, a bunch. Among a bunch of assholes, you're not really making decisions. Ricketts? Oh fuck! I hope not. No, Here are some good. Ricketts is comfortable running rampant on Nebraska. Oh, the chick from South Dakota. She, Chris, you know, Christy Noam. Might not be a bad one. Everybody in South Dakota loves her. She's got the she's got the uh, image for it too. So what if so if Biden were to flip Georgia? I'm just doing scenarios here. If by of the four states we've basically declared up in the air, because I'm calling Arizona for Biden. Um, of the four states we've called up in the air, if Biden flips Georgia, you got Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania. Biden flips Georgia. Trump has no choice but to win every single one of the others. He has to win Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan. That's hmm. Mm. I don't think Biden flips Georgia, but maybe it's close, man. Maybe. So let's, look, let's look at that. Georgia. God, we're nerds. So Atlanta's still got quite a few votes to come in yet. Yeah. Most of the red areas are fully reported. Yeah. He's ahead by what now? He's only ahead. Yeah, uh, that could go Biden easy. In Georgia? Yep. You know, that could go Biden easy, but I could also see all three of those eight going Trump, the other three. Mm -hmm. That's not far-fetched at all. You know what I mean? Like, 
This has been a fucking roller coaster of a night. <laughs> like, yeah, it has. Holy shit, man. This is wild. Imagine okay, what it's so like Nevada, being so really Nevada, vested into either of these candidates. I, oh, I know, right? I'm uncalling Nevada. Nevada, I'm taking off Joe Biden. Uh, Nevada, Are you? Biden took a huge Biden took a huge lead. He's now only up by three percent. I'm taking that off of Biden. That's no longer a Biden state. Um, so we got five open now. Wow. So that gives a little bit bigger of a path to victory for Trump. That way, he can win. That way, if Biden wins Georgia, Trump can afford to win. Um, Trump only actually fuck, dude. If Biden wins Georgia, Trump still has to win all those states. Nevada's irrelevant at this point. Nevada is what whatever way Nevada goes is completely irrelevant. Um, sorry, Nevadans. So, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. So, Nevada's indifferent whatever happens there doesn't matter biden wins georgia trump has to win all three states winner in nevada doesn't matter not enough electoral votes to make a difference not enough especially if he pulls out pennsylvania which it looks like he's gonna do trump so yeah surely surely wisconsin usually goes democrat doesn't it not always last year it was trump oh yeah yeah it was trump country last year I was just wondering if some kid shooting a guy's arm off would have turned the election to Trump. But... <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you the talking Kenosha, about, Kyle? The Kenosha kid? Yeah. Why? 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 I, well, I, I mean, I'm he confused. he brought up all the law and order shit in Wisconsin. I wonder if law that brought any votes. See, that pissed me off the most because, like, SVU is 100% the best law and order. Right. You know. <laughs> not Wisconsin law and order? No, not at all. You know, criminal. And hey, Derek, you stole my brother's cheese, yeah? Law <laughs> and order SVU is the best there was. I don't know. If you come at me with a skateboard, I might come at with you with a bullet in the face. <laughs> or the arm. <laughs> I don't know, call me crazy, but if uh, you're aggressing me, I might aggress you back. That's how the thing works. Wisconsin. Yeah, that's kind of how it does work. Wow. Yeah, just clicking around here. I don't I don't think we're even going to know tomorrow. I don't even think we're going to know tomorrow either. Ben? When do you think we will know? Because this is what is my my only question. My only concern. When are we gonna know? After uh, Antifa we... takes over the capital and declares right, uh, declares the king of Antifa as the new president. Carrie Eastman. You the new basement. <laughs> <laughs> My mom hates me better just... than your mom's. Did you see the video of that big ass dude in Antifa with the dreadlocks? What would they call no. him? An- Antifa Prime. No. <laughs> oh God! I bet it's Pepe, right? Antifa's like already seven feet tall in, in DC. Shocker. They're rioting, I should say. Maxine Waters won her re-election. Uh... Trump says he'll make a statement tonight. They are trying to steal the election. Joe Biden, it ain't over till every vote is counted. They're, they're both saying that the election is trying to be stolen? Both yeah. of them are accusing the other side of stealing the election. And it was <laughs> Joe Jorgensen the whole time. <laughs> All right, yeah. guys. I'm going to let you guys go. You out, Dre? I'm out. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Uh, I'm gonna hold out, and then I'm you, done. You can hang out for seven minutes. Come on, dude. You can hold out for seven minutes. All right. You got seven more minutes. All right. <laughs> I see how easily you're swayed. You still got a beer to drink, dude. Come on. Complete with cozy. Because Dre feels like when she holds a beer, she w- is warming up that beer. Hmm. So she uses a koozie cup to keep herself from warming up that beer. That's a solid theory. 
It works. I've seen it in action. That's science in action. <clears throat> well, I think the biggest development by far tonight um, was number one was Kanye conceding the election, admitting he didn't win. Yeah. And uh, number two was me declaring my candidacy for city council here in District yeah. 5. Rich yeah. Howells is my, my opponent. I'm going to call him Bitch Pals. Yeah. So, <laughs> Bitch, you're on. And let's not forget me referring to ammo as a gift that I give ammo to others. Scott, Scott calling his ammunition <laughs> as a gift. <laughs> referring to his ammunition as a gift. A gift that um, I give on to others. <laughs> bitch Pauls, you're on. I cannot wait for the town hall. I'm going to humiliate you and debate circles around you. And I look I... damn good in a suit. So, oh, you can yeah. already write off the suburban housewife vote. I'm taking 90% of it. I think every okay. opportunity you get, you need to be pushing your brand. Always. Absolutely. <laughs> Speaking of which, you got to go uh, like and follow Mr. Z Comedy at Mr. Z Comedy, Comedy on Facebook. Productions. Comedy and Chaos Productions on Facebook. Yeah, Just add and YouTube. Me on Facebook. I don't have a page. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Check us out. Follow me. Follow me on Snapchat at Delonte East. Twitter and Instagram at Caleb Isn't Funny. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. Delonte? Oh, so I used to play yeah. basketball. I used to play basketball don't, with my friends. Don't follow my page. Day. You'll just get zucked. Uh, Delonte West it. was a, a NBA player. He played with LeBron James, and they lost their, their playoff series because he fucked LeBron's mom, and it divided what? the locker room. <laughs> and I used to shoot. Dude, my shooting form was spot on like Delonte West. So they used to call me Delonte East, and that was my Snapchat. I made it back in high school. I don't know how to change the shit, so just follow me on that. So did somebody <laughs> tag your mom, and you and you lost your shot, or? No, no, that would have meant I would have fucked the teammate's mom. Oh, you would have fucked the Delonte teammate's West, mom. Del I didn't. I didn't. Oh. but Delonte West fucked LeBron James's mom, and that's what destroyed their their locker room. I think that would be a much better story for your nickname if right you when your teammates' moms. Right, but no, I don't go by that anymore. I just don't know how to change it. But yeah, oh. <laughs> I'm on YouTube too as Caleb Salvatore. I have funny. Uh, I joked about committing election or voter fraud on there. So yeah, yeah, you did. See, you uh, totally did. <laughs> Google, Google. So before we take off, we got four minutes here. Google has called uh, District Two for bacon. Wow. Okay. So. Wow. So it looks Mid like uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and Trump's gonna still be president. Woo! I mean that's gonna happen no matter what until January. <laughs> <laughs> well that's a bold prediction, Scott. You sure you wanna make that one? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I don't wake know. up tomorrow and the day the day of the week is gonna end in Y. Trump's gonna be president tomorrow and the day's gonna end in Y. That's right. That's right. Fuck yeah, dudes. Fuck yeah. I mean, yeah, Trump will be president. Dude, the, I'll take that. The pharmacy I'm take pantry? Myself, my mortgage on Trump will 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 take. Trey's yeah, getting into the pharmacy. Tomorrow. Pharmacy. <laughs> oh, back there. <laughs> oh wait, we gotta check one guy's face. I guess you got Tupperware on Tupperware of drugs. I'm taking here. Oh, the cat gets some too. Oh, buttholes. <laughs> buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got a nice Is asshole. My cat knew better, right? <laughs> it's not a drunken, disorderly podcast if we don't get a cat butthole yeah, in it. An asshole? <laughs> wow. We party hard over here. Yeah, we do. We don't fuck around, <laughs> man. <laughs> We've never had an asshole on the road to work this podcast. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Hey, uh, Ben. Hey, thanks for joining us tonight. Hey, yeah, where do we find ben. you? Where do we find your show? What's going Rhodes, on with your show? The number two liberty.com. Yeah. And you know, you can follow me on Facebook, but I ain't shitting. You'll probably get sucked. <laughs> and you'll so, probably get sucked. If that's your thing, go for it. That's funny. We, we lose a thousand users like every two or three weeks. So I know Dre was showing us on her friend. She's downloaded an app where she can see her on friended list. Like people that non friend her or disappear off the list. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I have no doubts. I mean, the FBI's got to be and the Zuck have just got to be watching our our followers and just like all the time, right? Yeah, we're getting F to the A this week, you guys. It's not a joke. It's crazy. They're sucking LP people and pages left and right who have done nothing wrong to uh, violate their terms of services. No, we had, we had one of our friends of the show on at the beginning Dude, of the I, podcast, and he I hasn't got, done shit, and they sucked. sucked him. I don't even talk. I don't even talk about politics on my fucking page, and I got sucked. It's bullshit. Mm-hmm. You're you're currently sucked. Uh, so I can't. So I can post statuses and comments on my friends' shit. I cannot comment in Facebook groups or on public posts. Oh, okay, yeah, Hobbs really? has that one too. Yeah, it's it's until November twenty eighth. It's just they're trying to put some fingers in wherever they can. It's too little, too late, man. Anyone who's gonna vote, like everyone's made up their mind on who they're gonna vote for. Um, yep. Now, with that said, before we take off, um, twenty twenty two, I'm a completely undecided voter. Um, if you want to make it worth my while, my Venmo is at Caleb Salvatore. It's the name down at the yeah, bottom. Yeah. I'm totally. I'm fucking with you guys. I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, it's been we... a great night. It's been so many hours. I am ready for bed. <laughs> we should wrap it up. Hold on. Hold on for six more seconds and we'll have done five hours. <laughs> yeah. Is that a record for you guys? Yeah. We just for did sure. five hours. Yeah, we can. We just did five Other hours. And this, no one yeah, wore a kill. No gone. one wore a kill. No, no one uh, wore a fucking kill. I, Nobody ate a fucking cheeseburger. Anyway. Oh, fuck. Not yeah. the cheeseburger <laughs> thing. <laughs> I got like that ben reference. Uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. Ben, that's that's our goal, right? <laughs> Put on some clown shoes and ate a cheeseburger, right? All right. Fuck yeah, dude. Hey, uh, right. Ben, thanks for showing up tonight. No, thanks and, for having me. Yeah, and we'll uh, we'll see you guys. Uh, maybe tomorrow after we fucking announce the lecture <laughs> results, right? Maybe tomorrow. So right, uh, no, I meet you guys it. for the riots we on won't. Wednesday. Is that right? Uh, what's that? I meet I'm you guys for the riots on Wednesday or no? Uh, riots Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Thursday. Thursday. Okay. Thursday. Thursday's our day. So. All right, great. Yeah. Let me know what time. Thursday's draw. Yeah. Uh, Thursday's comedy and chaos open mic. Uh, Right. Thursday is comedy and chaos open mic night at a Wired Pub. Wired Pub here in Omaha. Right.